You know, I get a lot of flack. A lot. And a lot of people get mad at me when I talk. They be hating. And I understand why. Cause I'ma keep it 100, uh. Cause I look you in your eyes. I tell you truth with no lies. I'ma keep it 100. Got something to say. I look you in your face. Then I put you in your place. I'ma keep it 100, uh. I'm not an OJ's backstabber. Just a realist sticking on my facts grabber. Oh, I see the fear in the people's eyes. That's why I'm breaking down the science on this genocide. Listen, they claiming black lives matter, right? Well, I'ma tell you that this bull and I tell you why. Cause whenever you hear that set from another side, then every day in black communities be on the sides. Huh? Look at these kids, yo, they traumatized. Cause whenever they see the cops, yo, they running high. And then they turn the TV on, they get undermined. And then you give them a Bible, they read a hundred lies. Huh? Want them to function like a real man. But you ain't even got a clue about the real plans. Secretly, they need to keep them in the fields, man. And that's why I'm killing the game. Cause I'ma keep it going, honey. Uh, Cause I look you in your eyes. I tell you truth and no lies. I'ma keep it going, honey. Uh, Cause I'm a boss. If I talk, I'ma walk real talk. I'ma keep it going, honey. Uh, Cause I look you in your eyes. I tell you truth and no lies. I'ma keep it going, honey. Got something to say. I look you in your face. Then I put you in your place. I'ma keep it going, honey. Uh, they claiming racism dead, yo. But when we trip about it, say it's in our head, though. But then we listen to the news and hit by Freddie Gray. I mean, we ducking and dodging and sit like, yeah. Will the defendant please rise? Miss Priscilla Clark, AKA Karma the Kid. The state of Louisiana hereby charges you with the crimes of assault, battery, and capital murder in the first degree for the hit and run deaths of Judge Uncle Tom Moore and Bubba Clanman Willingham. How do you plead? She not guilty, y'all. You've been hit by. You've been struck by. A smooth criminal. 
you wanna go to court and complain But it's either overruled to sustain But ain't no evidence been obtained So the kid won't be in no chains so I already try to get caught my friends Try to put my name at the blame Well I'm innocent until proven guilty So innocent I will remain Wanna find me in contempt Go ahead and bang on your gavel Cause I'ma continue to talk shit Till I can't control it, it's battle You ain't gotta go through the hassle Of trying to obtain a verdict Cause I, I persuaded the jury to take my cell It's too perfect I ain't have to do that shit nervously I'm a professional at perjury I walked up out of the courtroom with my freedom one courtesy I was trying with attempted murder, assault and battery and burglary Not guilty on each count was how the verdict returned to me Not in my pocket for court cost so they returned me my currency Current really the dude that's injured he is now in day surgery Emergency you may want to come to his aid urgently Cause I committed murder to the first degree But it ain't a murder murder It ain't a killer killer thing I just know how to play the game it ain't a murder, murder. It ain't a killer, killer. Thing. Got just know how to play the game. Now listen to me. It ain't a murder, murder. It ain't a killer, killer. Thing. Got just know how to play the game. It ain't a murder, murder. It ain't a killer, killer. Thing. Got just know how to play the game. Since there was no eyewitness, there was no one to testify. So the judge would not know if I tell a lie. So the only way he would is it consistent out of bias. But this was Meditated so I covered every side I played that role perfect during the interrogation They thought I was gon' crack when they brought up the investigation But I was prepared with a polygraph examination I knew I was gon' pass, I'm ready for emancipation The prosecutors hated cause they ain't had no control If it was up to it in my head, life with no chance of parole They asked me if I did it and the answer was no If I didn't then who did and I told them I ain't know See they tried to send me up with false DNA evidence I was too fancy plus so that shouldn't have been no fingerprints I know that I'm guilty but I'm proving off my innocence Without pleading insanity or capping out on self defense That's why I know it ain't a murder murder It ain't a killer killer thing I just know how to play the game It ain't a murder murder It ain't a killer killer thing I just know how to play the game Now listen to me it ain't a murder murder it ain't a killer, killer thing. Got to know how to play the game. Ay. It ain't a murder, murder. It ain't a killer, killer thing. Got to know how to play the game. Listen, now marshals knocking on the doors and they issuing out subpoenas to people who know this girl and who might have possibly seen her. The day, the time that the crime was committed, they need an eyewitness because they know that I ain't gonna admit it. Now I'm not taking the fifth amendment, trying to use any subject matter. Michael Jackson, R. Kelly, O.J. Simpson, it doesn't matter Completed the statement, prosecution proceeds to object Telling the judge to open his eyes on my obvious suspect Well, objection is overruled and there are no further questions So I'm released from the stand without evidence of connection First they brought up execution And they gave me selections of lethal injection The gas chamber and even electric And I stated, don't believe the accusations on display If you was dumb to the fact Haters are on this case So he thought about it and looked at my presence with some concern And ruled me not guilty and said the court was adjourned It ain't a murder, murder It ain't a killer, killer thing I just know how to play the game It ain't a murder, murder It ain't a killer, killer thing I just know how to play the game Now listen to me It ain't a murder, murder It ain't a killer, killer thing I just know how to play the game It ain't a murder, murder Ain't a killer, killer thing. Got to know how to play the game. Order, order in the court. I said, Mr. Foreman, has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. We the jury find Miss Priscilla Clark, aka Karma the Kid, not guilty on all counts, and we demand her goddamn immediate release. Ms. Clark, you are hereby released on your own recordings. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> I wasn't worried about the shit no way, because I already knew I was going to be released. I'm cold-blooded than a motherfucker. <laughs>
It's the High Powered Podcast. Lit conversations, debates, and advice that keep you turned up. What's up? Baby, y'all turned out tonight. Y'all been waiting on this, huh? Auntie in the building. <laughs> mm. I heard, I heard Fresh and Fit Live right now. They over there crying, right? Right? Who in the hell got time to listen to a bunch of incels whine about not being able to get no pussy? All right? We, we have to build value. <laughs> See, y'all can get on. Y'all don't have to do nothing and y'all can get on the yacht. But we got to work. Well, shit. <laughs> it ain't my fault because y'all motherfuckers pussy hungry. God damn it. That sound like pussy envy to me because you can't get on a goddamn yacht for free. Mmm. <laughs> shit. Yeah. They got the nerve to think they talking shit about rich auntie. They think they got the nerve to talk about shit about rich auntie. Baby. Baby. Shut the fuck up and look at these titties. And stop talking. Because you niggas is too dumb. These niggas is too dumb. To have intellectual conversations. All they need to focus on is pussy. Because they can't do nothing outside of pussy. Right? <laughs> uh, so listen. A lot of y'all are here. Because you saw me. On Fresh and Fit. And I, I'm the shit. I'm the shit. And I'm finna show you how much of the shit that I am, right? Because after every game, listen, anybody who plays a game in life, any damn body, you got to go back and watch the tapes so you can tighten up on your game. Hold on. You got to always go back and watch the tapes, right? Because you need to be able to know your opponent, right? Know your, know your damn opponent and t- tighten up on your game. You hear me, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to tighten up on the game. We're going to see just how bad. See, we're going to see just how bad Princella tore their ass up on their own platform. Now, a lot of y'all had issues with me going over there. <laughs> <laughs> because you didn't know how it was going to turn out. And a lot of y'all didn't know how to watch the show. You didn't know what was happening. Okay. First and foremost, baby, if a lot of people asked me to go over there and I thought about it and I was like, yeah, I'm going to go. But if Priscilla going to do anything, Priscilla going to go in with an objective. There's a mission. The mission always comes first. Now, I knew that I was going up against a bunch of dodo birds, okay? I knew I was going up against a bunch of dodo birds. So, you know, when you do that, you you don't go in looking to have an intelligent conversation. You go in with different objectives. And so I'm going to show you my objectives. Okay. First and foremost, where did I put my books? They right here, right next to me. Now, they didn't know, they didn't know who they had been invited on the show because they didn't reach out to me, okay? They didn't reach out to me. I reached out to them. So they didn't do no research on me. They had n- no idea who I was, okay? For those of you who don't know, <laughs> um, I was commissioned in the Army as an officer, okay? All right, so I got my commission. Let me see, let me pull it up. Let me just show y'all, just show you real quick. Okay, that's me. Don't use. Okay, that's me, officer, second lieutenant, Priscilla Clark. I went, I went for leadership training, you know? So, I, you know, I had, I, had to, I had to do this. I was top salesman in the car industry, right? 100% commission, so in order to make 100% commission and do well, you got to have some leadership skills, right? Okay, and, um, and I was a certified project manager. Okay, a part of my library, just some of my library 
is the art of war. Pimpy Ken, Pimpology. Iceberg Slim, Pimp. 48 Laws of Power and Mastery. But not only do I have mastery as a part of it, I have war a part of it. So I'm not going to go waste my damn time. When My time is real valuable, and I don't play with people. So if I'm going to go somewhere, I'm going to make it worth my damn while. right? I'm going to make it worth my while. You know why? Because this is the High Powered Podcast, and I move in power all the way so I had some objectives and I had a mission when I went there and let me show you my mission since see see I don't give a damn about a male not wanting me because I'm not gonna follow you because 90% of you are stupid (laughs) you don't even have your library don't even look like mine so I'd be damned if I listen to a dodo bird (laughs) okay I damn sure ain't going to listen to no dodo bird. But anyway, <laughs> just off just off the top of you showing of me showing you my library, you already know. You already know who you fucking with, right? So, <laughs> let's let's let me let me show y'all my little agenda. Yeah, I had a I had an agenda when I went there. And I didn't keep the I didn't keep it secret. I let them know what it was, right? Off the rip. Hold on. Where is it? Here it is. That was my agenda. Fresh and fit objectives, because I don't waste my time. Number one, challenge Myron and destabilize him. Expose his lack of logic publicly. Two, get the girls at the table on my side. Three, Get Myron emotional and have him resort to sign language. Four, take over the show and be an example of power for women to follow. Take the power from the host. These were my objectives. My objective was not to go in there to change nobody's mind. My objective was not to do a lot of talking. It was not about the quantity of what I said. It was about the quality of what I could say to destabilize him and get him off his point. I wanted to silence them. Right. So I am a strategic tactician. I am a psychologist. Naturally, I am a behavior. I'm a human behaviorist and I'm good (laughs) at war. Right. Because of the things that they are speaking, where they got a bunch of dodo birds following their ass, okay, all over. And a lot of these chicks, they are using these girls as tools so that they can make them look crazy. They get the youngest chicks. They get chicks that don't know no better. They literally had an 18 year old and a 19 year old on the show that does not have the ability or the rationale to speak against or combat against a 35 year old. (laughs) Right? So the whole game is to get real attractive chicks to try to make them look stupid. So my objective was to go in there and make them make them address logic and rationale with somebody who can actually respond. Because I want to show you women ain't stupid. But you pick the ones who don't know no better. How you going to act when, some, when you're faced with somebody who do know better, right? So, that was my objective. See, they already fucked up because it was a sneak attack. It was a straight sneak attack. My whole thing was to infiltrate their damn show and make them look dumb in front of their whole audience. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make them look dumb in front of their whole audience. And I have a few laws of power that I flexed on that show. 48 laws of power and war. 
is what I went to implement. This was a whole strategic game that I went to play. <laughs> they wasn't ready. Okay. So let me pull up a couple of the power plays that I made. And as we begin to review the show, when I get, when I flex one of these power plays, I'm going to pull up the law of power that I used that they couldn't. And there was one specific law that I used so cold that they couldn't fight against. OK, so here we go. 48 laws of power. The first the first law was law number six. Court attention at all costs. Law number six. Everything is judged by its appearance. What is unseen counts for nothing. Never let yourself get lost in the crowd, then or buried in oblivion. Stand out. Be conspicuous at all costs. Make yourself a magnet of attention by appearing larger and more colorful, more mysterious than the bland and timid masses. Okay, that's law number six. Then we have law number 22. Use the surrender tactic. Transform weakness into power. When you are weaker, never fight for honor's sake. Choose surrender instead. Surrender gives you time to recover, time to torment and irritate your conqueror. Time to wait for his power to wane. Do not give him the satisfaction of fighting and defeating you. Surrender first. By turning the other cheek, you infuriate and unsettle him. Make surrender a tool of power. This is the High Power Podcast. I didn't just name this show the High Power Podcast for nothing. I embody power and I play this motherfucking game. Okay? Law number 39. Oh, let me turn that other one. Law number 22, turn it off. Law number 39. Stir up waters to catch fish. Anger and emotion are strategically counterproductive. You must always stay calm and objective. But if you can make your enemies angry while staying calm yourself, you gain a decided advantage. Put your enemies off balance. Find the chink in their vanity through which you can rattle them and you hold the strings. I'm telling you, I told a motherfucking ass up. They didn't see it coming. They didn't see it coming. Number 44, law number 44, disarm and infuriate with the mirror effect. The mirror reflects reality, but it is also the perfect tool for deception. When you mirror your enemies doing exactly as they do, they cannot figure out your strategy. The mirror effect mocks and humiliates them, making them overreact. By holding up a mirror to their psyches, you seduce them with the illusion that you share their values. By holding up a mirror to their actions, you teach them a lesson. Few can resist the power of mirror effect, the mirror effect. <laughs> they were fucking not ready for Priscilla, the queen maker, the motherfucking auntie. Bitch, I am 37 years old. I'm a smart 37 year old bitch, too. That's right. I'm a smart 37 year old bitch. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to pull up they show and we're going to review this. And y'all going to see just how much I took over they shit. Right. I had them stuttering. They ain't know what to do, baby. They didn't know what to do. Let me turn it on over here. That's right. These niggas too weak to fuck with me. You gonna have to go get you an 18 year old. You gonna have to take your weak ass to a motherfucking 18 year old nigga. In the night, no Yo, put your shoes on outside. You don't gotta put them on in here. Try to get it to 1 million as well. The channel gets damn near almost 50 million views a Crazy. month. Crazy. So, yeah, guys, do us a favor. You, you, can, you can look at the screen. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Chris, what do you be talking about? Hey, I'm telling you, man, I go, I go over the roof, like, bro. bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, but you got to clarify. Like, look at the screen. We're I told shit, her. But... I told her, man. Yeah. All the girls are looking at the screen. She's like, right. <laughs> anyway.
yeah, guys, so check us out over there. Uh, we post six clips per day, 10 shorts per day. So go subscribe to that channel and help us hit a 1 million so we can get another golden plaque and flex on the haters. And then uh, fresh your vlog. Guys, for all your vlogs, you <laughs> need a man to go to the channel. We do vlogs as well. And guys, we did a funny live stream with a blind date. My friend Kevin Tobias came through from Colombia, and it was crazy, man. So go check it out. Once again, Twitch you the way. Let's go. Boom. And uh, guys, check me out on Fed1811. As you can see, I bring cases for all you people that like true crime. I do. Uh, I pretty much cover everything from terrorism to bank robberies to murders. It's everything, man. Uh, but I'm going to be doing the mafia, guys. Uh, I'm going to be. You guys have been asking for it for fucking months, so I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to cover extensively. It's probably going to be a ten-part series, or I'm going to cover La Cosa Nostra, Omerta, with being a made man, everything. It, you know, the hierarchy, what a consigliere is, all that shit. I'm going to cover uh, the five families of New York. All that stuff is going to be a like five to ten part series that's going to start probably on thursday uh but yeah man yeah, check us out over there on fed 18 11. Uh, oh and the book and my book i forgot about that guys i got a book it's called why women deserve less go ahead and get it Amazon I oh yeah i forgot no <laughs> that was another law of power sweetie <laughs> oh my god let's see Mm, there was another one. Which one is it? Which one is it? I'm glad he mentioned that. Okay. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I don't know exactly which one it is, but I'm going to find it while we're sitting up here listening to this. But listen, you have to know your enemy. Know your enemy because I went up here with the uh, intention of going to war, intellectual war. I didn't go up here just to be a bimbo being seen, baby. I went up here with an all out agenda to go to intellectual battle. <laughs> and so when you're going to battle, <laughs> baby, you got to know your opponent. So in order for me to know how to come at him, I had to study his psychology. Number one, Myron is very high strong. He is very high strung and it is easy to get him in his feelings when he is cornered and don't know where to go. He resorts to an emotional outburst. OK, he speaks very fast because he's not really confident in the shit that he's saying. <laughs> right. So I read his book. I know what angle he's coming from. I know his talking points and I know that Myron is a one trick pony. If you get him into unfamiliar territory, he is not going to know how to respond. This is total tactic. So I read the nigga book because I knew I was going to throw his shit back in his face. Why? Because. You're not going to fight me. You don't even know that you're here for a fight. You, ain't, you don't even know this. I know this, though, because I flew all the way out there from Houston to do it. <laughs> right. So he don't know that this is straight warfare, intellectual warfare. So reading his stuff, I'm going to make you fight yourself. You not fighting me. I'm going to make you fight yourself, hence the mirror effect, right? <laughs> okay? Straight cold-blooded. I don't give a fuck how many people call me names in the chat and all. Anybody who, did, who couldn't see Myron was up against the, the, the fence, they stupid. They're fucking dumb. And I should have told Myron, you better go fuck your girlfriends, <laughs> Before they see this, because they pussy should dry the fuck up after watching this shit. After watching you get stumped like this. Right? I sell it right now. It's in stores. <laughs> I got on audio, Kindle, hardcover, and softcover. Go ahead and get it so you guys She's can like, stop being fucking Hell no. Nah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, other than that, and uh, Chris. Chris, go ahead. Hey, girls, uh, send me a DM on uh, Aaron C. Foxen on IG. Uh, make sure if you're flying out to uh, Miami, um, two months from now, three months from now, I don't know what we're doing. Might be canceled. But shout out to the girls for sending me DMs on the platform. I've been noticing more and more DMs coming through. So keep it up. And if uh, if you're not, you know, camera friendly, I'll leave you on red. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Don't, don't. Now, listen to him. Now, he, this, he said this one time. He said it two times during the show. 
if you're not camera friendly, then I'm not inviting you to the show. You have to look good to come on fresh and fit. So the bitch is on fresh and fit. That's right. Queen bitch, Queen P, the queen maker is on there, which tells you the bitch ain't ugly, right? I know I ain't ugly, right? They didn't ask how old I was. No, they didn't ask how old I was, right? But they saw some of my pictures on there. So I ended up on here because I'm attractive. So since I'm on the show, you can't really talk shit about how I look. But you did because y'all asses was cornered and you didn't know what the hell to do. Sign language, shaming, insult, guilt, and name calling when you can't rebuttal, right? So you done said this one time and then you say it two times, right? I want you to see just how corny these niggas is, <laughs> right? My bad. Let me turn it over here. Is this boozy boozy like that, man? No, no. Watch my shots. A little boozy, but goddamn, <laughs> but these girls be tripping, bro. Oh god. Okay. Thank you, All Chris. Right. So, uh, ladies, if you don't mind, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, dating status, and if you want to, of course, your body count. And we'll start what? right here. Hi, I'm Rebecca J Live. That's where you can find me. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur, and I do OnlyFans. Cool. Uh, how old are you? 29. 29. Where are you originally from? Uh, born in Rhode Island. <laughs> Raised Providence in or where? Providence. Okay. Yep. Raised in Orlando, Florida, though. Red flag. Puerto Rican? <laughs> Red flag. Are, are you Puerto Rican? I'm Colombian. Okay. Oh, shit. Even uh, worse. <laughs> and then you said uh, your profession is OnlyFans? Okay. And then edu highest education level completed? I have associates. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Associates. Uh huh. Uh, um, what do you have it in? Uh, fine arts. Cool. All right. And what is your, you said you're single? Uh, then yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not single. Okay. So you're, you're okay. How long y'all been together? That's then yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> Ladies, this is a podcast. Like, if you're not going to answer questions, then why are you on a podcast? I did answer questions. None yeah is short for none of your business, which is the L. Like, just. Okay. So I pass on that question. So she has a uh, sugar daddy then. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Did he buy your watch? Or you no, bought I bought it? my like, watch. If you're in a relationship, like you should be proud of that. Yeah, shit. for like, real. Not, like, it, we it, applaud. Like, yo, it's coming together. Like, I, we're I, with girls, like, 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 not being proud of Let, being in a relationship. The streets okay. are cold. Okay. So uh, I'm on social media. I, like I said, I, I do OnlyFans. And, you know, Whoa. I choose gotcha. she what to I the put, <laughs> I choose what I put on the internet. You know what I mean? So, like, I mean, you, pussy? I'm Shit. big, yeah, <laughs> pays the bills. Too soon, too soon, bro. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Twitch. <laughs> All right. going on? Rebecca J Live. Hey. I'll put, I'll put in a relationship. Fantastic. Cool. Okay. All right. Incredible. All right. What about you? My name is Princella, the queen maker. Hey, y'all. I'm, I'm 37 years old. Gotcha. 37, God damn it. Yeah. Out of here, straight out of Houston. Okay. And I'm an entrepreneur, and I went to school for sale in molecular biology. Uh, you got your bachelor's degree? No, no or... 18 hours away. Okay. So you're working on it right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you said you're an entrepreneur. Like, what uh, type of business do you run? Well, I have my own podcast as well, and I'm... The High Power Podcast, right? Book writer as well. So I, I I dibble and dabble in a lot of different areas, but specifically podcasting and book writing. Okay. Do you uh, dabble in the dark? Say again. Do you dabble in the dark? How do you do that? I don't know. I'm fully enlightened, so I don't think <laughs> so. Guy. Okay. Ah, I'm fully enlightened, so I don't think I dabble in the dark. Right? <laughs> I like the answer. <laughs> what's, what's your podcast about? What do you talk about? Anti what you talk about. Oh, oh, feminism. oh, come on with the fire. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say feminism, but it's definitely anti you. But I'm, I, I, I anti agree. me. Yeah, anti, I, anti. Listen, 
I came up here to let them know. Listen, I came up here to let them know exactly what the hell I was doing, <laughs> right? I didn't pretend. I let them know what I was doing. I'm anti you. And I came to level the playing field, right? Because right. I know, I know they ask. I know all the girls can't do it, but I can do it, right? I agree with a lot of stuff you say, though. Okay. Okay. What, just what in specific is it anti uh, that you disagree with? I actually don't disagree with a lot of the things that you say, but I so this how's the anti me if, it, because, if you agree? <laughs> be, no, because the angle that you come from, which is one sided, so you don't take into account the full picture. So ah. right, so you know, and I, you're you're a pretty logical man, and I so I like to. Start. All right, so what am I doing right here? I say you're a pretty logical man. The key here, the key here, when I tell him that he's a logical man, the objective is to get his ego boosted a little bit, to boost his ego and make him agree and sell himself on being logical, which cements him into acting logical because I said you're logical. So psychologically, by me telling him that, he should try to remain logical because I said, hey, you a pretty logical man, right? So he he don't want to lie to himself. I put him in the corner. He don't want to lie to himself. So he's going to have to prove to me because I set him up right here. This was a setup because, again, my objective that I showed y'all at the beginning when I went on there, one of the objectives was to get Myron in his feelings in order to get him in his feelings. First, I try to set him up with being logical. He's going to begin to struggle with trying to be logical when I do law number 44 later on in the show. Right. So he's going to be battling with himself and trying hard to stay logical, but he's not going to be able to because he can't resist law number 44. This was an all out assault. I'm telling you, I had this whole damn thing planned in my head. <laughs> Yeah. to you logically yeah so scientifically mm -hmm. chemistry wise if you're going to balance if you're going to work a problem an equation mm -hmm. and you're balancing an equation you have to work both sides of the problem of so whatever you okay do listen you heard him he say of course so i i set him up i put you logical in his head then i started talking about chemistry which is science to keep him on logic and then he agrees with it so now I'm setting a standard that you're going to have to <clears throat> rise to the occasion to hold up throughout the show. But because he is a one trick pony and he only rolls on talking points and has no ability to pivot and dive deeper into his talking points, he's going to get frustrated later on in the show, which I already know before I set his ass up. I set him up right here, right? One side, you got to do it to the other one. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just here to level out the equation that's all. okay, okay. Uh, explain how the leveling out would be hey, how, explain how to level out would how the leveling out would be all you got to do is talk baby just talk i'm gonna hit you when the iron when, when the iron is hot i'm gonna strike when the iron is hot see this is why <laughs> you're gonna have to date a motherfucking 20 year old because you can't fuck with me and I don't feel no type of way about a nigga running the other way when you come to me because I know you fucking weak. I don't fuck with weak dudes. I know you fucking weak. Right? Because, see, you're going to have to stand up when you come to me because I'm the motherfucking boss. I'm so boss I took over your whole goddamn show. No, uh oh, like you'll see. <laughs> okay just talk that's all you got to do Fantastic. <laughs> come with the fire okay and what's your relationship status i'm single i see why that's right because single means freedom right what the fuck i look like bending over to a stupid motherfucker what the hell do i look like bending over to a stupid motherfucker right when when did intelligence 
become something to frown upon? When did confidence become something to frown upon? It became that way for dudes who can't rise to the motherfucking mental challenge. Right? Let, let's not forget. This is a part of my library. War. 48 laws of power. Mastery, right? Art of seduction. Art of war, Sun Tzu. Of course you can't rise to the damn challenge. Right? <laughs> That's, guy, That's the bro. best place to be, baby. No headaches. <laughs> okay. All right. Fantastic. What about you? What's your name? My name is Sophia Ruplansky. Um, I'm so so Sophia? Sophia. Okay. Yes. And how old are you, Sophia? I'm 19. Right, cool. um, Where are you I'm, from? I'm from originally born in Tampa, but I'm pretty much from all over the world. I've lived in multiple different places, countries, forever. Like, did your family travel, military or something? Yeah. No, not the military, but we traveled a lot. Okay. Uh, what do you do for work? I'm studying business management right now. I'm graduating two years early because I got my associate's degree before I graduated high school. Oh, you're okay. smart, smart. And so, you, so you have your, what do you have your associates in? Um, associates in arts. In arts, okay. All right, and then what's your status? I'm taken. All right, cool. How long have you been together? Two weeks. We <laughs> no. oh, well, Two weeks. Hey, you got to start somewhere. Uh, exactly. Whatever. Okay. Congratulations nice. to you. Congrats. Thank you. How'd y'all meet? High school? Um, I got to skip yeah, through. I got to, I, sk I got to skip through some of this shit. Anyways, my Instagram. Now, listen. In my opinion, she, the girl in the blue, was the baddest looking one on the show. In my opinion... She was the baddest looking one. She got a nice frame, flat stomach. She, her makeup is on point. Hair is nice, light skin. She is the standard of beauty and she's in her 20s, right? In my opinion, she's the baddest one. It was out of her <laughs> and the girl sitting next to me, right? <laughs> I, I ain't got no motherfucking ego. I ain't got no self-esteem. I don't have no issues with saying that somebody is attractive or more physically appealing than myself. It don't matter that because the quality is in the mind. And guess what? My mind is the most beautiful one in the motherfucking room. So it don't matter how my fit, how I love, how, how I rise up to somebody physically. That shit don't matter to me. Right? At all. That's fleeting. But physically, she was the baddest one. But mentally, she was the weakest one. She was the weakest one on the panel. She let these motherfuckers get in her feelings. And she said to me, <laughs> well, at least you can take you can take insults. Listen, I'm I'm a boss in this motherfucker. I'm a Ph.D. professor in this motherfucker. Why am I going to let special ed dodo birds with metal helmets with sucking their thumbs, short bus riders, get under my skin for calling me a duty head? Because that's what they were doing, calling me a duty head and they stupid than a motherfucker. Don't none of them got the education that I have. Right. So I'm not worried about no damn names that they calling me but the lack of confidence and the lack of ability to stand up to <laughs> to um opposition it gets to her which makes her pray right she was the weakest one on the panel right Carissa Evans, P A R I S S. -A. Don't worry, it's, it's below. Oh, it, thank trust you. Me, know. We got thank you. you. All right. Uh, <laughs> what do you um? What do you do for? Um, I'm currently I just enrolled in real estate school to get my real estate license. Okay. All right. Um, and then what is your highest education level completed? I dropped out my sophomore year of university. Okay. Okay. So high school. Yeah. Um, no. Well, I high school completed... is completed. High school is the highest completed. That was oh, okay, question. okay, okay. And then, uh, what's your status? Dating status. I'm in an, an entanglement. No, I'm in an entanglement. Now listen to what she say. She in an entanglement. Now listen. She the baddest one 
physically on the panel, right? But she's also mentally the weakest one. And now she says she's in an entanglement. What kind of entanglement is she in? Okay. Uh, situation shit, basically. Yes. So situation you have a guy shit. that's kind of there, but he doesn't Well, no, meet. he wants. Okay. <laughs> Set it straight, girl. Set it straight. Let me explain. Go, queen. So, basically, you know, men these days, men with money or whatever, like, they're in, they feel like they're entitled to multiple women. Okay, if you have your bag and you're taking care of me and I don't know what's going on on the other side, that's fine, but I'm going to call that an entanglement because I don't have a ring on my finger. I don't have any type of like real commitment commitment from him. I mean, words are words, but like I need more than that. I need action. So Okay. So if you need action, okay. So here, I want y'all to remember this. Because when you study, when you study human psychology and when you go back and play the tapes, you have to have excellent recall abilities. At 12 minutes and 17 seconds, she says she needs more than that. Why is that important? Because later on in the show, she says that she she disagrees with me that men are incapable of love and that she's been with plenty of rich men who were. Listen. At 12 minutes and 17 seconds, she says she need more and it ain't enough. But later on, she says she's been with plenty of rich men who can love and take care of her. But meanwhile, but but she ain't with him. Right. You got to have excellent recall abilities. OK, I want you to see how crazy these people are. Everybody at the table is crazy except for me and the girl next to me and maybe the Asian girl sitting across from me, right? But the rest of them retarded, including fresh and fit, okay? All right? And definitely Chris. So, like, okay. I'm in an entanglement because I am choosing to. He wants, technically, he thinks that I'm his girl and I act like it because I don't like to sleep around and I am just with him and I Stop have only cow. been sleeping with him. I'm serious. Stop the cow. I'm serious. So you act like it, but do you want it though? I do want it, but I can't. I know that I'm not capping. She don't even know what she wants. She can't even explain really what the fuck is going on. Right? She's so lost in the head. She don't know if she coming or going. Right? The reason she doesn't know if she's coming or going because she's not there to be truthful. She is there to appeal to Myron. She is there to appeal to Myron and get validation from him. That's the reason she don't know. She don't appear to know if she's coming or going because she's trying to say the right things, but she ain't right. She looking crazy right now, but she the baddest one physically on the panel. You think I sleep with other people because I'm pretty or because the way I talk? Like, I could be loyal to somebody. I am only sleeping with him. You know what? See? Loss of power right there. Loss of power. You don't explain yourself to nobody. Fuck what a motherfucker think. But... Because she came there to appeal to and get validation from the host, she's now getting offended. It's easily to it's easy to get her to feel offended. Priscilla don't give a fuck about what nobody say or what nobody think. Bitch, I said what the fuck I said, <laughs> right? Whether you want to fuck me or not don't matter because I know you're lying, bitch. I know the nature of a male and you will fuck anything. So stop the cap, right? Right? Okay, let, <laughs> Chris, let me finish, bro. Let me finish. Sorry. Grow up, man. Like, that's Grow up, Chris. Be mature. Don't get roped in. Be mature. Oh, sorry, don't, sorry. Mind. don't mind him. All right, so sorry, go ahead. I'll play here that you're in an entanglement. Let me write that down. Thank somebody. Thank All you. Right. So, so the thing is, so you're not seeing anyone else, but he's seeing no. other people. I mean, he lives with his baby moms. <laughs> Listen, now, at 12 of 13 minutes, in 11 seconds, she says the guy that she's with lives with his baby's mother. Now, 
The reason that women are willing to do this is because they're fucking ignorant. They're ignorant of male psychology and they're ignorant of male nature. And they're trying to appeal to men because women don't know that they are the value. So they're trying, they're giving up their value for free for bullshit like this, right? So now you think I'm a let a 20 something year old chick that's dealing with a dude that's staying with his baby mama and you want more and can't figure you think i'ma listen to you no you gonna let this nigga keep fucking you while he's staying with his baby mama and then you gonna let everybody call me auntie like i'm the crazy one hell no because they sitting up here laughing at you giving up your value for nothing right Think like a man, act like a lady. I embody that motherfucking title. Because I know men better than they know they self. And they are mad because I know they ass. Right? I don't give a fuck what these dudes say. I don't. Because the only thing that they stupid ass can do is resort to sign language. Shaming, insult, guilt, and name calling. And as soon as they do that, they become the bitch. I want you to be a bitch, nigga. That's right. I want to make you my bitch, nigga. Yeah, you don't know who was on the show. Yeah, see, I couldn't get this raw on the show. But see, now you in my domain and I can drag you. I can drag you like I want to drag you. Right. I want you to be my fucking bitch. Sign language, nigga. <laughs> what the, wouldn't it be fair to say that you kind of knew that going in? Then? I did, but he lied to me about it, though. He lied to you about it. At 13 minutes and 17 seconds, she says this guy lies to her. Why is that time stamp important? He lies. Because later on, Myron addresses the girl in the, the green bra. She say not all men. Some men. Myron then tells her he lies to you. Because he wants to have sex. And then me and Myron start saying the same shit together in synergy to her. And it pissed Myron off because I said it at the same time he was saying it to her. Myron was upset. Why was he upset at that point? He was upset because men... They want to live in reality of their nature, knowing why they approach you, but they don't want you to know. They really want you to stay in la la land because if I say they just lie to you, if I said that by myself, the majority of men would say what men you knew, who was you around? But because we said it together. It divided the conversation and he didn't know what to do because now you can't say who you chose because you're saying the same thing. So the whole thing is these niggas want to play a mental game with women. They want women to keep looking for this quote unquote fucking unicorn. Right. While they know their nature of not being able to do what the fuck you looking for. That's why Myron got pissed off. Because me and him said the same exact thing about they a lot of you. So if he's saying that they a lot of you and you sitting here at 13 minutes and 17 seconds saying that the nigga that you fucking is lying to you. That only backs up what me and Myron said at the same goddamn time. I don't know why they think I'm a stupid motherfucker. Call me auntie bitch. <laughs> Call me auntie. Right. You going goddamn right. I'm an intelligent one too. That's right, because you ain't getting this pussy, bitch. You're going to have to go to, you're going to have to go to a stupid motherfucker, right? You're going to have to go to an ignorant motherfucker, right? You better be scared of me, because when women start listening to me, your ass is grass. You your ass there? is grass. Wait, how did he, if because he told you, this he is what happened. About how he lied about it. <laughs> because, be, let me explain. Yeah. You don't know the story, so I will tell you. Well, from what you said, it didn't make sense, but continue. Go ahead. I like that song. I like that noise. Okay, so basically... He lied when he met me and he's like, oh, like, I'm a single dad because he has two kids by his baby moms. And he was like, um, my baby mom is going to only a dummy would do this. Now, they'll they'll boost you up 
because you look good and you're within the quote unquote age range. But as soon as you get to my age and you you being dumb like this, they going to say you should have knew better. They're going to say you should have chose better, but you chose through straight ignorance and they want you to be ignorant. They don't want you to know what I know, because if you know what I know and see what I see, it makes it harder for them to get their needs met because they don't fucking love you. The whole objective is to use you for whatever you have and are willing to give up. Right. That's the game, right? But she being stupid right now, right? And the whole game is for men to divide and conquer, pit the old against the young and vice versa and blow these chicks head up and make them think that they the preference and make them look at wisdom and shun the wisdom, right? That's what they try to do. But it's a new day and age, and that shit ain't going to work no more, baby. It ain't going to work no more, right? So it's best that you stop fighting. Go back to the city that they were, wherever they were from, and he would be a single dad with the kids. But, like, that was Cap. Like, she lives in his house with him. And I found that out, like, three weeks into us, whatever, dating. You- right, because you are the preference and you are fucking accessory and you boost his ego but he don't have nothing else in mind for you he just wants to suck you dry he just wants to fuck you right but you think that you can bargain sex appearance and all of that to get a dude to give you some shit he really ain't capable of giving you But you don't know he ain't capable of giving it to you, though. And they dangle this carrot carrot over your face to make you think that you got to earn some shit that the secret is they don't even fucking have. They don't even have it. But they keep you blind to make you think they have it. So you jump through hoops and freely give up what's truly valuable. I don't care what none of these dudes say about me at all. Talk your shit, nigga. Fade? Yeah, because I like him. Stupid. And he has money. You you hear? You Listen to him. Do you hear them calling her stupid? They're calling her stupid. But she don't hear that. I hear it, though. Baby, this is all game. As a woman, in order to get their needs met off of your back, they have to keep moving the goalposts. Now, they'll sit up there and call you stupid for doing that, but then call me the names and then call the 18-year-old girl naive and dumb. Baby, ain't no fucking right way to be. Can you not see that? There is no fucking right way to be. Every last one of y'all, all of us, got called some bullshit. You the preference. Y'all the preference. Every last one of us got accused of being something derogatory. But you still trying to appeal to these stupid motherfuckers who can't get their goddamn dick wet. And Priscilla don't give a fuck about them being able to get their dick wet. <laughs> and at the, excuse me, I'm not stupid. Chris, let her finish, bro. Come on. Like, I stayed because, first of all, I know that it's cold in these streets. I am attracted to him. True. He gets a bag. She's a complete airhead. Complete. She is an empty shell. And what women don't know is males sense this shit. They sense that you ain't nothing but a fucking empty shell. You have no personality. You have no confidence. You have no vision or goals of your own. You just a shell. He, I'm 23. He just turned 27. Okay. And he makes his money. And he does right by me when he's with me. Okay. And 
for right. now, since I've only been talking to him or dating him for a month and a half, I feel like I don't have like the place to say anything else or to ask for anything more. Right. So you have no confidence. And what she doesn't know about male nature is the way you start. You're going to end worse than that. If you don't set boundaries with males out the gate, baby, they will test you. Men will test you to see what the fuck you willing to tolerate. It ain't going to change. But she don't know that. I know the nature of a male. And that's why I don't listen to them. But she 23. Why do they want 23 year olds? Because they know 23 year olds don't know nothing and they're easy prey. Why? Because males are fundamentally different than women. Males are fundamentally different. They are not the same. Males are literally here and they have to operate in survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest is the male's reality. That is not the female's reality. Survival of the fittest is his reality. Because of that, he is a predator by nature, which means he has to be keen to weaknesses. The male is here to consume resources. That's what he's here to do. Women are a resource to males. So in order for males to survive and part of their survival mechanism is to pass their genes along. In order to do that, they have to find something that's easier. They have to find something that's easier. The more you know, the harder it is for him to survive at your <laughs> uh, in your power. Right. This is deeper than males just being attracted to young baby. They are predators and they got to survive. And part of their survival mechanism is to have sex and pass their damn genes along. And the harder you are, the more energy he has to exert. And a lot of these motherfuckers is lazy. They don't operate from the neck up. They operate from the waist down. And by you being the preference and letting this nigga fuck you, <laughs> he ain't going to change his behavior, sweetie. But she don't know no better. Or to ask him, Fox. like, I'm just does he, right. for, does he pay for your lifestyle right now? Um, He has contributed to it. He doesn't completely cover it because we just met a month and a half ago, but he has contributed to it. Right. He contributed, but he ain't completely covering it. So you fucking him and he going, he giving you crumbs. He fucking you and giving you crumbs and you think it's going to change. Baby, if it changes, it ain't changing for the better. He's going to reduce what he's giving you because you, you, you let him test you. You let him see what you was going to accept. And what males do, if you get him an inch, they'll take 27 miles. You fucked up right there. You fucked up. What about the watch? You pay for it or you? Uh, I paid for this. Well, actually, I got it as a gift. Okay, which one is it? You paid for it or did you get it as a gift? You see what I'm talking about? Her objective here is not to tell the truth. It's not to stand in who she is. It's to appeal to the host. So these are two diametrically different things. Did you pay for it or did you fucking get it as a gift? Which one? It can't be both. But she says she got it as a gift. She changed her answer because the first answer was the truth. The second answer was a redirect because she wants to appear high value and as the preference to because she's trying to appeal to Myron. She wants Myron to trick on her. That's just the bottom line. I'm being a girl, but not from him, from like an ex. Okay. Yeah, okay. At least you're All honest. Right. Okay. And for those that are listening, it's a what? Iced out Cartier is what it is, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. Yeah. She bought it though. She bought it. She told the truth and then she changed it. How do you buy it and then you got, the, got it as a gift from an ex? Liar. Liar. I see. Uh, what's, what's the price on one of those? Fresh, you're the, you're the iced out guy. Right now in the marketplace, 
a girl's one, maybe like 16, 15, 13. God damn. Max? Bro, I that one. Yeah. But okay. I got this in 2021 before everyone else got it. So I'm just letting y'all know yeah. that. Could be Not less. the cap. <laughs> <laughs> like I could show you proof. No, no, no. L- listen, you see? He say stop the cap and here she go defending herself. <laughs> she don't have no confidence. She needs validation from them. I can prove it to you. I ain't proving shit to these niggas, right? Because they ask me, they ask, is it true that Prince Ella is a man? Baby, it don't matter what you say because you're going to lose no matter what the fuck you say. So if I'm a man, okay, I'll be the man. Now we should have had a conversation man to man. Why y'all going so hard on me if you think I'm a man? What I'm saying should be accepted because I'm a fucking man. Let's have a conversation man to fucking man without you doing sign language. But you can't do that. So either I'm a man or I'm a fucking woman. Which one is it? Pick your poison. Because it don't matter which one you pick. You're going to lose either fucking way. Right? And I know I appear to be, I know I, I appear to be manly because I exhibit all of the traits that y'all wish y'all could exhibit. But you can't because you lazy and you controlled by your fucking penis. You wish you could think like me. You wish you can operate like me. You wish you had the charisma I have. You wish that you have the audacity that I have. But you don't. You know that what I display should be the traits that your ass displaying, but you can't. Okay. No, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so you're in a relationship with a guy. He has money. It is what it is. I mean, let's be honest here. We talk about this on the podcast. Rich dudes are always going to have side chicks. You just got to deal with it. It is what it is. Um, all right. Fair I enough. understand that. But you're saying you're loyal to him. You don't deal with anyone else. I don't. And okay. I'm being well, for real. At least you made a choice. All right. So what Welcome. about you? Oh. Hi, I'm Candy. Um, single, completed high school. How old are you? 25. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday's in like two days. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Oh. Right, so you're turning 25. Yes. Well, no, I'm 20. So you're 26. turning 26. Okay. But I'm 25. Yeah. Okay. And where are you originally from? Sherman, Texas. Sherman. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Now, I want y'all to know when we did the show, listen, when we did the show, they chose where everybody was going to sit at. We didn't just go sit down. They had everybody stand up and they say, you sit here, you sit here, you sit there. Y'all sit here. So here's the thing. In their opinion, because they chose the seating, in their opinion, these were the three baddest chicks because they're right in front of the camera that can zoom in right, right on them. So even if you look From the side, you see they don't really zoom in or the side panel is not as up close as the seats right here by the door. So in their opinion, these were the most physically attractive girls, right? But why, right? But why? Because listen to, listen to the mentality. Listen to them speak, right? They're empty shells. They don't know no better. And they are in their 20s, early to mid 20s. I think maybe she was in her late 20s. No, the other girl was in her late 20s. So they early to mid 20s right here, right? So they, not only are they zooming in more on them physically, because of the camera angle, you're actually zooming more in on their psychology too, right? You're, di- you're zooming more in on their psychology at the same time that you're zooming in with their camera angle. It's just a psychological thing that happens, right? It's a small town, yeah. And I just moved here from Dallas. Okay. okay. Uh, and what do you do for? Only fans and photography. Okay. For now, if anybody would like to give me a normal job, I will gladly accept. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then what's your highest education level completed? High school. Okay. And what's your relationship status? Single. All I think right. I said these. So I'm gonna, someone keeping it straight. All right, cool. What about you? Hi, I'm Serenity. You can find me at I am Serenidad. Okay. Um, How old are you? I'm 21. Where are you from? 21. Texas. The what part country. Of Texas? Um, I'm originally from Texarkana, but I live in Dallas. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm going to be the last 37-year-old they bring on this motherfucker. I promise you. People that don't know, what town is that in <laughs> Texas, Arkansas? What? Because like, Texas, Arkansas. Yeah, right? it's Texas, Arkansas, and it's also next to, like, Oklahoma. Yeah, most of the town. But it's Texarkana. But oh. it's on the Texas side, not okay. Arkansas side. Texas okay. Side. All right. Uh, what do you do for work? I'm a stripper, and I do OnlyFans too. Uh, listen, listen to the people that come on here, right? They need these types of women. The nighttime show does more numbers than the daytime show, so they they need women to book. So their women don't even realize. How much men capitalize. They making so much money off of you and your naivete just to say that you're dumb. They need you to show up here with these professions and with this image so that they can satisfy their male wolves to, set, to, to paint women as dumb. Right? That's what they need to do. It was so it, what I did was so masterful that I got Myron to spit out a quote unquote feminist talking point. I got Myron to spit out a quote unquote feminist talking point by saying black women are the most educated. Now, here's the thing. I don't even come with that motherfucking talking point. But. They have. They have backtracked on their own claims because when they talk about it, it's always the education don't mean nothing because it's bullshit degrees and this, that, and the other one. But I made him get off his own shit and hop on a quote unquote feminist talking point. I made this nigga switch sides. He was dodging bullets so hard. Right. And I was the only one able to do that because none of these other girls even have the mentality to challenge him that way. This is how they make their damn money. Hey, fantastic. <laughs> Obvious. All right. The, the two for one package. And then uh, what's your highest education level completed? Um, high school. Okay. And then what's your relationship status? I'm engaged. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. When, when did he... Uh... Hold on. Where'd you meet him? Oh, uh, we went in the strip club. Oh. Whoa. No man... Listen. No man wants a stripper. No man wants a woman dressed like that. No man, no man, blah, blah, blah. And we got a whole stripper that just got proposed to. She engaged. So now... Now, what's the damn talking point? What's the damn talking point? Because I'm going to tell you something. They didn't address that. They didn't address that. They let that go over because the whole idea of the manosphere is no man wants it. You ain't wife material. Wait a minute. A stripper ain't wife material. That's play material. How the hell did she get engaged? They lie. They lie. Okay. That's right. T Pain had a whole song. I'm in love with a stripper. Ha really? I thought the I thought strippers don't get wifed. Right? Uh hold on. How did he approach you? I'm just curious. I approached him. No way. Yeah. What'd you say? Um, Pay like, me, nigga. I, <laughs> 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 now. No, I actually like. Um, I was like really attracted to him. He's a really handsome man. Let's go. And so I seen him, and I was so nervous to go up to him, and I like walked by him, and I walked by him a couple times, and then this is when I first started getting into dancing. So mm. like I went over there, and I just like hi. Now check this out. When I was when I first started driving trucks, in twenty sixteen. 2017 right my trainer was a white guy and he was making at that time he was making seventy eight thousand dollars a year 
And he told me that he, this, he found his wife in a strip club. His wife was a stripper and he liked her so much and that he, he wanted, he didn't want her to be in a place like that. So he took her out of there. He married her, right? This is, this is coming from a white guy <laughs> that's making $78,000 a year. And he's my trainer driving flatbeds. He was, do, we was in the, he was in the glass department, right? This bullshit that these niggas spew is exactly what it is. It's bullshit. Notice she's white and my trainer is white. White men have a different psychology than the Negro male. The white male who actually is on top of the damn pyramid, white, white, white supremacy patriarchy the white male has a different psychology than the negro male the white male set the damn standard so if the white male ain't got no problem marrying a fucking stripper does the negro who is at the bottom closer to the bottom in the white male patriarchy who motherfucking opinion matter more whose opinion matters more the Negro who's at the fucking bottom or the male who looks like the people running the entire goddamn globe. I just want to know. I just want to know. You know, we introduced and that whole night. We drank together and we talked. And ever since then, we just been together. Is he black? Did he spend a bag or no? He black. Yes. Uh, no he black. <laughs> this guy. Oh shit, he black. Well damn. That put another spin on it. It put another spin on it. What spin does it put on it? That niggas lie. It don't matter which one it is. The whole thing is the point. The point of the matter is niggas lie. They do want these chicks that's in the club. It don't matter which way you go. You still lose because y'all's actions show otherwise. Fuck what your mouth say. He spent a bag or no? No. No? No. Okay. I didn't expect him to. No. Yeah, Super game 101. Yeah, 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 Just yeah. talk, get a yeah. drink. That's yeah. it. That's, That's all you need, bro. Really, I mean, yeah, if, you, if you're actually trying to, like, you know, pick up a stripper, guys, like, spending a dollar on her is actually the worst thing, worst you, can thing you can do. You become a customer. Facts. Uh, all right. That is true. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Congrats. Uh, BBC, BBC. Thank you, guys. Do you 10? Uh, I actually I wore spray tan because I figured yeah. I could tell. <laughs> don't ask me I how. never. I don't actually, ask me how, bro. Okay, next. I, um, I do a lot of things: social media marketing, OnlyFans, um, management, RN, traveling RN. Um, Scams and Wait, traveling nurse? Yeah. Wait, nurse? Yeah. So, your main, so your, main, your main job is a traveling nurse, probably. I would assume. Yeah, but it's not. It's not like busy right now so like that's why i like do like the extra stuff. the other stuff okay well, yeah. I, I don't think medical field like it's always busy Niggas not always really sick. Yeah, when you, when you yeah. are it's really not it's really like low okay let's, let's skip i'm still a student okay. in high school oh shit. this girl is a student in high school they got a whole student in high school on the panel what the hell is she gonna be able to say no real talk if she's a student in high school, what the hell she going to be able to say intellectually? Not a goddamn thing. Because Myron is 35. He's lived longer. What can an 18-year-old tell a 35-year-old male about male nature? Not a damn thing. Nothing. But this is who we got on the panel, right? Which gives Fresh and Fit an easy victory. They need easy people to get over on so they look tough. That's the definition of a bully. I want y'all to understand. This is the definition of a bully because they have to get people who are intellectually inferior and have no idea how to even challenge these. What the fuck is an 18 year old going to tell this nigga? Right. He 35. I'm 37. Nigga, talk to me. Talk to me, nigga. Stop talking to an 18-year-old. Stop talking to a 19-year-old. Stop talking to a goddamn 21-year-old. Talk. 
You want to call me a man? Well, then good. Let's talk man to man, 35 to 37. Nigga, let's talk mind to mind. Right? Let's see who is intellectually superior. Right? Because you got a whole bunch of easy people to get over on. Right? This shit finna get good, y'all. Hell? I'm a senior. I'm about to graduate. Goddamn. Nice. All right. Yeah. Uh, and then what is, well, I was going to say your highest education level completed, but it's about to be high school, I guess. Congratulations. Pretty much. <laughs> it's, it's about to be high school. She ain't even graduated yet. Yeah. Uh, are you going to go to college or no? Um, yeah, I'm starting at FIU in the spring semester. Okay. Um, probably for engineering, but I'm not really sure yet. Okay. Uh, are you guys you'll friends? probably be the only girl. Yes, yeah, we are. We're best friends. Wow. Yeah. Well, I just felt the energy. Oh, fantastic. That's what everyone Cause, cause, says. Yeah. Like, literally everyone. I know, like, right? I yeah. could just read it. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then what's your relationship status? Um, I'm taken very recently cool. as of yesterday. Nice. <laughs> Wait, yesterday? <laughs> yeah. How did it happen? Um, I, I don't know. It was a weird conversation. What the fuck? I mean, <laughs> it wasn't like a it's weird conversation. <laughs> Wait. What if it's just tea? Oh my god. Together for two years together, but I had one. Twenty one. Yeah, I'm twenty one and I work as a bottle girl and a server at a gentleman's club called Club Nine Three Nine. If you want me to host for you, I go by Gia. Um Did you get anybody from the show hitting you up? So what? Did you get anyone from the show hitting you up or no? Well she been here. Mm. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, you going back to Hawaii soon or what? I go back this Sunday. I've been oh, here for like right. almost a month. God damn. Man. All right, M's flower out. Take man. a month. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Who paying for this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you? Okay. Balling over there in Hawaii. <laughs> uh, okay. So, and what is your high school education level completed? I got my nail license. Nail license. Okay. But in high school, right? No. Well, you I dropped out? No, I didn't drop out. I, passed. I graduated high school and then I got my license. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, and then what's your relationship status? I'm single. Single. All right. Now, they asking all of these questions. Why are they asking all of these questions? Because they want to be able to use that information as ammunition at some point later on in the discussion if they have to. Right. Because from what I understand, they've pulled up girls IG pages and all of that. It's all weak ass ammunition. Right. That's why they wanted to be able to go back to me being 37 and all that shit whatever cool so well, we got two or three single girls on the panel somewhat yeah like so a couple what? other girls that like kind situation of situation ships yeah okay all right I mean, uh, cool. interesting very colorful panel i will say very very diverse different age ranges mm -hmm. and educations and everything welcome uh so guys as you know it's friday we already got eleven thousand y'all watching right now on youtube alone i don't know how many i'll rumble probably like, another like, five or ten like video so guys do me a favor like the video subscribe to the channel and then also if you guys have questions Get them in now. Uh, Chris, call it, because we got almost 12K watching. Uh, 20 and up. 20 and up. All right. So if you guys got a question for the show, I'll read the ones that came up before. Uh, but um, <clears throat> but from this point forward, Chris, call it, it's going to be 20. All right, ladies, you and your man are at the club. Someone slaps your ass. He confronts them but gets knocked out. Are you staying with him? Simple. Right. Yes or no? We'll start right here. This this is a retarded-ass question, okay? <laughs> we're going to skip this, but here's <laughs> – we're going to skip this and go to something else. But – if your man at the club, here's the thing. These questions are black and white questions, and it does not include nuance because there's so many things that could happen while a person got knocked out, right? You could get you, you can get sneaked on, you could be set up, you know, all of that. But if 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 you're gonna put in the context that he's a weak guy, he can't fight, right? And then he saw the punch coming because that's what I asked him. Did he get sucker punch? He said, no, nah, he saw it coming. Here's the thing. If you ask a person like me, I'm pretty damn tough. I can't deal with no dude that's weaker than me. Point blank, period. Right. And if you you see a punch coming and you don't do nothing and you get your ass knocked out, that lets me know that you're failing on the survival of the fittest goddamn test. You are not the fittest. You ain't the fittest. So what the hell am I with you for? Right? Because that's your job. On earth, your whole job is to be the fittest. And what the hell would I be dealing with somebody? Because fittest being biological. Right? Biological. What's the point of procreating and dealing with the, the weakest? So I'm going to I'm gonna have to cut you on out. Right? 
Now, these girls, they sat up there and practically said that they would still deal with them. So these girls, not knowing that they're the value, they're willing to give up so much shit for nothing in return. Priscilla ain't interested in stroking no dude's ego. I don't give a fuck if your feelings hurt. I'm sorry, right? I'm not trying to stroke your damn ego. I'm not going to treat you like your mama treats you. Oh, baby, come here. Let me kiss your boo-boo. <laughs> no, boo-boo. You just stay the fuck down there and I'm going to be out. Yeah. Right? Because don't no male want no woman coming to his rescue any damn way. Right? That's just the bottom line. Boom. And then work away. You're at the club. I mean, you can't beat every battle, so... Mm. <laughs> what about you? I'm gonna stick beside him. I'm gonna stay. Oh, You're gonna no stay. Way. Wow. Okay. What about you? That'd be too good. That's. These are all palatable questions. I don't care. I don't tell people what they want to hear. I'm gonna just tell you the truth, right? A lot of them got. A lot of them on this panel have, um, the desire to appeal to these dudes and tell them what they want to hear. I don't give a fuck what you want to hear. I'm gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> uh, you know, like, what? Right. Absolutely not. Uh, so, uh, had a question? Me. Me. Go ahead. Go so ahead. what if you've seen him? Okay, let's 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 skip that. She's to like W I mom. Get in so much trouble. These aren't showing when you were a beginning. Yes, and also my pictures were front face. I would never show anything like that. And I just felt like it was really unfair that she like would yell at me for no reason. I think your mom did a fantastic job there. Now, this is the chick. Let's let me rewind it a little bit. We had 31 16. Let's go to 30 minutes even. Okay. Let's go to 30 minutes even. This is the chick who didn't like the fact that um her mama didn't want her to wear certain stuff at 14 years old to take pictures with. Myron says that the mother made a good choice. Why did the mother make a good choice in telling her daughter to cover up? It's real simple. Because anybody that's being truthful will say males are predators. And you attract a predator when you dress a certain way. But later on, when I say males are predators, Myron didn't like it. But at th 30 minutes even, y'all having a conversation about this girl covering up to keep predator eyes off of her. Right? So wh what am I showing y'all here? I'm showing you that the ultimate objective of the manosphere and participants of the manosphere is nothing other than gaining power. Their ultimate objective is to gain power. It's not to be right. It's not to be truthful. It's to gain power. This is the reason why the goalpost keeps moving. Because they want power over women and they will say whatever they have to say to have power over the psychology of women. So nothing that they're going to say is ever going to make sense. Hence the reason why Myron could never agree with me, even though I was agreeing with everything that he was saying. How you going to fight your own talking points coming out of the lips of a woman? Because it ain't about the fucking truth. It's about power. And that's why I wanted to get up there and take his motherfucking power away. I'm going to take you. I'm going to take it out your hands, nigga. <laughs> Just walking on the beach in a bikini. There's nothing different than me posting it on Instagram. They weren't inappropriate pictures. And I wish that I would have had the freedom to like express myself and post what I wanted without like as long as it's not inappropriate as long as it's appropriate for a child 
So I would never tell my kids what they can or can't do with their bodies as long as they're over age. So you'd be, would you be okay with your daughter being a hoe? No. I wouldn't be okay with it, but I'm not going to, like, judge her. Well, but wouldn't it be that's fair to a say, lie. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> I would judge her, but I feel like I would raise her in a way where she respects herself and she has morals and she doesn't choose to be that way. Well, what do you mean by respect yourself and love yourself, right? What does that mean? What does that mean? See, people say shit and they don't, ev they don't even talk about what it means. You know why it's important to know what it means? Because people make up their own definitions to words that have concrete meanings. You can't do something that you don't even know the foundation of. Because when did feeling sexy, listen, when did feeling sexy and embracing your attractiveness become a lack of respect for self? When did, when, when did that become a lack of respect for self? What is the definition of respect? Well, let's pull it up. The definition of respect. And, and for those of y'all who don't know, because I did mean to pull this up, because this is why I can't follow no dummy. My personality is a commander. I am an ENTJ. My personality type is ENTJ. I'm a damn commander, right? And a commander is someone with extroverted, intuitive thinking and judging personality traits. Commanders are natural born leaders. People with this personality type embody the gifts of charisma and confidence and project authority in a way that draws crowds toward uh, together behind a common goal. However, commanders are also characterized by an often ruthless level of rationality, using their drive, determination, and sharp minds to achieve whatever end they've set forth for themselves. Perhaps it's best that they make up only 3% of the population. Listen, ENTJs make up only 3% of the population. Guess what that means? The majority of these niggas that's talking... The majority of these motherfuckers that's talking ain't goddamn leaders. The majority of these niggas that's talking are not ENTJs. They retarded. They are fucking retarded. Okay? And I don't listen to they retarded ass. I don't give a fuck if they dick get hard for me. What, what, what good is that going to do to me? I just want you out my face. Because I don't, I don't. You know, I don't mingle amongst the commoners, right? I don't mingle amongst the goddamn commoners. Ugh. I'm so glad that your dick don't get hard for me. Ugh. But yeah, I'm an ENTJ. I just thought I would say that since it was already on the screen. Let's go to respect because I ain't forgot where we were. Unlike Myron, can't, can't go into a deep analysis of his own talking point without getting lost in the goddamn sauce. Talking about a tangent. <laughs> respect respect a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities qualities or achievements due regard for the feelings wishes rights and traditions of others so tell me how feeling sexy in your body and embracing your body and your sexuality is a lack of deep admiration for yourself. Hmm? Is a lack of deep admiration for your qualities. Tell me how that is just because you embrace your body and wear a bikini. This is why we need to know the definitions of words. What does it mean to respect oneself? Do regard for the feelings, wishes, rights, and traditions of others. To respect oneself means to have due regard for your own feelings, for your own wishes, for your own rights, and your own goddamn traditions. So how can somebody tell you from the outside that you don't have respect for yourself simply because you want to flaunt what the creator gave you? Tell me. 
because you want to flaunt what the creator gave you. I want y'all to know that them dudes was too <laughs> elementary. <laughs> they too elementary, baby. They don't even know who the hell they was boxing against. But they showed, they showed their ignorance in the comment section. Oh, she old. She old. Don't nobody want to fuck you. She a psyop. She a plant. I just wanted to be able to show y'all how retarded they followers are. And the reason why the motherfuckers are single, lonely men growing more and more and more. Bigger and bigger and bigger. Because they, they, they shouldn't even be here. Somebody fucked who shouldn't have had the opportunity to fuck. Because now you done produced a bunch of dumbass people. And it shows how stupid they are and how many stupid motherfuckers there are when you look in the chat. And that's the reason why Myron had to write his book for these dumb motherfuckers. Tom, Dick, and Harry can't get no pussy. And this is why, because they retarded. I'm just saying. I'm just showing you why these niggas can't get no pussy. What? But wouldn't it be fair to say that you have to put boundaries for them to actually be able to do that? Of course. But so would one of those boundaries. boundaries be like you're not posting pictures of yourself like that on the internet? Yes. But so it depends it on the gravity of the pictures. Like if you're posting your ass at 14, then no. <laughs> but if it's just a regular bikini, like you're on a beach. Your ass is literally out on a bikini though. What? Your ass is literally out when you wear a bikini. No, not, not all of them. There's PG-13 bikinis. Really? Yes. So your cheeks aren't showing when you wear a bikini. Yes, and also my pictures were front face. I would never show anything like that. And I just felt like it was really unfair that she like would yell at me for no reason. I think your mom did a fantastic job, actually. <laughs> I think your mom did a fantastic job by making you cover up and hide your body at 14. Why? Why did she do a fantastic job? They're going to say it. What's your background? Ethnic wise? Um, my mom is Cuban and my dad's from Argentina. W mom. Yeah, W mom. You should be thanking your mom for, for real, that. man. I'm so grateful to her, but it was a little bit trauma. No, she was right. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> she was right. You're wrong. Like, <laughs> she's doing that for a reason so people don't objectify no, you. I know. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we got another time, Mark. 31 minutes and 33 seconds. 31 minutes and 33 seconds. Myron says. Mom did that so men or so you wouldn't be objectified. Why is this important? Because studies show. That's why I don't listen to males because I, I get I don't care what the fuck they say. Studies show that when males are shown a lightly clad woman, the area of the brain that lights up is the area associated with tools. Tools. So when a woman, I keep telling y'all, women are resources to men. I don't care what males say because you can't pull the okie doke on me, nigga. You just better hope your wife or your girlfriend don't find my show. Let's look up the definition of resource. Because the area of the brain that lights up when a man is showed a woman who is lightly clad is the area of the brain associated with tools fucking tools Myron just said so you won't be objectified now we need to find resource and objectify the definition because this is how males see you fuck what they talking about because when they tell the truth they don't even hear themselves telling the truth don't ever listen to what the conscious mind says Listen to the subconscious mind because the subconscious mind going to tell you the truth. And what he just told you right here is how men view women who are lightly clad. 
right? Which is why he say your mama did a good job telling you to cover up. The science backs it up by the area of the damn brain and resource. What is the definition of resource? Mm -hmm. Resource, a stock or supply of money, materials, tools fall under materials. You hear that? Tools fall under materials and tools are objects. Do you understand me? Tools are objects and tools fall under material, which is a part of the definition of resource. A stock or supply of money, materials, staff and other assets that can be drawn on by a person or organization in order to function effectively. Yesterday, I was on this show, Raya of Eve. I was on her show yesterday. I did a pop-up because a dude from the manosphere was on there talking. His name was David. He was talking some bullshit. So I said, send me the link. She sent me the link and I get on there and talk to this dude to make a long story short. He says, do you agree that women can go in places that men can't go? And I said, yeah, he said, well, wouldn't it make sense that he can utilize her? Uh Oh, stop right there. Utilize, which is use, use her as a tool to boost his goddamn self and then they want you to do that shit for free put it in my pocket p-i-m-p you better be asking these niggas for your cash app i don't give a fuck what they say yeah auntie yeah talk shit about 37 year old auntie i don't give a damn i surely don't because i ain't no stupid motherfucker right Let's see if I can find that video real quick to play for you, right? Let's see. Clad. All right. Science, National Geographic, National Geographic, right? They wasn't ready for me. Bikinis make men see women as objects. Ain't that's what, ain't that's verbatim what Myron was just saying because we was talking about bikinis and he said, so you won't be objectified. The definition of resource is, was material, included the word material and tool is a material and it's an object. And I keep saying that women are resources to men. The, the science backs up what I say, and so does the male's own fucking admission. Bikinis make men see women as objects. Scans confirm. Pictures of scantily dressed women cause a region of the male brain associated with tool use to light up. A new brain scan study reveals. Sexy women in bikinis really do inspire some men to see them as objects, according to a new study of male behavior. Brain scans reveal that when men are shown pictures of scantily clad women, the region of the brain associated with tool use lights up. 
men were also more likely to associate images of sexualized women with first person actions, verbs, such as I push, I grasp, I handle, said lead researcher Susan Fisk, a psychologist at Princeton University. Y'all going to stop. I don't give a damn what these dudes say out they motherfucking mouth. Bitch, I know the truth about you. I know the truth about you. And in a shocking finding, Fisk noted some of the men studied showed no activity in the part of the brain that usually responds when a person ponders another's intentions. And in a shocking finding, Fisk noted some of the men studied showed no activity in the part of the brain that usually responds when a person ponders another's intentions. This means that these men see women as sexually inviting, but they are not. Listen to me. This is the motivation for a male to grape you. Not only does the part of the brain that... <laughs> Supposed to have activity going on to figure out what you're trying to do. It don't light up. Right? You're a tool. They see you as a tool. And then the orbital frontal cortex. The orbital frontal cortex, which is the part of the brain that controls impulse. It is. Is canceled out when testosterone is high. What makes testosterone high? When men don't have sex, their testosterone levels increase. So not only do they increase and cancel out the job of the orbital frontal cortex, these motherfuckers' brains don't even light up to tell them that you ain't sexually interested in them. This is what makes males go after you and grape you. But y'all still believe that men are capable of love. But you, you listen to what these silly motherfuckers say. But you don't do no research. I do not care what the male says. What does his actions show? What does his subconscious speaking pattern say? And what does the science say? Fuck what they talking about. Now let's go back and hear him say it again so you won't be objectified. But y'all will sit up here and let these niggas gaslight you and make you believe that, oh, it's just the men you know. Baby, this is male nature. This is the male brain wiring. And y'all sitting up here playing with these dudes. Stop. Oh, not, not all, all of them. them. There's PG-13 bikinis. Really? Yes. So your cheeks aren't showing when you wear a bikini? Yes, and also my pictures were front face. I would never show anything like that. And I just felt like it was really unfair that she like, would yell at me for no reason. I think your mom did a fantastic job, actually. <laughs> What's your background, ethnic-wise? Um, my mom is Cuban and my dad's from Argentina. W mom. Yeah, W mom. You should. Okay. Swag nasty say, we are hunters, though. That's right. You're hunters. You're predators, right? And the woman patriarchy has altered women's nature so much to the point that the female has no ability to sense danger she does not have the ability to sniff out the fact that she has a predator preying on her right this is what patriarchy has done to women by putting them in an artificial environment and brainwashing them with disney fucking movies women do not know the nature of a male. And males are sitting here saying, we hunters though. And guess who the fuck they hunting? They hunting your dumb ass. They're hunting your dumb ass because you are a goddamn resource. You are a resource. And males need resources. So males have to lie. 
You understand me? In order for the male to get his needs met, he has to lie to you. Y'all still sitting up here thinking that males think like you and you think that they are you. See, here's the thing. People thought that I was just playing and just agreeing just to agree for agreeing sake. I do agree with a lot of the stuff that Red Pill says. The problem is, is they come from a one sided angle and they don't tell the whole goddamn story. See, I tell the whole damn story. You right. You are a predator. You right. You don't think like women. You're right. You not like women. Right. You're fundamentally different. Right. See, the game changes when a woman submits to the truth. The whole game changes. You know why the game change? Because if women submit to the truth, which is nature, Males automatically lose because by nature, males are not the motherfucking leaders. By nature, in a natural environment, the male is not a leader. Males are simps by fucking nature. They are tricks by nature. And in order for the male to have any power over the woman, the woman has to exist in delusion land. If she Talk like me and she see the world like I see it make it real hard for these dudes. And that's why the majority of them, if all women understood this, there would be no Myron Gaines. That bitch would be a goddamn simp just like the rest of these niggas he talking about. Right. In a natural environment, he would have no power at all. And that's why they don't want women to figure out the truth about them. They want you to keep desiring fairy tales that don't exist. See, they wasn't ready for me. It wasn't how much I could say. It was the quality of the sentences that I could get out that could destabilize him. You'd be thinking about for real, man. I'm so grateful to her, but. It was a little bit trauma. No, she was right. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> she was right. You're wrong. Like she's doing that for a reason. So people don't objectify no, you. I know. So they don't objectify you. So they don't objectify you, right? Right? You got to run from a bitch like me. You got to run because you ain't going to get your needs met on my back. Your dick going to be dry, right? You going to be feeling loathsome because I'm not going to boost your ego. I'm not going to stroke your ego because I'm going to make you stand on your own, nigga. And, and and most dudes standing on their own, they can't do it because they ain't got the heart. They ain't got the goddamn willpower. They need a bitch. That's why they so mad. You going to make these women be single. Don't listen to her because these niggas can't stand on their own two motherfucking feet. They weak. And I want these niggas to know that they weak. That's right, bitch. I know you weak. But so then why are you mad? I'm not mad. I was just, it just hurt Reminiscing my feelings that the all past. my friends could post and like their vacations and like everything. And there was nothing wrong with my pictures and like I would get in trouble. But there is something wrong. How is that wrong? If I have a private account, it's a PG-13. She don't know it's wrong because she don't know the nature of males. She's delusional. bikini nothing is out like i'm just at a hotel the sun is beautiful i look great what is wrong with that because she's thinking like a female right because in a natural environment there would not be this many males the only reason we have so many males who are out of control is because patriarchy made it that way they allowed people to produce who shouldn't have had the opportunity to produce. And a lot of these males should have died off. But because they have women, their lifelines have been extended. So now you have so many males on the planet that wouldn't be here had it not been for law and law enforcement that upholds the ideology of patriarchy. So now you're surrounded by predators and you don't know it. So you can't just exist like a female because you are in a 
dangerous environment, but you are desensitized and you can't sniff out that you're dan in danger. But the male, this is the reason why the male thinks that you need a man in your life because men know other men and they know that you're delusional. So if they if they get a hold to a resource and they claim it as their own, they want to protect their own self-interest. It's not that they're protecting you. They're protecting their own self-interest and they know your ass is dumb. And you walk out here in complete oblivion, not even realizing you got a motherfucker walking behind you now that's scoping you out. That's the reason why males think you need them because they know y'all asses are delusional and you live in oblivion. Right? I know the game. I don't care what none of these niggas say about me. Shit. We're going to objectify you. How? That's just the world that we're Screenshots. in. When women objectify themselves and sexualize themselves, whether you might. Listen, women objectify. He said, that's just the world we live in at 32 minutes. At 32 minutes. He say that's just the world we live in. That this world, he basically says this world is dangerous for women. Right? And you objectify yourself. No. Women are not objectifying themselves because the nature of feminine, the nature of feminine energy is creative. By nature, women want to adorn themselves. This is the nature of feminine energy. And it's not to pull and attract males. It's literally creative energy. So it's natural for a woman to want to embrace all things prissy, all things in, uh, of her body and what looks good and makes her feel good. But the male with his stupid ass thinks that you're objectifying yourself from hit for him because what did the science say? The science says that the part of the brain, these niggas are dumb, I'm telling you, the part of the brain that is supposed to show activity to ponder another person's uh, intentions is flatlined. Do y'all understand me? The male cannot decipher if you are just enjoying yourself or trying to attract him. There's no fucking brain activity there. Hence why he's hence why they say y'all objectify yourselves. You don't even know who you are around. Yeah, please go back to fresh and fit and say 37 year old auntie is dumb and she don't know what she talking about. Please go back and say that you stupid motherfuckers. I think so or not, you know, like the society is going to look at like, oh, look at that. She's hot. And your mom doesn't want men to look at you as an object. Yeah. And I'm really happy that she protected me. She genuinely did protect me a lot as a child. It just kind of hurt. So, uh, <laughs> wait, is this your Instagram right here, Sophia? Yes. Oh, this is Chris. Okay. Oh, so, uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I see why your mom is mad. What the what? hell? Front I mean, face. Yeah. Front face. <laughs> what is out? I mean, come on. What like, is out? It's barely like, well, well you have no ass, barely. So, but it's like, <laughs> oh, wow. Listen, it, listen, it don't matter how you look. Well, you ain't got no ass. It don't matter how you look. Why? Because the whole objective is to get inside of your psychology to make your confidence come down. You could be the baddest bitch and they will still find something wrong with you. Don't listen to males. And so one of the uh, one of the things that I wanted to show women because I knew that they would do this dumb shit. I wanted to show how to allow insults to bounce off of you. Don't listen when you know what if you know what I know you know why these dudes are doing and, and you don't take it personally because these are power plays. They'll tell you some shit that ain't even true just to get in your head. Don't let a motherfucker in your head.
Because no matter what they say, these niggas dicks get hard for motherfucking. <sighs> these niggas dicks will get hard for a goddamn Chuck E. Cheese coin. Listen to me. They asses are so. They can't control their damn sexual arousal so much that these niggas will get hard for a Chuck E. Cheese coin they see on the ground. Something about the Chuck E. Cheese coin make them think of some pussy and they did get hard. So don't sit up here and let it. These a lot of these dudes ain't getting no pussy. They going months without pussy. Don't sit up here and let like like Chris. Oh, no talking ass. I wouldn't fuck you. You was a goddamn lie. Ain't no ain't ain't nigga. Nigga, I can't even understand what you're saying. You lucky that you on this show because I know ain't no bitches giving you no pussy before then. So you was a goddamn lie. You was a goddamn lie. I know these niggas. I don't listen to nothing they, these elementary school motherfuckers say. Right? I don't listen to nothing they say. Because they lying. They'll take the baddest motherfucker and say some negative shit about her. Right? Chris. Damn. I mean, They're I beautiful mean. pictures, by the way. Chris. Very gorgeous. I mean, bro, bro. Very cute. Look, look, the girl look good. And they'll say some shit. They'll say, they'll say some shit. Knowing good and damn well they behind the keyboard jacking their dick off right now. Right? I, I bet it's a nigga right here in the goddamn comment section right now that was calling me auntie on the damn panel right now. All I got to do is show him some, some titties. I ain't even showing him a lot. Just show him a little cleavage and that nigga dick getting hard. Because guess what he thinking about? He thinking about, damn, I wonder if I can stick my dick between and if she can just rub it down. I, I, fuck what these niggas talking about. These old sip ass niggas. They can't, they, they, they mind can't stop thinking about sex. Don't let these niggas say they don't want, they're they a liar. They're liars. <laughs> God damn. See, the thing is, is that when men look at pictures like this, like, like they're looking at this like, oh, yeah, like pe people are pervs, man. Like, Wait I'm a minute. Listen, at 32 minutes and 56 seconds, this nigga say this is what men looking at. So you have quantified and put men the, in, in, in a category. You generalized, right? And you it's OK for you to generalize. But if I say the same damn thing, guess what these game playing ass niggas going to say? Get what they going to say. Not all men. What men you know. What men you been around. Don't listen to, to these retarded motherfuckers. Because it's about power plays. This ain't got shit to do with the damn truth. At all. women understand that like you might think it's cute but guys look at this and they're like oh like they look at you as an object that's the picture the they look at listen he didn't say it again they look at you as an object listen to me i say men are incapable of love how the fuck can somebody love you when they look at you as a goddamn object to use huh do y'all even think do y'all listen to what these dudes are telling you out their own mouth? This ain't Priscilla just making up shit. This coming out their own damn mouth and it's backed up by science. But you so desperate to have a boyfriend for what? When you the damn resource. Baby, I went to, I went to Kinko's. No, FedEx. And I needed to print out something. And I asked, can I use y'all computer? I need to print out something. Yeah, you can use the computer, but it's going to cost you $5. And then we're going to charge you um, $5 for every 10 minutes that you use it. But you, these niggas want to, they want to use you because you use tools. You use resources, right? You let these niggas use you for nothing. Meanwhile, they're telling you that you're a goddamn tool. They view you as an object. But you let these niggas use you for nothing, and I got to pay $5 to use the goddamn computer at FedEx. You better make these niggas pay and stop listening to them. 
to, to convince you that you shouldn't. Nigga, where's the cash app? You ain't got no cash app. Get the hell out my face. I love that picture, bikini, by the way. The one that she got mad at. Which one? Which one? All the way down. Go oh, now. Go down, where, where? down, down. Down, Chris. Down. Down. Damn. Scroll. Where? Here? No, down. All the way. God damn. Yeah, that where? one in the black bikini. There? Right the, there. Yeah. That one. That's the one that she got mad at me for. Yo, yeah. Yeah, I get mad you know, too because you're a minor posting this. How old? Yeah. How old were you? I was about to turn fifteen. Bro. Oh, bro. 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 What do you expect? Bro, what do you expect? You're a kid. What's wrong with that? That's, that's face. Un that's Listen, she say, what's wrong with that? The girl don't even know what's wrong with it because women do not realize that they live amongst predators. No matter how many news reports come out about the behaviors of males, for some reason, women still don't recognize that they live amongst predators. There's a reason why males don't want you to to have male friends. Once they mark their territory, there's a reason they don't want you no, with no male friends. But you don't know why, right? It is still soft because what? The brain don't stop developing to 25. And I said that on the show, right? But they was but they was talking shit about auntie. They was talking shit about auntie like I gave a fuck cuz I know who I am. I know just how intelligent I am. You can't you can't make me doubt me. You can't make me look at me as fucked up. I don't care how you look at me. The only person the only people I care about listening to me is not males it's women and so if women listen to me i don't give a fuck what these niggas talking about <laughs> right because you know what they scared they are fucking afraid i mean they are afraid of women listening to me because they already don't want no quote unquote 41 year old like marcus houston say he didn't want a 40 year old they don't want nobody that can think like I can think because males are here to consume resources and they need to get the easiest access to resources. When women raise the bar, it makes them either have to sink or swim. This is why they don't want you to hear nobody like me. Because it make their goddamn life hard. And I don't care about their life being hard. I run, I run so far away. I apologize and I like, took it down. Bro, you didn't take accountability until we just called you out. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, it took us telling you that you're dumb for you to realize, like, yo, okay, I fucked up. You're I complaining took about your mom. back then. I can show you the letter that I wrote to her. I have a picture yeah. of it. Okay, let's let's skip. Let's skip. Before, oh no, she's Maybe. fucking sucking on there. Yeah. But you didn't say that. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, you didn't you say just that. said that. You, but, you just honest, said bro. that. You just said the, only fans. The equivalent is going to be that on both ends. Yeah. So the okay, guy well, super. She, but you didn't say that before. Not every yeah, girl yeah, even fucks and sucks yeah. on only fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's be real here though. Ultimately, it's going to lead to that eventually. Me. It don't have to lead to that because I can tell you. I I can tell you because I got game, baby. I'm I'm a pimp. I'm a G. I don't care what nobody say, baby. I'm a G. Listen. I could build my status up, right, with this intellectual game and knowledge that I'm putting out there. Once I get to critical mass, right, once I get to critical mass, it's real simple. I could literally just put out there that come see my OnlyFans and guess what? These simple ass niggas, they coming. I don't give a fuck what they say, but they can't control their nature. So they're coming, right? And I don't have to, I don't have to suck and fuck on nothing and I can make money on that because it's it is 10 percent talent 90 percent business it ain't it ain't what you do it's how you do what you do right how you work the game you ain't got to fucking suck on no damn only fans it's bitches out here getting money from niggas and they ain't even sleeping with these dudes and they getting bank right they just talking to these dudes right it's game baby it's game and the one thing that males want 
to keep women out of. They want to keep women out of knowing that this life is a game to be played. Males win by default when women don't recognize it's a damn game. Once you recognize it's a game, men can't beat you at this game because the game by nature was tilted in women's favor. By nature, this is women's game. Everything that men ever got, they got it from a woman. That's the reason why they blame you for everything, because they ain't designed to be no leaders. They're in they're occupying positions that they weren't naturally designed to damn occupy. Men can't fuck with you in this game. That's why they got to keep you doped up on some bullshit called love. Right. Stop buying that shit. Possibly. So those no. girls are or even if you don't have like, let's say you have one. Every guy's going to assume you're doing that. The perception anyway. is. Sally. That's the perception, unfortunately. Yeah. So with that perception, here's the thing. Why do you give a fuck about how people perceive you? Because people, you can't control what people think because people going to think what they want to think. Are you meeting your objectives? Right. Are you meeting your objectives? Are you getting what you came to get? Fuck what a person think, because people going to think what they want to think when they want to think, no matter what you say. So who give a fuck about what people think? Let them think what they want to think. Yeah. Damn. But I guess if you take still, a normal person want... and ask them about OnlyFans, they're going to assume they do porn on there, even if they don't. Unfortunately, they, they who give a fuck? You do porn just because you own first and fifth, so it don't really matter what people think. Well, mm -hmm. nah, nah, that's nah, not necessarily nah, true. Nah, nah, okay. nah, nah. What you mean? That's not necessarily true, because. They're up here with only fans, right? So the, the natural perception, because that's what they saying in the motherfucking chat. Three oh fours, hoes, they, they cock carousel, all that's going in. So just by them showing up on the panel, they assume that y'all hoes. They assume that you a hoe with the only fans. So what you mean, that's not necessarily true. Even though, even though I have the background that I have, they assumed I'm an old hoe, right? I'm an old hoe. Myron couldn't even fathom when he asked me when you was in your prime. Yeah, because women, when they get your age after they didn't hit the wall and don't nobody want them no more, then they think like you. But in your prime, baby, I've been like this. In, in my prime, I was too busy trying to get my damn commission and try to carry this goddamn, try to try to hit that seven to ten mile ruck march. Right. I was in school at the same time while I was also making rap music. You niggas ain't never been at the forefront of my damn mind, but it can't, it can fathom because in your mind, you think I was hoeing out at 21 to 25, didn't you? I don't give, that's what I'm saying. I don't care what you think because people are going to have their perceptions regardless. What another, per, what another person think about you ain't your damn business. Keep doing you. That's she went left field. God damn. Yeah, they she went real with her. Goddamn. Yeah, yeah, chill, auntie. That's relax. Not true at all. <laughs> chill, 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 auntie. Relax. Listen, coming out of left field. See, I'm going to say some shit that ain't nobody else going to say at the table. And what does that do? Let me pull up one of my laws. Let me go ahead and pull up one of my laws. What does that do? Right? Law number 28 of the 48 laws of power. What am I doing here? Right? Because all of my responses are different. Let me bring it back. All of my responses are different. So let me pull out the response. Law number 28 from the 48 laws of power. Interaction with boldness. If you are unsure of a course of action, don't attempt it. Your doubts and hesitations will infect your execution. Timidity is dangerous. Better to enter with boldness. 
Any mistakes you commit through audacity are easily corrected with more audacity. Everyone admires the bold. No one honors the timid. So everything that I am saying, I'm saying it with absolute boldness, right? I'm saying it with conviction and I'm not scared to say whatever the hell I'm going to say on this panel. Because what is my objective? Remember, here is my objective in case you forgot. Fresh and fit objectives. Number one, challenge Myron and destabilize him. Expose his lack of logic publicly. Two, get the girls at the table on my side. Three, get Myron emotional. Have him resort to sign language. Four, Take over the show and be an example of power for women to follow. Take the power from the host. These are my objectives. I am not trying to convince them to change their mind. I don't give a fuck what they think. All I want to do is take power away from you because your whole thing is to grasp for power. It ain't about the fucking truth. It's not about the truth. It's about power. And I'm going to take it from you, nigga. I'm going to take it from you. Okay. So you enter with boldness and you say shit. So here you here. I got them both laughing. Not necessarily. I'm going left field with everything they say. They can't even figure out what direction I'm coming from. They so confused about the direction. It eventually irritates them. <laughs> man. That auntie, man. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, all right. So, oh. but you prefer, okay, OnlyFans, not K. All right. What about you? Oh, uh, sorry. Twitch. Um, ah, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Come on over to YouTube, ninjas. Come on, guys. Okay, we're going to be on Rumble and YouTube only. Come on over to uh, YouTube right now, though. You, uh, fresh on YouTube. Go ahead. What about you? Uh, mm -hmm. OnlyFans or K son? I think it's really funny because I was actually going to say what she said because, like, the question okay. on the screen. Listen, uh, he say OnlyFans or gay son. My true answer is this. I don't have a preference. Life is the way it is. If 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 my daughter going to do quote unquote only fans. No, I'm going to have you. I'm going to teach you what you can do other than that. But if you're going to do it, I'm going to show you how to do it without having to to meet no motherfucking body. Right. Because supply and demand. This all business. This is a whole game. You ain't got to see none of these motherfuckers. You ain't got to fuck them. Right. Gay son. These niggas is gay regardless. I submit to the truth and I accept people as who they are because guess what? We all come to this plane with an objective and a mission. And guess what? As a parent, you don't get to control that because people going to do whatever they going to do. And guess what? You know that because that girl was 14 and she did what she wanted to do. A lot of y'all, you'll sit up here and talk this shit. But guess what? When your parents said not to do, you did what the fuck you wanted to do. Period. Right? So the key is to make sure that people are aware of the game and understand what they getting themselves into. I'm a real motherfucker. I don't live in delusion land. Right. So son going to be gay. He just going to be gay. He just be in the closet sucking dick and eventually he'll come out. Right. It ain't what I prefer. It is what the fuck it is. Right. I don't do coulda, shoulda, woulda. I do what is. And what is, is people are gay. What is, is people capitalizing on pictures, right? What is, is you got dumb motherfuckers running a damn podcast and putting uh, naive chicks up there and making money off of them. That's what is. All that other shit you talking about don't even fucking matter. You sacrifice that. Yeah. You would? But then again, if I wouldn't get... Or I wouldn't. Okay, the question here is, if a man decides to make the sacrifice to stop having sex, now we got to pull up some stuff. Yeah. If a man decides to make the sacrifice to stop having sex with other women just to make you happy, what sacrifices are you willing to make for him to make him happy? Do you think your sacrifice is a fair trade? Why? All the girls up here 
are not going to be able to answer this question because they really don't even understand that this is a setup question that has no correct answer in the world of delusion because monogamy is not real. The ultimate objective of the male is to pass his genes along. It is sex. In order for the male to pass his genes along, he has to demonstrate that he is the fittest. He lives in a world of survival of the fittest. When he proves that he's the fittest, he's going to fuck multiple vessels. That is a biological urge that the male does not desire to control. I got to come back to the forefront. Only listen to me. Only an elevated male who makes it to manhood has the ability to control his sex drive. The overwhelming majority of males are slaves to their sex drive. Hence why Myron wrote the dumbass book, Why Women Deserve Less, because it's an incel book. It's a book catered to incels who are simps, okay? That's just the bottom line. I don't care what nobody say because I'm a real person. I'm real deal, Holyfield. So let's go to school, right? Because they thought they was dealing with a dummy, right? So we have Think and Grow Rich. And Napoleon Hill wrote this book, Think and Grow Rich. And he studied over 25,000 people over a course of 20 years. Specifically in this particular department that I'm going to read to you, he spent 12 years studying thousands of men. This is a book written by a man about a man for men. This book is not for women. It don't even include women. This is a book from the male mind. So chapter 11. Chapter 11. Sex transmutation. I don't listen to no male talk to me. Because if you ain't going to be straight up honest and truthful, you ain't got nothing to say to me. Because I don't listen to liars. Because I'm not giving you no pussy off a lie. I'm not buying none of that shit you selling. Right? That's right. You're going to have to go try to fuck an 18-year-old nigga because you ain't getting nowhere with me. Sex transmutation, chapter 11. Sex desire is the most powerful of human desires. When driven by this desire, men develop keenness of imagination, courage, willpower, persistence, and creative ability unknown to them at other times. So strong and impelling is the desire for sexual contact that men freely run the risk of life and reputation to indulge in it. Now, keep in mind that I say that, that this book says that. So strong and impelling is the desire for sexual contact that men freely, baby, you ain't got to put a gun to their head. They freely risk their goddamn life for some pussy. They freely run the risk of life and reputation to indulge in it. So later on, when I say that men are incapable of love and I talk about my book that I wrote, the five components of love, and I laid out the five components of love. One component number five being willingness to die for what his stupid ass don't realize is. It's the five components of love, which means that all components have to be met in order for you to say that it's love. So he picks out one of the components, which is willingness to die for and say that a male risk in his life is equivalent to love. No, the fuck it's not because so strong and impelling is the desire for sexual contact that men freely run the risk of life and reputation to indulge in it. These niggas will die for pussy. They'll die because the army told them to go die. A male risking his life for a woman is not indicative of love. You must have other qualifying factors to be able to say that it is love. Right? 
These sex-driven hound dogs have no concept of love. The same people that look at you and they brain light up in the area of tools. They don't have a goddamn concept of love. The same motherfuckers that don't have the ability to tell if you're trying to attract them or not do not have a goddamn concept of love. The same people who can't decipher facial expressions. Let's look. The study shows that males don't even have the ability to decipher the emotions on your face. University of Montreal researchers found that women are better than men at reading facial expressions and tone of voice, which may help with fostering relationships, women pick up subtle signs of sadness 90% of the time, whereas men pick up such signs 40% of the time. Notes Luann Brizadine in her book, The Female Brain. Multiple studies show that the male cannot even decipher the fucking look on your face. He don't have the ability to control his behavior. And when he look at you, his brain lights up in the areas that processes tools. Their asses have no concept of love. So I don't listen to them. So any male telling me that he loves when he literally is incapable of processing a bunch of different shit in his brain he can't tell me nothing another thing <laughs> let's go to this page Why men seldomly succeed before 40? Right. Oh, they thought auntie was dumb, huh? No, they didn't think auntie was dumb. They didn't want to, they didn't want to hear no logic. Cause you know why? They ain't got no logic. They're emotional. They ain't got no damn logic. Napoleon Hill. I discovered from the analysis of over 25,000 people that men who succeed in an outstanding way seldom do so before the age of 40. And more often, they do not strike their real pace until they are well beyond the age of 50. The fact was so astounding that it prompted me to go into the study of its cause most carefully, carrying the investigation over a period of more than 12 years. 12 years, 25,000. This study disclosed the fact that the, ma the major reason why the majority of men who succeed do not begin to do so before the age of 40 to 50 is their tendency to dissipate their energies through the overindulgence in the physical expression of the emotion of sex. Sex is an emotion. For those of you who do not know what it is, what it means to have an emotion, what emotion means, baby, emotions ain't nothing but energy in motion. And what is the energy? Chemicals running through your body. And what is the sex chemical? Testosterone. Testosterone is the sex chemical. And sex, therefore, sex is an emotion. Males are more emotional than women. They do not have logic contrary to what you think. Their quote unquote logic is survival of the fittest which is a natural response to stimuli. They are not thinking like you think they are. They are not logical like you think they are. 
because males do not have the ability to control their sex drive, which makes them emotional. Hence why Napoleon Hill says, the study disclosed the fact that the major reason why the majority, not some, but the majority of men who succeed do not begin to do so before the age of 40 to 50 is their tendency to dissipate their energies through the overindulgence and physical expression of the emotion of sex. The majority of men never listen to me. The majority of men never, not some men, sometimes the majority of men, the majority of time, never. Because they weak. That's why they can't tell me nothing. You just better just don't even talk to me because you retarded. Okay, just go fuck something and leave the intelligent conversations to motherfuckers like me. Go and breed, nigga. Go and breed. Because that's all you know how to do. The majority of men never learn that the urge of sex has other possibilities. Which far transcend in importance. So only low level males... Only low-level males <laughs> can't control their sex drive. They like dogs. They like rats on steroids, right? The average male is not a man. He's a fucking animal. <laughs> transcend. Let's define transcend. What does it mean to transcend? Priscilla, that's why you ain't got no man. Thank God, because I ain't got time for no damn pet. I don't have time to teach no goddamn dummy. Right? <laughs> transcend. I want to make these niggas look dumb. I'm telling you, I want these niggas to look real retarded. <laughs> Listen, transcend, be, or go beyond the range of limits of something abstract. Listen, the male is not logical like they say because to operate from logic means you operate from the abstract the male is not an abstract thinker because abstraction abstract is feminine abstract thinking is feminine transcend be or go beyond the range or limits of something abstract, typically a conceptual field or division. Surpass. So the male is trapped in his lower nature because he cannot surpass his desire for sex. He can't control it. The majority of men never learn that the urge of sex has other possibilities which far go beyond the limits of something abstract. And it far so it far transcends in importance that of mere physical expression. The majority of those who make this discovery do not do so or well, they do so after having wasted many years at a period when the sex energy is at its height. Prior to the age of 45 to 50, this is usually followed by noteworthy achievement. So the reason why it takes males so long to accomplish stuff is because they simps by nature and don't have no self-control. In other words. Men waste all their fucking life force energy fucking like dogs and they do not operate from abstract thinking. 
They retarded. So if you think I'm going to go in, in fresh and fit and get offended by a bunch of sexless, retarded motherfuckers who can't control their sex drive, you crazy. Why would I get offended by them? They're dumb. The lives of many men up to and sometimes well past the age of 40 reflect a continued dissipation of energies, which could have been more profitably turned into better channels, which could have been more profitably turned into better channels. What men built the world? Because the majority of men never figure this out and they, they spend their life fucking. How you build in the world when you spend your life fucking the majority of you? When you got time to build the world, nigga? Because Napoleon Hill is white. Hold on. Napoleon Hill was a white, white boy. My, Myron wrote in his book and put a bunch of white men in the book talking about we built the world. Uh, I'm sorry, Steve Jobs is white. Hmm. While I was performing the 20 year task of research, which I had undertaken at Mr. Carnegie's request, I analyzed hundreds of well-known men, many of whom admitted that they had accumulated their vast fortunes through the aid of the Carnegie secret. Amongst these men were Henry Ford, William Wrigley, Jr., John Wanamaker, James Hill, George S. Parker, E.M. Stratler, or Statler. Henry Doherty, Cyrus Curtis, George Eastman, Dr. Frank Gonzalez, King Gillette, Judge Daniel Wright, Thomas Edison, F.W. Woolworth, Edward A. Feline, uh, Feline, Arthur Brisbane, Howard Taft, Edward W. Bach, Albert H. Gary, John Peterson, Stuart Austin Weir, because these are thinkers. These are thinkers. The majority of y'all, all you do is want to fuck, which is why you on fresh and fit bitching about you not being able to fuck. But you, you busy building the world, though. You busy, you busy building the world. Arthur Nash. Hmm. Dr. Alexander Graham Bell. Frank Munsey. Woodrow Wilson. Edward C. Barnes. Colonel Robert A. Dollar. Daniel Willard. Charles Schwab. It's a bunch of people on here. It's a bunch of people on here. Right? We built the world. Right? Nigga, you built the world. No. You built, you built a, a dungeon full of sex desires. That's what you fucking built. Right? Right? But you won't respect. You won't respect. <laughs> you want a feeling of deep admiration for nothing. For nothing. be nothing with a man if he's messing with other girls that's what i'm saying yeah, like you'd be monogamous to you so what do you he's does he only get smashing you only you he ain't gonna do it because all they think about is sex that desire in males is literally their number one objective and once they get it a lot of these dudes ain't trying to do nothing else so it's not the same for male to female being monogamous that's why this is a bullshit question but it's not bullshit for the show because they know that women live in delusion land they know that women live in delusion land because the male knows that he's not going to turn down sex he knows this he's not giving it up because sex is his ultimate biological objective it's not the woman's ultimate biological objective so if he's the fittest, he not going to stop. And they know this, but y'all don't know this. And so this is why I say what I say when they get to me. Because I know better. Social media. Awesome. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll move on. What about you? Well, I mean, like, if a man isn't going to have sex with other women, like... yeah. 
the sacrifice that you're making is you're not having sex with other mm-hmm. men. See, they don't know no better. Fuck that. They don't know no better. They don't know what to. They all saying the same stuff. Living in the real world. Because I think that's like pretty fucked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he say, she say, you ain't living in the real world. I think it's pretty. Fu-. Don't nobody care what you think. It don't matter how you feel. What's real. And that's how they make their money. By getting, and that's, it's not just about how they make their money. This is how they gain power over women. They gain power through resistance. The more you resist, they feed off the energy of resistance. This is why I was able to turn the tables and shake their ass up because I took the power away from them because I'm not giving you no resistance because I agree with you. I agree with y'all. I genuinely agree with y'all, but I don't agree that you supposed to be the leader. Nigga, you supposed to be a hoe. Because hoes just fuck. You a hoe, nigga. That's all you need to do. And you need to stay out the boardroom where we have to think. Because you're not a thinker. You a breeder. You a fucking breeder. And that's, that's the role you need to play. That's the role you need to play. <laughs> you wanted the teenagers, huh? <laughs> Listen. I'm just saying, like, if I, you're not if I wanted to, like, have sex with another dude, I get I'm not wired for it or whatever, and guys are wired for it, then, like, it's a sacrifice to not have sex with him. So do you want that, though? Ultimately, let's say you meet a guy that you're with, you're in love with him, See a guy maybe in college, wink, wink, that you like. Mm-hmm. Are you going to go for it? Not if I'm in a relationship. You see, this is a waste of time because if you j- if y'all just submit to the truth, baby, this show would have been, this show would have probably been 60 minutes max if everybody just accepted the truth, right? The resistance is what gives Myron and the males the illusion that they're logical. Listen. This is what gives they retarded asses the illusion of them being logical. But when you really bring a logical argument, these motherfuckers cannot adapt. This is basic. They just they're just accepting the truth about their biological nature. The women live in delusion land. So it gives them the illusion of being logical when they really not. Why? As long as he's the same way. Oh, so it's a requirement now. So naturally, you don't right. want to do it. Right. Like I said, it goes both ways. No. Ultimately, right? It does not go both if ways. That's, you a, that's cheat, the thing. Whose fault is it? If you cheat, whose fault is it? Right? So the male basically asking her this question because in his mind, if he cheat, it ain't his fault. Why? Because the male can't control his goddamn self. He can't control himself. I can't help it. I mean, I can't see some pussy and not stick my dick in it. I mean, I mean, who do that? Yeah, man, it's just them. Yeah, I I mean, it's her fault for opening it up because I can't stop it. This, that's why these niggas just need to be on a breeding farm. Listen, that's why you, that's, that's why the white man took that nigga and put him in chains and made that nigga breed because that's all he know how to do. Breed these niggas, right? Breed them like bullies. Like get 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 a chihuahua and a and a and a, and a uh, poodle and breed them, right? That's how you do men. You breed these niggas, right? And then you put the babies in 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 in, in, in little league, and then you grow them up to put them in the NFL. You breed these niggas. Cause that's that that, that they love that. Ooh, I get some pussy. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They simps by nature. These old ragged ass niggas, right? If I cheat, whose fault is it? Yeah. Depends on the circumstances. No, it's your choice. So I'm just saying you chose not to do it by yourself. Him his actions shouldn't dictate who what you're doing. You get know what I'm saying? As in like your choice ultimately was your choice from the very beginning. Right. And same with the guy. 
No, so whether he does it or not shouldn't affect your. You see, they 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 really think they logical because this girl retarded and it ain't her fault. She ain't even graduated high school yet. She don't know no better. So ain't nobody taught her. So now now they think they superior because you got two, you got this nigga over thirty talking to a goddamn high school student, making him feel like he missed a big man. I am, we, we are logical. These niggas, listen, these niggas got to play life on handicap mode. Y'all ever play, y'all ever play 2K and, and all, and then they ask you what kind of mode you want to play on? They got to put it on easy. These niggas got to play life on easy. This nigga ego is really getting boosted because he talked to 18 year old. But then they want you to follow them. Man, these nigga gonna lead you straight off a cliff. These raggedy niggas gonna lead you straight into the side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> this is your body. Right, but I mean, if he's cheating on me, I'm going to cheat on him. All like, right, the question is, enough. what sacrifice are you going to make? God damn it, see, 18. <laughs> if you expect him to be monogamous to you, which you obviously do with your argument, that doesn't make sense, but it's fine. If, you're, if you expect him to be monogamous to you, because that's a big sacrifice for men, mm -hmm. what do you give him in return? What are you going to sacrifice? Don't sacrifice nothing for these niggas, right? Don't sacrifice. Just let that nigga fuck. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? Hold his ass out. Make him lick all y'all pussy. Because that's what I'm going to do. Bitch, get down. Lick. Lick. Now, I'm not going to let you fuck me because I don't do community peen. But I'm going to let you fuck all that over there. <laughs> These niggas ain't good for nothing but fucking, and they'll be happier than a sissy with a bag of dicks. Listen, if you let them fuck, they'll be happier than a sissy with a bag of dicks, and they'll be happy to go live in a shoebox with a damn TV on the floor and a fucking cot, and, and they'll be happy. They'll be happy. Just get these niggas what they want. Well, I'm going to be monogamous to them. And that doesn't count. That's your do job. Do what they make. That's not her job. Mm -hmm. That was mean. That's not. Her. I mean, if that that she gave you an answer, yeah. she said she would be monogamous. That's her answer. It's not a fair trade at all. Okay. Because he's saying like what, what to make it a fair trade. You say it's not a fair trade. We agree to disagree. Right. <laughs> and also, are you paying all the bills? Are you going to be the leader in, in this? Uh. I mean, that depends. Those are all. Sh See, this is a pointless conversation, right? Because we we just need to go. On. L listen, girl. Listen, and they keep listen. They shut me up now. Now listen. They shut my logical ass up and let her keep going around in circles knowing she sound crazy. These niggas know she sound crazy, but they going to let her keep talking. <laughs> they going to let her keep talking and then they going to shut auntie up. Bitch, you just old. Bitch, you just old. You 37-year-old grandma. Don't no man want you. <laughs> These fucking... These remedial ad niggas in the comment section. <laughs> like, what if questions, just like you said. You're not. Like, yeah. You're not right. bills for a man. So, the only sacrifice you would make, you're saying, is that you would be monogamous too? Yeah. That's a fair trade. That's an absolutely a fair trade. Not a fair fair trade. trade. I'll explain why it's not a fair yes. trade here in a little bit. But that's not it's a fair not. trade at all. So, that's all yeah. it would be. All right. Fancy. It's not a fair trade. It really ain't a fair trade. Right? Because testosterone which is the sex hormone is concentrated in the male body 300 times the amount <laughs> that's in the female body these dudes can't stop thinking about sex baby everything listen i don't even care. like you know the number one thing i say to dudes when they come in and they start talking shit on my videos they'll say some shit like this it sounds like you just bitter it's yeah it just sound like you can't keep a man it sound like it sound like it sound like you know what i tell these nigga when they say anything like it sound like i say <laughs> coming from the same motherfuckers who think macaroni and cheese sound like pussy 
Nigga, your ears are not trustworthy. You niggas think macaroni and cheese sound like pussy. Can't nobody trust your goddamn ears. It sound like, it sound like, it sound like. <laughs> Baby, everything make these niggas think about pussy. You understand? Everything. Black and white keys on the keyboard. Pussy. A sandwich at Subway. Pussy. Weed. Pussy. Everything make this nigga brain go to fucking. Everything make this nigga brain go to fucking, okay? It ain't the same. Girl, you could be thinking about finishing assignment. You could be thinking about going to pay your bills and what the kids got to eat and never think about sex the whole day. That whole day, this nigga done thought about sex 372 times. 372 times. And ain't getting it. <laughs> You're okay with sharing. What about you? I'm going to be monogamous back. You think that's a fair trade too? Yes. Because I, anybody yeah. that I'm, like, this is from my personal experience. Like, everybody's different. Everybody's morals and values are always different. Right. But what I believe, like, what I require when in a relationship, if I'm giving 50%, you get 50%, and we make 100%, like, as far as. You, you see how density, they don't even realize how retarded they sound. These, nigga, these girls don't even realize how retarded they sound. Well, you go 50-50, I'm going to go 50-50. If you be monogamous, I'm going to be monogamous back. <sighs> they don't even realize how retarded they sound. And all I'm trying to do is bring them into the real world, right? But men don't really want them to be in the real world. They just want to tell them they delusional because it give them power. I like taking niggas' power away. That, that, I'm, I'm addicted to taking these niggas' power away, okay? Right? And and here, anytime a motherfucker, I don't care what they said about me on the show, but anytime a nigga think he finna come and say something to me, and y'all see me do it. Y'all done seen me do it on the show every time. And listen, these niggas so retarded. Listen, let me, listen. Y'all, these niggas so retarded that I can tell them what I'm going to do before I do it, and they still fall for it. Every goddamn time. They call my damn line talking this shit. And I just pull out my titties. Listen, nigga. Shh. 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 Be quiet. And that shit work every motherfucking time. Every goddamn time. See, I don't give a damn. I'm a, I ain't gonna lie. Them girls on the panel, they look good. The chick with the blue looked better than me. It was a couple of them that was more fly than me. Shit. But you ain't got more swag than me, goddammit. You ain't got more swag than me, baby. Right? Because I handle these motherfuckers. That's what I do. I handle these niggas. Because guess what? It ain't about how you look, baby. It ain't. It's about how you hook. It ain't about how you look. It's about how you hook. Right? And I know how to hook a motherfucker. Right? <laughs> Shit. 37-year-old, goddammit. That's right. I'm a 37-year-old G, motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all got me twisted. Shit. <laughs> Ain't about how you look, baby. It's about how you hook. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to this circus show. Let's get back to the circus. Like, if I'm being loyal to you, then I do expect you to be loyal to me, but I don't expect a man to take care of me. I can take care of myself, but I do require at least 50-50. Do you Go. think relationships are 50-50? Mm -hmm. I think in my, I can't say relationships for everybody. I'm speaking for myself. Baby, ain't no relationship 50-50. You only think it's 50-50 because you believe that you're behind the male. If you realize that you're superior to the male, you wouldn't be calling no damn 50-50. Ain't no shit no 50-50. How the fuck is 50-50 when the dude got to build his, build his value? They say they got to build value. If they got to build value, that mean they ain't got no value coming out the gate. How the fuck is it 50-50? From their perspective, they think they're superior. They're not. But I will give, I will say this. 
the male. I will say this. The male who can embody this with extreme self-discipline, who can embody this because as women, in reality, you are practically born with this. Males have to learn how to acquire this which means that they have to put more conscious effort into acquiring this. When he does, it makes him superior amongst other men, but it still makes him, it only brings him to the level of equality when he does this in accordance with women, right? Because women are born with power. Power belongs to the feminine. It don't belong to the masculine, but the male who can engage his mind, he can, who can engage his abstract mind and, and access discipline and self-control to master himself does become, he does become superior in accordance with other guys. Then the women select him to actually work on their behalf, right? That's how that shit goes. But males are not born leaders. As you saw with the ENTJ commander, only 3% of the damn population is even ENTJ. And I'm one of them motherfucking ENTJs, right? So the average male who got an ego, no, he's not going to want to be with me because I'm going to make that nigga feel like shit. My energy make that nigga feel like a roach. And he don't want to feel like no roach around no bitch. So he going to go find him a little 20 year old who don't know shit. Oh, bars. Yeah. Bars. They call me badass, and I punish you. See, we ain't people, we ain't equal, I ain't one of you. I set this bitch off. I set this bitch off. That's what I did. They call me badass. That's right. <laughs> Let's get back to the clown show. I do think in my personal relationship, I can go 50, 50, 73. Like, you know, he might pay a little bit more of the bills. But let me tell you what me, male, as, as these women are up here talking, let me tell you what men hear. Wah, 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 wah. That's what they hear. Because I ain't going to lie, I hear that shit too. Wah, 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 wah. Delusional. Wah, 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 fairy tale. Delu That's what they hear. Because I hear the same shit. So it's I don't mind helping out. You don't mind helping, but it's not a 50-50. Okay, why do you not think it's a 50-50? Okay, is your man the leader and the decision maker in the relationship? Of course. So by default, it's not a 50-50. But that's on a emo like that's on an emotional level. I'm talking what? about as far as finances, like. Wait, who's paying the bills? Like, I think it's a e it's a joint thing. No, no, no. Paying the Someone's paying the bills. Is it yeah, like him? both. No, who's paying half the rent? Half? half and half. My head finna start hurting. Hold on, cause this 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 this, this conversation is retarded. So I see why a lot of y'all saying it was hard to watch this, cause baby, my head finna start hurting, cause they are, they ass is. If, that's the way it should be. If you're mad, sis, you love, babe. Mm -hmm. I love you with all my heart, mm -hmm. but I want to fuck some bitches on the side. Are you gonna follow him still? No, I'm not. I guess I listen. Hell no, I'm not finna follow no nigga that, that, that's weak behind pussy. You gonna get all our ass caught. Because guess what? We got a plan. We supposed to be executing. And all, they, all, the, CIA, all the CIA and the Secret Service and the FBI gotta do is send a nice little hot yellow chick in there with some big ass titties. And your weak ass gonna fold and you gonna get us all caught. Your stupid ass gonna get us all caught. Hell no, I'm not following no damn simp. 
Ooh, 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 shit. Ooh, I might not never get another chance to get no high yellow pussy like this. Ooh, it's so tight and it's so warm. Put your hands up, nigga. Put your hands up. <gasps> Hell no, I'm not going to follow your retarded ass. <laughs> you going to get us all caught. That because I believe like my man should be able to control himself and I think that like when oh. you can't control yourself I think it makes you vulnerable like when you can't control your dick and I feel like you should feel like bitches shouldn't even deserve your dick like I think that's men has it like fucked up in their head like a bitch like shouldn't even deserve your dick do you have a dick? no <laughs> I don't have a dick but I'm just saying that's how I then expect. how can you tell a man with a dick what to do with it? Ooh. I'm not telling a man. I'm saying in my relationship. I'm not speaking for all men. You said I'm speaking for coulda. my situation. Okay. Well, I mean, you fantastic. Your man. Yeah. Uh, okay, but so you would just give him back in exchange monogamy. Yeah. You would give him back. That's the sacrifice you would make, not fucking other dudes. Yes. 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 All right. 50, nigga. Uh, well, well, you said that you're straight delusion. This how your ass get cheated on. That's how your ass get cheated on right there. Just living in La La Land. Oh, these is pretty pink roses and and no mosquitoes don't bite and shit don't stink. That's 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 how y'all fucking sound. No, nah, shit don't stink. Mosquitoes don't bite. <laughs> Tigers are friendly. Okay, with uh, sharing somewhat. Yeah. Wait, what's your requirements? I want to hear these. Um... I don't sharing. know. Like, I'm still trying to figure it out. Like, I used to be, <laughs> like, definitely. No. See, now they finna go off on a tangent. They asked finna go off on a tangent, but he was he was complaining, claiming that I was going off on the tangent, and they ass was the ones going off on the tangent. Like, you're not about to do that. But when I like really think about it, um, there's you would have to definitely make more than like a hundred thousand. Is that is that what you mean? Or like, it would have to be like something significant to where. We can go do whatever. I can still do what I not do what I want. As in, like I can go to the gym and not feel like feel like I'm being like stalked and I can't go do anything or like. Um, so you want freedom? Yeah, like a little bit. Like I'm not saying like I need some freedom. I don't want to be just like trapped in the Wait, house. Who you with that? Don't want to let you go to the gym. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, I don't know. Don't like, work out the gym. You see, you see, this is why they this that's y'all easy prey. Soon as you start talking, this what niggas do. Soon as you soon as you start talking like that. These niggas behind. <laughs> yeah, I can run some bullshit game on this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, nah, baby. No, nah, baby. Oh. Uh, no, nah, me and my baby mama, me and my ex-wife, we're just roommates. No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, I love you, you know. We're going to get together one day. But no, nah, I still stay with her. We're just roommates. We don't, we don't sleep in the same bed. Okay, okay. Y'all dumb. This what they this what they want you to sound like that. They want you to sound like that, right? And then when you start sound like sounding like that, see, we want we want feminine. See, she feminine and she submissive. Priscilla, you masculine. Don't I don't I don't want a masculine man. Listen, stop listening to these motherfuckers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Believe anything these niggas say. <laughs> Girl, this nigga could be fucking dudes behind your back. Don't sit up here. Listen, they already Listen, I ain't even know they had caught Myron in the bed with two other dudes, right? And I ain't know he had a whole white dude kissing him on the face. Girl, you sitting up there talking about without... Baby, men like to fuck without condoms, right? And clearly they like sharing beds with other males, okay? What you mean? Well, if he... Girl, you ain't got a clue what these dudes be doing in the background. Oh, my bad. My bad. She talk. Listen. Let me see. 4930. Let's go to. Let's go to 4921. Okay. If it's like very, very. Is this occasional? And you're not like. He's wearing a condom. I don't know about it. If it's occasional. 
Like, will you let him cheat if it's occasional and you wearing a condom? And like, what the hell is she even saying? What the hell is she even saying? You don't know if this nigga fruity booty or not. Because y'all know it's a bunch of fruity booty dudes out there that got a bunch of kids. And guess how they get a bunch of kids? By fucking without condoms. So you willing to risk your own health just to appeal to a dude. You're willing to risk your own health and your body to appeal to a dude because you need validation and y'all just want to be in relationships for why? For why? I just, I just want to know. I'm not trying to appeal the damn person on this show. I'm here to speak the truth and I'm here to speak it boldly. Um, Twice a week. That's too, mm-hmm. not so much. Like, all right, huh. For that One, many girls, like that's so often like. <laughs> once a week. Uh, why do I have to even know the like? I don't want to know. Like, I don't want to. You want more shit. So you don't want to know what this dude doing with his penis that he's gonna bring and put inside of you. You don't want to know what he's doing with his penis that he brings from the outside world and puts into you. Even though women who are married constantly talk about their husbands. Giving them HIV. Y'all remember when I read the um, read that anonymous askers post where the woman was married to this dude. And when they got married, they both was HIV positive. And like six months or a year in, she ended up HIV positive because he was cheating without a condom with somebody. You mean to tell me you don't care and don't want to know? Ignorance ain't bliss. Ignorance is the most dangerous thing on this planet. Ignorance is the most dangerous thing on this planet. It is the cause of all war. It is the cause of all frustration. It is the cause of all illness. It's the cause of all that is bad. Because you don't want to think, right? You don't want your feelings hurt. Well, guess what? If you if you bow down to the truth, and the more you bow down to the truth, the less feelings you will have about people being people like i feel like i can make a guy happy enough to where he's not gonna want to just do that with a million girls i don't know delusion ain't nothing you gonna do to make a male want to stop doing his ultimate biological goal why you why are you trying to control the uncontrollable do you Stop trying to find out how you can, quote unquote, keep a male. The male's job is to keep you, not the other way around, because you the value. But they want to trick you and make you believe that their asses are the value. They're not. And that's the greatest secret that they hold amongst themselves. God forbid she ever find out she's the actual value. You can do four rounds a day? Yeah. Every- Listen. He say you can do it for four rounds a day, every day. Listen, he going to ask her so you can have sex four rounds a day, every day. Nigga, you say you built the world. How you got time to build the world if you fucking four times a day, every day? Huh? Huh? How you got time to build the goddamn world? Because we all know that once dudes get they 90 seconds a fucking pleasure and they nut they ass go to sleep and then be mad because you ain't made them a sandwich can you make me a sandwich baby 90 seconds it's all it take and then he sleep for five hours how the hell this nigga got time to build the world if he's sleeping 20 hours a day after fucking 90 minutes four times a goddamn day that's all i want to know breed these niggas take them to the barnyard and breed these niggas like dogs Mm-hmm. Me and my ex had sex like one to three times a day for like the entire time we were dating. Well, niggas like call her up. God damn. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, and so. What about you? What, wait, what's you didn't, I didn't even answer the oh, question. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What sacrifice would you? Well, you. Okay, she's in the middle. So what sacrifice would you make if, if a guy's gonna be monogamous yeah. to you and suppress what he wants to do? Well, one thing I don't agree. I think you definitely should sacrifice more than your own monogamy. Um, but I, I've like read a lot. So of what places. would you sacrifice then as a woman? I, oh my God, this is such a raggedy conversation oh my god i see how y'all was struggling trying to get through this 
because I'm struggling too. I'm just trying to get to my part right now. You Bro. wanted to, you like, like, like come wait, on. Wait, wait, okay, if you got fantasies, you could go fuck a guy right but now. Why don't I'm, you do it? Listen, what I'm saying. Wait, what, wait, wait. Why don't you not? It weird. You can what, do it. Yeah, do it. If you have these fantasies, like mm -hmm. you say, mm -hmm. you could do it. You can easily go, hey, yeah. I got a fantasy. You match it. Let's fuck. Why don't you do it? What do you mean, why don't I do it? You can easily do it if Wait, you wanted to. You do it now? Could I find somebody to fuck? No, no. are you going to oh. fuck the guy right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Why? No. Wow. Why not? What do you mean? I'm saying in in my lifetime, I've had fantasies where I've wanted more. But more. The, the question ain't about fantasies. Oh, God. Listen, this 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 why the, the conversation is exhausting because we're going against the current. Women just refuse to accept male nature, but they refuse to because they think males are superior to them, but they're not. Accept them and take them in the barnyard and breed them and then put their kids in slave labor. That's what you do because that's what the white man did. See, they don't want to know the truth, right? That's the truth about their asses. They was bred like dogs and animals and horses, and then they was put to work. Because all they want to do is fuck. They don't want to actually flex their mind. So, all you got to do is take the power and be the leader and let the nigga breed. That's all you got to do. And they'll be happy. And then they'll go to sleep on their little cot with their fucking thumb in their mouth. And you reward them with some more sex tomorrow. And then he never accomplished anything. And just let him fuck his little brains out until he die. Because they got one of these little moles. That's what the moles do. They, they, that's all they do. They fuck until they die. That's what you do. Stop trying to reason with them. One guy, like this, yeah. is, this is not something that's uncommon. But not forever, though. Now, what what am I doing here? Now, what I'm saying will will piss the male off. Why? Because I've taken the power away from him. I've taken the power away from him, and I bruised his ego because I want you to understand it ain't about sex. It's about being valued. It's about feeling important and when you take the nigga out of the brain out of the mind and you put him in his lowest nature and tell him stay out of logical conversations because you ain't nothing but a breeder you ain't nothing but a hoe you ain't nothing but a slut now fuck see that 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 bruises his ego because then now he wants to prove that he's more than his sex drive but he ain't because his actions show otherwise right Right? So it don't matter which way the male wants to go. I'm going to hurt your ego. Because this is about power. And nothing else. It goes away after a while, right? Okay, yeah, I could agree with that. But why but don't it you comes do it and goes. if it's a fantasy and you can do it? Why not just do it then? Why not? Just If I wanted to, I would. Why not? Why don't you do it then? Because yeah. I don't want to right oh, now. Wow, wow, like, wow. <laughs> see, they, see, listen. Fresh and Fit could not have a show talking to me because if they talked to me, I that would have been the high power. Baby, they would have had to they would have had to put a, a digital banner over fucking Fresh and Fit right here where you see in the corner where it say Fresh and Fit podcast. Baby, they had to put a digital banner over there that, that, and, and turn that bitch into the high power podcast. They couldn't have talked to me. That's the reason why they had to cut me off because they would not have had a comeback. If I was able to talk on there like I'm talking on here, baby, they would have had to cover that shit up and say Priscilla show. <laughs> Cause they can't say nothing about what I'm saying, right? Uh, I don't feel like it right now. Yo, no, you like, <laughs> no, you don't feel like, like it right you guys now. are literally arguing to argue. <laughs> We're, I'm saying this is what it is. You guys are like, oh well, what about this and that? I'm like, okay, well, do you do that? No. Why are you making an argument? See, now y'all finna see this nigga get get pissed because see, he he. He playing on easy mode, y'all. Y'all, he playing on easy mode. Because now, y'all finna look at their face. You finna look at their facial expressions when I get ready to talk. You see how they got everything to say with them girls. But here, I, I'm finna come in and I'm finna blow their ass out the water. 
I blew him out the water with this so cold that niggas in the comment section was like, come on, Myron, respond. Myron, respond. C come on, man. No, no, Myron, respond. That, no, Myron couldn't say shit. <laughs> None of them could say anything. For something y'all don't even want to do. It ain't really no what about ism, Myron. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it was going to take to get to answer your original question, but let mm -hmm. me go ahead and then they can answer your question. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So here, look, check it. Check mm -hmm. it. Check. Monogamy ain't real. Okay. Mm, okay. And you know, um, Myron told y'all the game in his book. Did y'all read it? Mm. Woo! Know your enemy. He told you the game in his book. Did y'all read it? What did I do? What did I do when I said that? I shocked him first of all. Damn, the bitch read my book. Right. Yeah. I read your book. Right. And I done already boosted his ego earlier when I set him up at the beginning at the beginning of the show when I set him up and told him he was logical and then I just came out and I said I read the book. Baby, that nigga was geeking on the inside. He was geeking on the inside until <laughs> later in the show. But here's his watch his facial expression. Aaron says males are slaves to their sex drive, which they are. Mm -hmm. He's trying to teach them not to be simps. Lord. So, you know, two look, 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 look. They, they, he liking it, right? Because I'm on their side. I'm finna show you the law of power. I'm finna, look, I'm finna, finna show you the law of power. Look at this. I said they Ooh. got the game from a woman. Ooh. So, no, you don't try to stop him from yeah. sleeping with other. You pass him around. You slut him out. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. Look at his face. It caught everybody off guard. If he had some, if he was drinking something, he'd have spit it out. Look at the 18 year old. She ain't never heard no shit like that. Pimp, pimpology on the floor. Pimp and Ken on the floor, baby. Right. And she like, what? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> and you slut them out and you make them go to work. It's simple as that. You know, yeah. Look, look at Fresh Face. Listen, this shit caught him off so uh, caught caught him off guard so hard, right? They don't know what the fuck to say. They wasn't expecting this shit. Oh, oh no, male, no, <laughs> sir. We not trying to own you, baby. Look, he trying to hold it. He trying to hold his motherfucking laugh, right? What does this do? It brings down resistance, right? It brings down resistance. It lightens up the room. It brings energy into the damn room. Because what you do, you go in bold, right? What was that law of power? Damn, where's my, yeah. L listen, what law, what law of power was that? Where's my damn book? Okay, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ah, <laughs> uh, which one? Which one? <laughs> you go in bold. Hold on. Bold action. Law number 28. Law number 28. Go in with boldness. <laughs> they can't. They can't. They, they ain't ready for me, y'all. Baby, this was all game. This was all strategic. This was all strategic. Listen, go in. <laughs> Law number 28. Uh, 28. Bam. Enter action with boldness. If you are unsure of a course of action, do not attempt it. Your doubts and hesitation will infect your execution. Timidity is dangerous. Better to enter with boldness. Any mistakes you come commit through audacity are easily corrected with more audacity. Everyone admires the bold. No one honors the timid. Everyone admires the bold. I was bold enough to get out there and say, slut that nigga out. He want to fuck, slut him out. Right? And guess what? It got everybody laughing. I'm going to pass you around, Myron. Look, 
Myron don't even fuck with black chicks. And I said, I'm going to pass you around, Myron. Listen, I directed, listen, I directed it to him. I called his name. Listen, let me tell you something. Neuro linguistic programming, NLP, the sweetest name that the sweetest word that anybody can hear is their own name. So NLP, I directed it to Myron and I said, I'm going to slut you out, Myron. I made sure that I called his name. <laughs> they wasn't ready for me, baby. NLP. <laughs> yes. That's hilarious. No, that's what you do. <laughs> because women with original pimps and males with original hoes. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. Look, I st the nigga still laughing. He don't know what to say. He don't know what to say. I like I, I brought energy to the table. I brought energy to the table. And even if people had some fucked up shit to say about me in the comment section, they have no other choice but to laugh at that. Because guess what? Laughter is infectious. People can't resist a good quote unquote joke or laugh, right? Positive energy, right? Charisma is infectious. And you do it boldly. Don't be scared to say, listen, as a matter of fact, you're going to slut that nigga out. That what you want to do? I'm going to slut you out, Myron. Right? <laughs> this whole hoology? Look, 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 he, he say it's hoology. Wait a minute. Yeah, for males. Right? Because I'm not the one that's fucking, nigga. You gonna be the one that's fucking. Baby, I'ma make you fuck four to five times a day. Didn't you just ask that girl? Can you fuck four to, uh, four to five times a day? Or four times a day? Every day? No. That's what you wanna do? I'ma make you fuck four times a day. As a matter of fact, I'ma boost it up to six. But I'ma make sure I put you in the fucking barnyard. Right. And I want to put a fucking collar on your neck. Right. I want to treat I want to treat you like a book, nigga. Because that's what you are. Oh, the tape. Hey, ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, huh? Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, huh? <laughs> so no, sir, I'm, I'm not trying to stop you and I, I'm not making no sacrifices. I'm going to give you your biggest desire, sex. That's what you want because y'all don't have no self-control. They so don't. Give, give you empty. the biggest he thing that your <laughs> heart desires, Ooh. sex. Listen, this nigga can't even respond. He say, ooh, but he can't respond. And people in the comment section was like, Come on, Myron, respond. Let me see if I got it, cause I I I I, <laughs> I screenshotted a couple of them co a, co a couple comments. Let's see if I can find it, and I'm gonna let y'all I'm gonna let y'all look right along with me. Yeah, I'm gonna let y'all look right along with me. Let's see. Okay. Oh, they. Oh no, I got my. I guess I got my stuff hidden. Let's see. Let me pull it up. I got a. I got my new folder here. Let me see if I can find one of these. Don't use. Okay, screenshot. Let's look at. Let's see. Let's see what some of these screenshots say. Okay, that epidemic sound. That's epidemic sound. Let's. Okay, yesterday. Let's. Okay, let's look at the ones from yesterday. Bam. Eighteen-year-old so naive. Right. She's eighteen. She has no idea. 
Mm-hmm. See, this is what they were saying in the comment section about the 18 year old, right? So you ain't you you can't win for losing with these with these cats. Either you're too old or you're too young, right? Let's see. Oh, they was calling me the female Charleston White. Uh, they was calling me the female Charleston White. Let's see. She sound like Charleston White. Uh. Oh. Let's see. That girl is hardcore. Huh. How that's working for you, King Kong? Laugh my ass off. Hold on. Let's see. Huh. She like the only charismatic woman I've ever seen. Let's see. Female Charles White. Boom. I, I just want to see if I took that screenshot of this nigga saying, oh, Myron met his match. That's right, nigga. I got you. I got you. <laughs> he say, I want auntie. She high, high value. <laughs> uh, let's see. She's 100% related to Charleston White. Auntie a pimp. Mm. Let's see. Uh, there you go. Come on, Myron. Fire back. Come on, Myron. Fire back. Why does she sound like Charleston White? Trad wives fusion with Charleston White. See, they already see me in my, uh, my, my charismatic personality as male, right? See, they can't resist this. They can't, they can't resist this pimping, baby. They can't, right? They can't. I ain't tripping about it. Let's roll. Let's roll some more. Right? This nigga can't even say nothing. Ooh. Go ahead. Oh, man. All right. Look. All right. All, all right. What can What can you say about that? Honestly, what can you say about that? You can't say anything. Because why? Why can't you say anything? Because I took your power away. How did I take your power away? Easy. Law. Let's see. Which law was that? Law number 44. We're going to put law number 44 back on, the, back on the screen. How did I take your power away? Real simple. Just like this. Just like this. Law number 44. Disarm and infuriate with the mirror effect. The mirror reflects reality, but it is also the perfect tool for deception. When you mirror your enemies doing exactly as they do, they cannot figure out your strategy. The mirror effect mocks and humiliates them, making them overreact. By holding up a mirror to their psyches, you seduce them with the illusion that you share their values. By holding up a mirror to their actions, you teach them a lesson. Few can resist the power of the mirror effect. So I genuinely do hold their views from a different angle, though. Right? Because truth is truth. Right? Right? But they want one-sided truth. I'm not about no one-sided shit. I'm about the whole damn picture. Pass on for real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. Well, real fast, can I uh, answer the question? Um, I will give up part of any type of like male attention that he wanted. If he wanted me to take my social media, um, dressing a certain way in public, going to like clubs. Telling dudes what they want to hear that I'm willing to give up everything. Not realizing that you're a resource and these suckers would drain you dry if you let them. You don't give up shit. Right? I'll be fine. I got real game. Right? I got real game. <laughs> if a guy really wanted to make that commitment for me, 
I would I would definitely do that. So so you willing to give up everything for some commitment that ain't even real because the male, the overwhelming majority of males have no self-control. So you draining yourself for fucking nothing. You're literally draining yourself for an idea or a fantasy. And then you wonder why you suck dry. You wonder why they say you hit the wall. Because men know that they suck the life force energy out of you. And that's why they say you let him. You chose him. You let him. You don't know how not to let him. That's the problem. All right. So you'd give up all the avenues for men to reach you. Yeah. It looks like. All right. What about you? What would you give up in exchange for him being monogamous to you? I would give up everything because I haven't met a monogamous man. Do you, listen, she the cutest one up there, and she is the most docile one. As a matter of fact, she sound like they, everybody was calling me the damn plant in the psyop. Maybe she was. She, she sound like she is on a mind control drug. I would give up everything, you know, because I have never found a guy who is not monogamous. She sound like the AI robot. Shit, don't come on. Y'all know good and damn well she sounds just like the damn AI robot. 5448. Let's go to 5440. 5440. Listen. 5434. Look. Listen. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. So. All right. So you'd give up all of the avenues for men to reach you. Yeah. It looks like. All right. What about you? What would you give up in exchange for him being monogamous to you? I would give up everything because I haven't met a monogamous man that I would want to be with. Damn. Look, like her eyes, like her eyes just, it just, it, it was almost like she was frozen in headlights. I would give up everything because I haven't met a monogamous man. I don't know. I give up everything. She fucking robot. She the one that was the damn plant, not me. <laughs> Yo. I would literally give up everything. Okay. If I met somebody that I really, really love. Now, how the fuck you be that attractive? How you be that attractive with a Cartier watch on your damn wrist? And you sitting up here talking, I give up everything. You supposed to be the baddest bitch saying, I ain't giving up shit. Right? See, the 37-year-old auntie supposed to be the desperate one. I just need a man so bad. <laughs> and I'm willing to give up everything. And then after I leave fresh and fit, I go fly over to just pearly things and sit next to that dark-skinned black slave that she be having on her damn show. And sound like a fucking echo chamber. That's what I should have did, right? I was supposed to. I was supposed to be sounding like her, right? The thirty-seven year old supposed to be sounding like her. I give up everything, right? Y'all know the thirty. Y'all know that damn black slave, that that slave woman that be on fucking uh just pearly things. And listen, when she on there, she don't even try. She don't even try to look good. She go in there with a hair all over. <laughs> <laughs> she go in there with her hair all over the goddamn place <laughs> with them goddamn slave clothes <laughs> like she just got finished seasoning the tub with common and shit <laughs> talking shit about black women <laughs> I'm supposed to go sit right next to her <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> oh <sighs> don't <laughs> don't let me find this woman picture <laughs> oh shoot who only wanted to be with me and was well, she just said she would share a guy so i guess no i said i would <laughs> share one if the requirement yeah. were met yeah. But if I did find one who only wanted to be with me, I would give up everything. I mean, what is everything? Anything he wanted me to. Anything? Oh, she a goddamn slave. I'm going to give up everything. And then when she get my age, she going to be looking like a fucking prune. 
she gonna be looking like a prune because you done gave up all your life force energy. <laughs> Except for oxygen. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for obvious reasons, yeah. okay. Uh, what about you? What would you give in exchange for the guy being monogamous to you? Well, first of all, no one is making him make that sacrifice. He's not being forced. Well, so, that's the question is, what would you give in sacrifice? Well, if I'm in a relationship, it's because they chose to be in a relationship with me, right? He asked me to be his girlfriend, which means that he enjoys my presence. Or he you He enjoys him, everything or... that I provide. So. See, this is what, guys, this is that. <laughs> what she like just said. I didn't force him to What be she in just a said is a perfect example why I tell you guys never, ever ask a girl to be your girlfriend, bro. 100%. Right. So, listen. At 55 minutes and 51 seconds, he tell dudes not ask no woman to be your girlfriend. <laughs> Listen, don't ask him to be your girlfriend. So here's the thing. He telling you to your face. Don't ask them to be your girlfriend and y'all silly asses are going to go chase a male to prove that you can be the one to make him to bitch. I don't want to be your girlfriend, right? I'm not giving up all this value for nothing. How y'all y'all know it's nothing because all y'all make the same complaints after you to been with men, and then you let these niggas gaslight you. Well, you chose wrong, even though the women that they with chose their asses. But they want to make you act think that they're the right choice when they the wrong choice for the bitches that they fucking already. Like, y'all are retarded. You're retarded. Don't Never say ever ask that. Her. No, yeah. you guys got to ask romantic. us. Look, look, look at her. Look at her. Look at her damn face. She like a damn deer in headlights. Don't say that. I give up everything. Oh, no, don't say that. And you really think, y'all really think men like that shit? No, I, I, if we was going to really appeal to men, no, 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 no bullshit. Do y'all really think men like ditzes like this? Do you think that they like somebody that really don't have no personality at all? You just like that chick on, you really just like that chick from coming to America. Bark like a dog. Woof, woof. Hop on one leg. That's her. That's her. <gasps> no. Girl, he'll fuck you and then be all in my goddamn inbox. What's up? What's up, ain't he? Yeah, they was calling you, ain't he? What you, you 37? Girl, they tripping. You don't look no 37. Shit. So, where you from? That, that, that's how they ass be. That's how they motherfucking ass be. Right? Excuse <laughs> The woman has to ask the man, and that's it. That, oh, what God. she said right there explains exactly why I say that all the time. Women have to ask you because men are the ones that give commitments. So the girl's got to ask you for the commitment. And then you dictate the terms because the problem is that when the girl, the guy asks the girl out, the girl thinks, oh, I qualify. I've already done everything I need to do to secure this guy's commitment. And they're nothing, not gonna, and nothing they're more. not going to be better. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. not going to self-approve. They're going to think, I qualify as is. I'm not going to do anything better. Which is why so many women behave poorly and behave the way that they do because men don't hold them to a standard. Versus if, she, if she earned it, she'd appreciate it. Earn, earn, earn it, niggas. Irresponsible, uncontrollable dicks. Earn. I, listen. You got to be a damn fool if you trying to earn a nigga attention when, bitch, you can put on a, a bonnet and get a nigga attention. These niggas look, they, these niggas get everybody attention, right? Because they can't help it, right? What the hell is you talking about? They already whining and crying because you got more people in your inbox and they ain't got nobody in their inbox. My DM's dry. 
They supposed to be, nigga, you trash. Nigga, you garbage. Your shit supposed to be dry. Your DM supposed to be dry. Your dick supposed to be dry. Because your brain is dry, nigga. <laughs> What you give to her versus the other way around is like oh so easy i could do nothing do nothing and lay your answer my literally back. proves my point Pretty why much. men should never ever ask girls to be their girlfriend yeah i'm not gonna ask. And, and here's the thing what you just said is is what like how a lot of girls feel like oh the guy asked me so i qualify i meet his requirements i'm not going to change which i guess i'm not going to knock you for it because he's basically made it like okay um you're good enough and listen why would you feel the need listen myron is sick listen that nigga 6'5. Listen, that nigga 6'5. He got a podcast and he fit. And that nigga is still socially awkward. This nigga still. That nigga still gotta go pay for pussy on seeking arrangements, right? That nigga still that nigga still socially awkward, even though he's 6'5. First of all, a motherfucker with finesse don't talk that goddamn fast. Have y'all read this? Have y'all listened to this nigga book? Listen to me. Have y'all listened to this nigga's book? Listen, that motherfucker sound like that motherfucker sound like he at an auction. Chapter one. 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75. Sold to the person in green. That's how he read the book. That mean you know this nigga can't fuck. Because somehow people tend to act and move the way they talk. Right? So if he talking that fast, the reason why he got to pay for pussy, because this nigga humping fast. Because he ain't had none. This nigga ain't had no pussy. So when he finally gets some, he don't know how to control himself and ready to just rush in there. The same way he read the damn book. And then be mad because a motherfucker like me smooth. Hold on, baby. Myron, baby, hold on, sweetie. Baby, I'm going to just slut you out, nigga. Myron, I'm going to slut you out, right? See, you can't resist the pimping, baby. Baby, you can't resist the pimping. That nigga 6'5 and still can't get no pussy without paying for it. <laughs> oh, shit. change if the guy's asking you out that makes sense but it's supposed to be the girl that chases the relationship not the guy now listen to me i made i made a time stamp here so at 57 minutes myron say the girl supposed to chase we have 57 minutes. I'm finna take it back to 42 minutes and 3 seconds. I'm finna take it back to 42 minutes. Or maybe 41 minutes and 55 seconds. Because I want you to hear what he says at 42 minutes or 41 minutes and 55 seconds. Uh, they shouldn't. Why so? <laughs> Obviously, that's how they think, but I'm saying like it's a sacrifice both ways. Do you no live in a real what. world or no? Do you live in a real world or no? Yeah, of course. So I the do. real world is should and could doesn't matter. In the real world, should and could does not matter. That's what he said at 42 minutes. At 42 minutes, he say in the real world should and could don't matter well what he say at 57 minutes at 57 minutes we gonna go back here we're gonna start at 56 31. the other way around is like oh so easy i could do nothing do nothing and lay your answer my literally back. proves my point Pretty why men should never ever ask girls to be their girlfriend yeah I'm not going to ask. And, and here's the thing. What you just said is is what, like, uh, how a lot of girls feel. Like, oh, the guy asked me, so I qualify. I meet his requirements. I'm not going to change, which I guess I'm not going to knock you for it because he's basically made it like, okay, um, you're good enough. And why would you feel the need to change if the guy's asking you out? It makes sense. But it's supposed to be the girl that chases the relationship. Not Whoa. It's supposed to be the girl. In a real world, should and could don't matter. Should, 
could, would, and supposed to are all the same things. It's fairy tale talk. Because in a real world, the male is the one that's a, a, is, is a pussy hound dog. It's him that's the pussy hound dog, and he's the one asking. But now you say the girl's supposed to ask. But I thought you said in the real world, should and could don't fucking matter. You see what I'm saying? They want you to be in La La Land. They want to live in the real world while they keep you operating in fantasy land. That's what the hell they want. And I just showed you that with these two time stamps. Right? This is all a game. Now we go, you know, we could go on forever. <laughs> we could go on forever because, baby, I could tear this whole damn thing up, right? We started, we three, we three hours in, you know, because I want to give y'all time to call in. But I want to get, I want to get to some more because I just, when we get to the part where I, I begin to destabilize him, right? I want to get to the part where I'm, I'm about to destabilize him because Every time it come to me, I'm knocking, I'm knocking on his ego. Every time the, 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 the turn comes to me, I'm knocking on his damn ego <laughs> and he going to come undone. He's going to come undone. God. What? I have a question yeah. for you, actually. Yeah. So you say that like you would. OK, you're not. Wait, excuse me. Are you in a relationship? Uh, wait a minute. Are you in a relationship? Right, right. You, you see, see. I don't give a fuck about if a nigga like me or not. I'm not raising my damn voice to pretend to, to be trying to. Uh, so, uh, are you in a relationship, man? Fuck that, niggas. You in a relationship? Shit. <laughs> no, absolutely. Not. I don't know. I'm asking. Wait, wait, are hold you? on. What do you say? Hell no. no. Okay, you know, if you are, she's a very docile. No offense. She's a much docile. So I want to know if you're in a relationship. Yeah, multiple women. Okay, you have a woman. I got some main girls. Okay, so you have your like, you have multiple girlfriends. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so did these multiple girls ask you to be their girl, like their boyfriend? Well, we're not there at the moment, but I'm not gonna ask. I now, the nigga sat up here and told you not to ask. A girl to be his girlfriend he got girls but he ain't gonna ask so did those girls choose wrong because in his eyes he the right dude huh did they choose wrong if women have no value then why does he collect them why does he collect them and then you think that you ain't getting sucked dry and you not even getting some bullshit commitment from them right baby myron i don't give a fuck how much myron popularity is or how much that nigga ain't worth draining your energy on right because if you got any financial skills you can you can do for yourself what that nigga could do but ain't gonna do for you right this shit ain't even worth it. I understand that. But <laughs> then, you hear do that, you girl? expect a woman to get down on one <laughs> knee and propose to you? No, girls do. Now, you sitting up here. Listen, remember she said earlier that she don't know no dude that's been monogamous. She's sitting up here willing to give up everything. And she dealing with a dude, right, that's still living with his baby mama. And she fucking him. She don't even realize what she doing, but you still trying to appeal to a male that say you ain't worth. You're not even worth asking to be his girlfriend, let alone marry. What they normally do, they say dumb shit like, where are we? Where's this going, so you, babe? That's what you mean by I've when you, so many guys right. asking you want a girl to ask. Like, you that's don't physically, oh, not, not physically, but you don't want like a girl to be like, Myron, can you Girls please be my boyfriend? That. Girls are direct. They're not direct communicators. That's what I mean. That's yeah, why I'm like, how say, can you where expect are we? Where that? Where do we stand? Blah blah blah. And then that's when it's that's when you can see. Girls are not direct communicators. Is that this makes him feel in power, y'all? This makes him feel in power.
And the more power he think he got, the more I want to take it from him. Listen, the more he talks like this, the more I want to take that shit from him. Right? I done already silenced the nigga one time. Right? Go ahead and have that conversation with her. Oh, you want to be elevated to like girlfriend, girlfriend? Oh, okay. Well, this is whatever, what, what it takes. What are your requirements personally? Okay. Why is she asking him that? What are your requirements? Pers because I told you at the beginning that she was trying to appeal to him. Her whole thing was trying to appeal to Myron. That's why she asking him that question. Right? No. I why you want to appeal to a motherfucker who's sitting up here talking the shit that he talking? Say Ego. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. They you wanna, love you. Hold on. You want to qualify? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, thank yeah. You. You so then what you want to know? I just want to know because I think that like the way that you think is like what this whole entire podcast is driven by. So mm -hmm. I feel like not only like she really looked like a damn robot. Y'all see that? Like she is the plant here. Like she literally is AI. She AI. But she's the most put together physically than everybody else up here, include me. But she is the most brain dead out of everybody. me and not only all the other women at the table but i feel like everyone who's watching wants to know what you require in a well, girlfriend you, no everybody don't want to know that you want to know that you talking about everybody that's watching first of all it's a bunch of fucking men watching it you do realize this is a man's channel the majority of the people watching this is men they don't give a damn I damn sure don't give a damn. And I don't think nobody else at this table was thinking about his dating requirements. You were. Because your whole objective was to appeal to them, to him because you want to get noticed. You trying to get picked. But you want to throw it off on everybody else. Game. Guess how many times a girl's asked that same question on the show multiple yeah. nights? Yeah, a million times. Well, I'm sorry, I don't but, like watch it religiously. But yeah, it's I just funny how know. you know what's funny? Yeah, she said, uh, it must be his girl, must girl. be docile and feminine. Yeah, yeah, all my girls are. Docile. I would never tolerate yeah. a, a masculine, obnoxious, abrasive woman. That's not attractive to me. I don't want to date myself. <laughs> obnoxious. Listen, listen to what he say. I don't want to date an ab obnoxious and abrasive woman i don't want to date myself obnoxious obnoxious extremely unpleasant myron says he is extremely unpleasant he said it because i don't want to date an obnoxious and abrasive woman i don't want to date myself that's what he said so that means he is extremely unpleasant abrasive Number two, showing little concern for the feelings of others. Showing little concern for the feelings of others. So men want women who are pleasant and show concern with their feelings but he doesn't want to show concern for her feelings and he wants to be unpleasant 
How can you have a cohesive relationship with an unpleasant bastard who does not give a fuck about how you feel? And you know he don't give a fuck about how you feel because later on in the show he says... A alpha male ain't supposed to care about a woman's sexual pleasure. And then you got the nerve to trip on me when I say men are incapable of love. You, you got the nerve to trip on me when I say men are incapable of love. And the majority of them motherfuckers agree with this shit. Huh? Abrasive. Who wants an abrasive guy who wants a guy who shows little concern for the feelings of others harsh harsh but they want you to love on them while they suck you dry and be violent aggressive and all that shit abusive to you this is emotional he's an emotionally abusive guy He said it out of his own damn mouth. I don't want an abrasive and obnoxious girl. I don't want to date myself. Now, think about the relationships that you've been in. Did you deal with an abrasive, obnoxious guy? Because they believe abrasive abrasiveness and obnoxiousness is alpha traits they believe these are the traits of an alpha man but let me show you something that's why i don't listen to these niggas where my book is book oh it's right in front of me let me come back here See, chapter 10. Uh, no. Organized planning. Specialized knowledge. Organized planning. Organized planning. Okay. Right here. And, okay. The major attributes of leadership. The major attributes of leadership, the following are important factors of leadership. Eight, number eight, sympathy and understanding. The successful leader must be in sympathy with his followers. Moreover, he must understand them and their problems. Sympathy and understanding, being abrasive. Showing little concern for the feelings of others is not synonymous to sympathy. That is an antonym. But these niggas want to be leaders. They want to be fucking leaders. But they want to be abrasive and obnoxious. And they want you to follow them. They want to be abrasive and obnoxious, but they want you to follow them. This is why I don't listen to these raggedy niggas. That's right. Don't like me. I'm not the preference because I make you look weak, nigga. I make you look like a bitch, nigga. Yeah. That's why you call me a man. That's why you call me trans. Because I'm the man you wish you could be, nigga. I exhibit the traits that your ass can't have. You don't even read. These niggas want to be abrasive and a fucking abusive. And they think that's manhood. And then you wonder why these white men then drug you to the motherfucking ground and wax your ass. Because they know what it actually means to lead. Abrasive. Showing little concern for the feelings of others. But you want a bitch to be lovey-dovey all on you while you fucking abuse her and run her into the goddamn ground. 
patent on leadership, four star general. What he say? What he say? You niggas ain't leaders. You fucking wild animals who think about fucking 24 7. Let's see. Let's see. One of us. What General Patton say? Four star general, leader. Right? In cold weather, general officers must be careful not to appear to dress more warmly than the men. Fighting through the grim winter of 1944, especially during the Battle of the Bulge, and as a student of the disastrous Russian campaign of Napoleon, General Patton fully understood the physical, emotional, and spiritual toll continuous exposure to cold weather takes. As a leader, it is your part, it is part of your job. To appreciate the toll that difficult times may take on the people you manage. In tough times, under adverse conditions, your subordinates are likely to assume that you are not suffering and will not suffer as much as they. They may assume, right or not, that they will be fired long before you will. They, as they may assume, right or wrong, that you have some sort of golden parachute and will survive, even prosper if the worst happens. Effective managers must conduct themselves so that it is clear that they and their subordinates have an equal stake in the fate of the organization. You don't want to appear more comfortable than those who work for you. If a if employees suspect that they will be sacrificed to you, loyalty as well as productivity will disintegrate almost instantly when the chips are down. You have to be in sympathy with the people that you say are supposed to be the followers. But you niggas are ego driven. You want to abuse motherfuckers. Because your weak ass ego thinks that abuse is masculine. You think lack of emotion and sympathy is masculine. It's weak, nigga. You niggas are garbage. And women don't know better because they don't know what it really mean to lead. They don't know what self-control means because nobody's reading anything. Everybody listening to stupid ass shit like fresh and fit with a bunch of dumb people. Dumb ass people listen to this shit. The blind leading the fucking blind. Do y'all even know what? Do y'all even know what a relationship is? Because I'm, I'm listening to this and it's funny. Y'all know relationships are for bums. See, males. No. See, look, look. I got them laughing. They don't even. They listen. They can't even comprehend the level of intelligence I'm coming from. They have no ability to fathom what the hell I'm even talking about. Relationships. People who are looking for relationships are looking to get their needs met for free. They use the, the guise of being in a relationship to get their critical needs met. They use quote unquote love to get their needs met because people don't want to supply their own needs. So they look for relationships to get it done. So a motherfucker looking for a relationship to get their needs met are bums. You know why? Because here, law number motherfucking 44, I'm about power. I'm all about power. And I don't believe in being weak. I don't believe in weakness because the queen is the most powerful piece on the chessboard. So you a damn dummy if you don't want no power. Law number 40. 
Law number 40. Despise the free lunch. What is offered for free is dangerous. It usually involves either a trick or a hidden obligation. What has worth is worth paying for. By paying your own way, you stay clear of gratitude, guilt, and deceit. It is also often wise to pay the full price. There is no cutting corners with excellence. Be lavish with your money and keep it circulating for generosity is a sign and a magnet for power. Niggas do not want you to be independent and in paying your own way because these niggas are bums. They need relationships to get their needs met because these bitches can't afford to pay for what the fuck they want. These broke niggas cannot afford to pay for what the fuck they want and they're mad because you can pay for what you want. They're mad because you can pay for what you need. A person who wants or looking for a relationship is a fucking bomb. They are bombs. I pay for everything I want and I pay for what I need. I don't need you to quote unquote provide and protect nigga because I'm a goddamn queen. I move on this chessboard independently. Don't get mad at me because you a weak broke ass nigga that can't move by yourself. You need to suck on your mama titty to move, right? You need to suck on your mama titty to move, right? You need to move in a bitch house, right? So she can build you up because you a fucking bomb nigga, right? I don't come to play with you whole ass niggas. Call me goddamn auntie. I'm a bad bitch up in here. You don't know who the fuck you fucking around with. I'm not one of them damn airheads sitting on the damn, <laughs> sitting on the round table. You gonna be, your dick gonna be dry fucking with me. Serious. Males' You're highest fine. interest is sex. Yep. Mm -hmm. Y'all's interest is emotions. Mm. You do realize. If now, after watching this, after you watch me break this shit down, go back and look at the comments in their comment section and see how many retarded niggas in the goddamn comment section. The majority of the niggas in the comment section on Fresh and Fit are weak, dumb ass, desperate ass dudes who can't do nothing but talk in sign language. Yeah, go back and read the comments now. These some weak ass niggas who don't deserve no motherfucking pussy. And shouldn't have never even been brought here. Because a nigga, they daddy didn't deserve none. But guess what? The government gave his ass a woman that he shouldn't have motherfucking had. Supply your own needs. Males will still chase you for sex. And mm -hmm. they, will, they, they need relationships. Y'all don't need relationships. They need them. Y'all looking for clout. Y'all looking no, for no, males. No, no. I don't want to be with somebody the, one day. I don't want to just like, I want a man. I will like submit to a man if I find a real man. I, I, I would submit to a man if I find a real man. I don't want to be right. But you fucking around with a nigga that's fucking you and living with his baby mama. Right. 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 Just airhead. Right. And who like meets all my requirements. I will like submit. Want, but y'all want males to be something that they're not. Y'all want males no, to be No, because I emotional. still expect him uh -huh. to like do it. No, because I still expect him to do. Listen, remember she said earlier. Remember what she said earlier? See which one? Remember at 13 minutes and 17 seconds she said the dude that she was with lied? At 13 minutes and 11 seconds she said he lived with his baby mama? At 12 minutes and 7 baby, I listen, I recall the stupid shit you say. Like I still expect him to fuck other women. Like if he is making fucking millions, he's gonna go have sex with another girl. Like that's that's and so I ask. That's all you want because earlier she say I'm willing to give up everything if he can do all this other shit, right? She lying. 
them to give you I, money. It's not what I want. No, but no. that's the reality no, of the I'm situation. In terms of relationships, do you want money or do you want emotion? But that's how, like, you get, you can have money and emotion, but you need to understand your man Males is going to fuck emotion. another girl. They, man, they not going to give you emotions if they got motherfucking millions of dollars. It's about fucking because the male cannot overcome his bi his primary biological goal. So biologically, that the the money and jobs and all this matrix shit, that's all artificial. When the male gets an opportunity, he's going to seek back down into his highest biological aspiration. And one the one thing is it ain't quote unquote feeding into your emotional delusion. Which you already said because the dude that you fucking ain't gave you shit. He can give you money and emotion. He's still going to have sex they're, with another woman if he's like, if not, he has enough money. Yes, he, yes, he is. No, no. I've no. been with plenty of them. The yes, he is. The male is not going to ever love you because the male is incapable of love. That's not true. I don't oh, think the male is incapable <laughs> of love. I don't think the male is incapable of love. Huh? You, you've been with several of them, but... But you don't even know where the dude stand who who still slay with his baby mama. Right. 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 Because you the other girl that he fucking. Right. Right. The dude who. <sighs> men are incapable of love. The same men who sit up here and tell you. That they objectify you when you dress a certain way, whose brain lights up in the region processing for tools right uh the same males who say that they're fucking abrasive and obnoxious you think these who believe that these traits are alpha male traits you think these motherfuckers are capable of love please tell me how you think that please tell me how you think that tell me how this make any motherfucking sense at all I don't oh, think a, they're completely incapable. Oh, they they men love really hard. Oh no, men love really hard. What they love pussy really hard, right? They love pussy really hard. That these niggas are willing to die for pussy. They willing to risk their life for pussy, right? They willing to risk they they, uh, they they whole reputation, right? They did it's Napoleon Hill did a study for twelve years, twenty five thousand motherfuckers. So, uh, they love what really hard because. The definition for abrasive is anti-love. Him verbally saying that men don't care about your sexual uh, pleasure. <laughs> that's anti-love. How the fuck do they love really hard when they want to fucking abuse you and not give a fuck about if you come or not? That's loving hard. That's what made me write the five components of love. And that's what made me do my love men and manipulation decoded workshop. You motherfuckers have no earthly idea what love is, do you? No, you don't. You ain't got a goddamn clue. Don't. They no, do. no, they don't. Thank See, you, I have you. a book called The 41 Shades of Men and I have a book called The Five Components of Love. Oh, both of these books. Let me go ahead and do. Let me go ahead and plug it. Let me go ahead and plug it, baby. 41 shades of men. I got the game on men. I don't care what these dudes say. Priscilla Clark, 41 shades of men to pursue to subdue and use you. That's all they want to do. Baby, I got 41 different types of these motherfuckers. Then we got the five components of love. This is the true meaning of love. If all five of these components are not met, baby, it ain't no love there. And guess what? The overwhelming majority of males can't even get past the first component. <laughs> they can't even get past the first one. If you want that, if you want that book, those books, hit me up, www.princecellatequeenmaker.com. If y'all want to come to my love men and manipulation decoded workshop, that's going to be this Saturday. And you still got time to, uh, sub uh, to register. I prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that men are not capable of love and they can't love you even if they wanted to. They don't even have the capability 
to love you. And I can prove this beyond the shadow of a doubt. And I teach women how to be queens. And the one thing y'all chasing men for, the reason why you never get it, is because they can't But a queen's it. not a queen without a king. It's yeah. a king. We need each other. Are, are, are you sure about it's that? It's a king and a queen. Are you sure about it's that? A king. Like, her voice is getting on my damn nerves. She really is a goddamn robot. A king and not a queen without a king. A queen is not a queen without a king. Like, girl, do you really think that any dude would take you serious like what do you have outside of pussy and being an accessory no 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 seriously because y'all got to think like a man think like a man act like a lady if you know that men are predators and they consume resources pussy is a resource they need it okay they need sex so their ass gonna go crazy okay so they can use your body for sex <laughs> You look good so you can you can be arm candy. You can be an ego boost. But outside of that, what the fuck else can they use? Because you ain't got no damn brain. Right? You frail. You can't even take up for the nigga. Right? Maybe you got good credit. Maybe he can use that. But outside of what you showing us, baby, maybe you can pawn that damn Cartier watch. Right? And he can use that and flip your tax money. But other than that, girl, you gonna, you gonna bore a nigga real fast. After about fucking you about five times, that nigga gonna get bored. Cause it's talking to you, that nigga, that nigga gonna be mad. You gonna make him mad talking like that. That nigga gonna be mad. He not even going to want to be around you. He going to, after he finish fucking, he going to tell your ass to get up and go because you going to be, you annoying with that goddamn. <laughs> Anybody trying to hear that? The king Are you queen. sure about that? Because you know that. The ant, ants, I mean, because we talk of science, we talk of logic, right? Yeah, yeah. So there is no such thing as a king ant. The ant colony is run by women. Mm -hmm. There is no such thing as a king bee. So you can't say that because the facts of nature show otherwise. See, well, what about a lion? A lion. Yeah, yeah, a li a well, auntie, we're lion sex. No, no, no. I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You say a queen cannot be a queen without a king that is an absolute statement and if you make an absolute statement i've got to shit i just take these motherfuckers off shit y'all sitting up here telling me priscilla one your eyelashes off well shit you know they fake shit i just take them both off i don't give a damn shit right <laughs> look <laughs> Look, but anyway, check it. If you make an absolute statement, then that means it better not be true. And under no circumstances, a queen can't be a queen without a king. Well, that's a lie. It don't matter if it's insects or not. Nature is nature. Nature is nature, right? In nature, ain't no such thing as a goddamn king ant. Ain't no such thing as a king bee. And the, and the motherfucking cowardly lion, and the lion, his ass is lazy as hell. The king of the jungle. Why the fuck they call him the king of the jungle? Cause he get to he get to fuck. That's the that's the basis of why they call this this lion the king of the jungle. Cause it's based on sex. Because when you really look at it, the women do every damn thing. The women control shit. The females control shit and his lazy ass sleep twenty hours a day. Y'all don't believe me? Lions are lazy. Let's check this out. Look look at the laziness of the damn lion. Now. According to, Poli to, to, to Napoleon Hill, you can't be lazy, right? Being no leader. General Patton wasn't lazy, right? Napoleon Bonaparte wasn't lazy. 
But this goddamn cowardly lion of the jungle is lazy as hell. Look at this. Lions are lazy. And not only are lions lazy, they be having threesomes with males. They be gang. Listen, all these males be sleeping with each other. Did y'all see that? They be humping each other, right? Right. I love I love to show I love when the niggas say we are lions. That's right, nigga. You a lion. I see all you raggedy motherfuckers humping on each other. And I love to show them the video when they be humping on each other, too. Look at this. I be so happy, right? Male lions have a reputation for their chauvinistic ways and are well known for their habit of lazing around all day. <laughs> all day. Them motherfuckers sleep 20 hours a day. They don't even do shit. Male lions have a reputation for their chauvinistic ways and are well known for their habit of lazing around all day until the female members of the pride deliver their dinner. Right, right. But these large cats are not as lazy as they seem. Let's see. For starters, making it to adulthood as a male lion is no mean feat. Oh, because he got to survive, right? And then when he finally get into, when he finally overthrow somebody and break into somebody's house and take over and, 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 and kill the kids and everything, now he want to lay up there as if it's his reward because he survived. Baby. A leader is not lazy. It don't stop with surviving. Hell, I had to fucking survive. And I still got to lead. I can't just sit up here and wait on the bitch to bring me some uh, some cookies and a, and a plate of fucking mashed potatoes with some, with, 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 with some beef tips. That's what these niggas want. Well, since I got a job. Listen, that's what it sounds. No. Well, I got a job. I should be rewarded with pussy. I should be rewarded with a home cooked meal because I work for the man. Right? Because you don't own no businesses. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing shit but slaving. Right? You slaving for the 1%. And now you want me to reward you because you go to fucking work. Sir, that's for yourself. Right? Because I survived. Right? After spending their first two years in the loving embrace of the pride, sexually mature males are booted out of the pride to fend for themselves. That's what I be trying to tell these women. Kick these niggas out. Kick your son out. Kick that 35-year-old nigga out. Right? And if they make it, they make it. If they don't, they don't. That's on their ass. But don't save that nigga. Don't save him. Not only does this mean catching and killing their own meals and escaping detection by hunters, but unless they somehow remain on neutral ground, they are surely to eventually co cross paths with a dominant territorial lion from another pride who will kill them given <laughs> half a chance. And so the, the, the male who wants to claim that he is a lion, this nigga wants you to submit but he's scared to compete with bigger lions, right? He's scared to leave his mama house. He want to go roach up on the woman with an EBT card. He want to jump from woman to woman's house. He won't be a homosexual, right? But he wants you to submit. This, this, these, this, these niggas. I'm just, I'm just saying, that's them, right? They don't want to make it seem like the, the, the lion is fucking lazy. Oh, the lion is lazy because all they do is sleep around all day. Oh. Let's see. Let me, let me close this out. I'm, I'm going to let y'all call in here in a little bit. I'm going I'm to I'm skip some of this because I want to I wanna get to the point. I'm a, I want to skip to the part where I made Myron ass mad. Religious, and I feel like our originating story is like Adam and Eve. It's not like Eve. And it I, Adam and Eve. Yeah, Eve. <laughs> uh, ma'am, where, where, where did this fairy tale ass story come from? Out of the mind of males. 
Let me. Mm. I love you. Okay, let me finish. Ooh. <laughs> All right, go, 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 go. <laughs> close my door. Hey, close my door. Mm hmm. Okay, okay, give me a hug. Now close my door. Okay. All right. You like my hairstyle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like your hair. Oh, thank you, Mama. Okay, close the door. Thank you. Right? Right? So the Adam and Eve story came out of the mind of males. It's a fairy tale ass story. Okay? But that's a topic for another discussion. Right? But she brought that up like it's facts. Even though it's fables and parables and allegories and shit. Right? Isn't like Eve <laughs> See, like, or Adam. Thing. So look, <laughs> like, I get what you're saying. You want women to be empowered and to be... Ooh. I got him right here. He's starting to get irritated. I know you want women to be empowered and stuff. Right? Able to deal without men and men don't love and all this other stuff. And I get it. But you got to understand that that's a strategy that's going to leave a lot of women miserable. No, getting with males like you who keep women in a, ro in, in, in a rotation and being abrasive and obnoxious while you suck them dry and don't ask them to be your girlfriend. That's what's going to leave them fucking miserable. Me letting them know what they damn value is and to stay away from motherfuckers that are predators trying to suck them dry is going to leave them happy as long as they understand that what they're looking for comes from within. But if they believe that they can get it out of an abrasive, obnoxious asshole like you, they're going to be sucked dry just like she's already being sucked dry by fucking a dude who living with his baby mama. Right? That's what's going to cause them to be miserable. Not being single. But you scared. That if if I get through to these women and they start listening and waking up that the access that y'all had when they was dumb and naive is going to be gone. That's what you're scared of. Hence why you got to turn the younger chicks against this 37 year old who got game. Don't listen to the 37 year old because she's single and lonely. Right. Turn them against somebody that can actually speak wisdom into them to help them make better decisions for their life. Nigga, I got y'all by the motherfucking nuts. I know your game and this shit is over because y'all destroying the world with this old fucked up mentality. You destroy the goddamn community with this fucked up mentality. And then by you manipulating women, when you manipulate them and then they make the decisions you want them to make, you turn around and blame them. Well, in order for them to behave better, they need to know better. And I'm here to make them know better because as long as they keep listening to fuck niggas like you, they're going to keep giving up and opening their legs to let you knock them up even though, they, even though you're telling them you ain't going to stick around. Right? They need to change their thought process about you niggas. Oh, it's only going to live because miserable because they're they're deficient. They're they're codependent and they think that they can get their needs met by males, but they can't. And so what they'll do is get their energy sucked dry as young women. And then when they hit my age, you know, when we hit the wall yeah. and, and, facts, winter, facts, and winter come. Facts, yeah, yeah, when facts. they get when, when, when we facts, facts, right, 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 right. When when I ain't came because, nigga, you get an opportunity to stick your dick between my motherfucking titties. You're going to do it like a motherfucking hound dog because you a simp. You a trick, nigga. You're a trick. You can't resist. Age don't mean shit. Right? You niggas ain't committing to nobody. Women are resources regardless of the fucking age. That's the part that women don't know. Ain't no difference between none of y'all. But you think it is. It ain't. Right? Right? Because you can sit up there and say that, but you know I'm a bad bitch while you sitting up there saying it, nigga. Right? 
right? Why you sitting up there saying it, nigga? You sitting up there jacking your dick off while you saying it, right? I'm gonna listen to you niggas. When winter comes, yeah, then uh -huh. you, they'll get back on here and y'all will tell them, hey, y'all should have chose better. Yep. So the reason why they can't choose better because they don't choose themselves. They choose y'all and they shouldn't be choosing y'all. But I disagree. Because <laughs> oh, I disagree. Wait a minute. How you going to disagree when you got three chicks that you fucking with that you ain't going to ask to 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 uh, to to be your girlfriend? You got them in rotation. And then when you're through using them, you're going to go to somebody else. What the fuck you mean you disagree? Huh? If these women chose themselves, they wouldn't be in your goddamn rotation. Right. If they chose themselves, they would be slutting you niggas out. If they chose themselves, you would pay for every motherfucking interaction. If they chose their goddamn self. And they would control your behavior because your behavior needs to be controlled. Because you can't control your own. The thing is, is that for all of human evolution, we've always been better together than apart. False. There's an inverse relationship between males and females in all of nature. Hi, right, Priscilla. Go on, show these newbies, because it's a but it's thousand people in the chat. Show them the nature of male and female in all species. Since they think it's a game. What you have here is called sexual conflict. What you think is a what you think is a program or some opposition creating conflict between males and females. No, sweetheart, you have what is called sexual conflict, which is a biologically wired inverse relationship between males and females. This ain't no goddamn program. This ain't no government doing this shit. This is an inverse relationship between males and females, hardwired biologically. To pass their genes along to the next generation, most animals need a partner. So in one sense, mating is cooperative, with each partner contributing half their DNA to the offspring. But mating also involves plenty of competition between the sexes. That's because both males and females are hardwired to try to make babies that can survive and reproduce. But they do this in totally different ways. Okay. Boom. So just so you won't sit up here and say, well, Priscilla, them is ducks. We are not ducks, like you stupid motherfuckers were saying. We not ants. We not insects. Stupid motherfucker. Ain't this what you ain't this what you want to do? Get multiple women, right? And don't the mother got to take care of the children? Yeah. Ducks, humans, beetles, same goddamn thing. Ways that actually threaten the other sex's genetic legacy. For males, it's all about quantity. Sperm are easy to mass produce, and most males spend little time or energy parenting. Whoa! Sperm are easy to mass produce, and most males spend little time or energy parenting. That's, is that duck cannon? Is that motherfucking duck cannon? Is that duck future? Wait a minute, is the duck Nick Cannon? Is the duck future? This, this, this sorry ass, dusty ass duck don't want to take care of his goddamn offspring and just want to fuck, fuck, fuck. This duck want to fuck, fuck, fuck. Hmm. Oh, uh, well. So their best mating strategy is to breed in bulk. The more offspring they have, the better the odds that some will thrive. For most females, this strategy doesn't work because they have a limited supply of eggs and spend lots of time and energy caring for their young. Instead, females want to make sure that they can get the best dad for every one of their offspring. Some choose only to mate with the biggest, flashiest, or best behaved males. Others mate with multiple males and then choose a winner. Chickens, for instance, can selectively squirt out sperm from subpar suitors. This, this why you niggas is mad. 
Hold on, hold on, you newbies. Don't care your ass nowhere. If your ass came from fresh and fit, sit your ass right here, nigga. Sit down. This why you whole ass niggas mad. Cause you chickens. You 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 are subpar suitors in all species, nigga. The chicken. You this chicken right here. You want some pussy. And somehow you accidentally roached up on some pussy and the bitch squirted your shit out. And you're mad. You mad because the bitch can choose who the fuck she want to fuck. Right? Right? You niggas had the same problem in every walk of life. If you incarnated as a human male... You, you can go read Myron's book and you can join Manosphere and fucking Black Peel, nigga. As a chicken, as a rooster, nigga, you can bow your head and cry because the bitch squirted your subpar sperm out on the fucking ground, right? As a rat, as a rat, nigga, you got to sit up here and watch this chick fuck all three of you and say, may the best rat win. You mad because in all of nature, you niggas ain't in power. And the only reason why you whole ass niggas got any power is because white supremacy patriarchy took women's power and gave you niggas the privilege of getting pussy when you shouldn't have had none. Because the majority of you niggas that watch Fresh and Fit and was in Kevin Samuels chat your ass shouldn't even be here. And you're mad because you're here and you feel cursed. You feel cursed. <laughs> Sit your ass right here and take this work. Uh-huh. Take this goddamn work. Right? You mad because you are not. You not. One of their offspring. Some choose only to mate. Right. You mad because Chad. Look, look. A walrus. You the, you the smallest walrus and you mad because the bitch didn't choose your little ass. She chose the big Chad walrus, right? She chose the big Tyrone, Pookie, and Ray Ray walrus and you're mad, right? Then, the biggest, flashiest. Then, the peacock. Nigga, you ain't even got no colors in your feathers and you're mad because she chose the flashiest peacock. In all of nature, the bitch get to choose and you're mad. You're mad. And so now you want to be on Fresh and Fit and Black Pill and Red Pill and all these other fucking pills. Blue pill you need to take. But I don't know why the fuck you taking any blue pills. Because you ain't fucking nothing, nigga. You ain't fucking nothing. Go buy Myron's book. Go buy his goddamn incel book. Red pill, black pill, blue pill. You don't need a blue pill because you ain't fucking nothing, you Weak dick motherfucker. Hold on. I'm I'm on y'all ass. Hold on. Are best behaved males. Others mate with multiple males and then choose a winner. Chickens, for instance, can selectively squirt out sperm from subpar suitors. But the pickier females are, the tougher it is for the average male. Look, look, you said the pickier females are, the tougher it is for males to make babies. That's why you don't want this chick to know what I know. You don't want her to know the game that I know. Make babies. So males have evolved ways to limit females' discretion. Males have evolved ways to limit female discretion. This why they ass was playing helicopter and airplane sounds over. Man, kick Amy out of here, man. She gonna stop us from getting some puss, man. <laughs> you goddamn right, ho. <laughs> You goddamn right. <laughs> Males have evolved ways to limit female discretion through religion, through Disney movies. They brainwashed you so that they can get their dick wet. In some species, males take their mates through brute force. In some species, males take their mates through brute force. Well, damn, that's a beetle. Brute force. Well, damn. 
What do they call brute force in the human world? Oh, they call that grape. Ooh, they call that grape. Which you are commonly known for. They doing it in the beetle land. Oh. While males and other species take the slightly less unsavory approach of obsessively following their mates around to keep other suitors away. Oh, this is in the monkey world. In the human world, what they call it? They call it stalking. They call it stalking. Y'all be stalking, motherfuckers. This is your nature, male. I don't give a damn what you say. I don't care what your mouth say. I know you. And ain't a motherfucking name in the book you can call me that's going to make me give a fuck. Because you do this, you chase pussy in every species because this is your biological goal. The nature of a male is to pursue a female, not the other goddamn way around. But you want to convince women that they're supposed to be chasing you. And nowhere in nature are women chasing fucking males. Nowhere. Because your ego bruised, right? And you just want a bitch to make you feel like you worth something. I ain't going to make you feel like you worth shit, though. Male squirrels try to ensure fidelity by plugging females' reproductive tracts with a fluid that hardens after sex, creating a sort of biological chastity belt. They're waging war on females in all of nature. Raging war to try to keep you to they self. And male fruit flies go even further. Along with their sperm, they release a chemical cocktail that deactivates other sperm, stimulates ovulation, and kills their partner's future sex drive with an anti-aphrodisiac. That's chemical warfare. In response, females develop counter-counter strategies to regain the upper hand, or wing, or paw. Some female squirrels, for instance, have figured out how to pluck out their chastity plugs. And in other species, like ducks and hyenas, females have evolved maze-like reproductive tracts that require their full cooperation to navigate. Males evolve in response, and the sexual arms race keeps escalating, which ex I want y'all to see that what y'all seeing in the world between males and females the gender war, this quote unquote gender war, I need y'all to understand. This is biologically wired in. You have an inverse relationship with males. Ain't no happy relationship. Ain't no forever after. Because the male is a predator by nature. He's a predator by nature. And their ultimate goal is to conquer you. And the dumber you are, the easier you are to conquer. And they move from territory to territory. You don't just let no male win. Because Myron and Fresh and Fit, they play life on easy mode. They need easy mode. And y'all dumbasses will sit up there and let them play on easy mode by sitting up here trying to give them everything. I give up everything. I'm willing to give up everything. I ain't willing to give you niggas shit. That's right. I ain't willing to give you shit. Explains why some ducks have penises that look like this. In general, the more promiscuous the species males are, the choosier the females, and the more intense the sexual arms race. The more promiscuous the males are, the more choosy the females are. Baby, y'all ain't never gonna get on one accord. Do you see this? This is biologically wired in across nature. Do you understand what you're dealing with? The human male is too damn dumb to even become aware and act outside of his biological nature. 
What y'all don't realize is you dealing with stone cold animals who don't have self-awareness or self-control and don't want it. But you still talking to them. On the other hand, in species in which partners tend to have longer-term relationships and raise offspring together, like Homo sapiens, reproductive success for one partner also means success for the other. So the two sexes' baby-making strategies line up more closely. That's through social conditioning, through Disney movies and telling women to deal with men based on love, right? Through religious programming, because by nature, women would let these dudes go. Fuck him, take the baby, and let his ass go. That's how you do. Fuck him, take the baby, raise the baby amongst the community of women and let his ass continue to figure it out. That's the natural flow. The problem is we're going against nature. But even the possibility of non-monogamy is enough to spark some subtle subterfuge. So... I'm just, I want you to, I just want you to see how silly these people are on this doggone panel. But let me go ahead, finish playing this, and we're going to have to come back and do a part two and three, because this what, is long. The thing is, is that you don't understand, right? You're able to say the things that you're saying now because you enjoy the modern conveniences that men have built up where you can. Uh, what men? What men? What men? I'm able to say that because of what modern men built up. No, baby, this is nature. By nature, it's always been like this. Don't nobody need no goddamn, don't nobody need no fucking bar to go to. Nobody needs all of these things. These are all conveniences so that males could rule the planet, right? Right? Airplanes, railroads, all that shit was so that the people who run the actual globe, right? could own this motherfucker and make shit easier, right? But humans didn't need all this because what humans needed was basic necessities, which Earth provided. You can't make shit on this planet without the materials created by Earth, which is Mother Earth, right? Women had all of their necessities before you raggedy motherfuckers showed up. What man? By yourself. What, what man? Because I, I read your book. And all men of created the, society. Wait a minute. What, what men? That's right. Men create. What men? Men. Because the, 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 the men that you named in the book didn't look like you. Elon, Elon Musk. You, you mentioned Elon Musk. All of these white males. Look, he got his head on his. He has his head, hand on his face. This show is by two Negroes, two black folks. I don't care if you're Sudanese or whatever, African nick nigga, nigga, right? The people that you named in the book and the people that Napoleon Hill named in the book don't look like you. So now I have to ask you the question, what men built the world? Because if you're going to talk about slave labor, Baby, that's not actually building anything. That's slave labor because guess what? Construction workers follow the plans of the goddamn architects. The architects are the ones that create the plans and the construction workers are the slaves who just follow what the planner then told them to follow. Right? The people who run the world are the creators of of the world and the rest of the people are slaves. I never said that slaves weren't needed, right? To build for the 1%. Your ass ain't needed for no damn relationship because earlier in the damn show, you done already said that you abrasive and obnoxious and don't nobody need that in a motherfucking relationship. You understand? Nobody needs a person who don't give a fuck about their feelings. Nobody needs a harsh person. Nobody needs an obnoxious and abrasive person. You are a fucking slave. And you ain't slaving for no woman. You are slaving for the owners of the world.
That's who you slaving for. You went to die because they told you to go die. Not because you was trying to take care of no woman. That's cap. Because if you was doing this shit for women, you wouldn't be bitching about a woman asking you to do shit. No, you do it because you have the you you have the hope of getting some pussy at the end. Right? So you do it for the men who enslaved your ass to do it. So what men built the world? You're going to have to answer that question for me, homeboy. Because you don't, don't nobody owe you no pussy for being a motherfucking slave, nigga. Why didn't you mention any black males in your book? I'm okay. You didn't, no, no, he didn't mention that. I, list, I, I read your book, Myron. Okay. So none of the males that you mentioned that built the world look like y'all so they still thing. have dicks though we're not making this a race thing we're making this a gender thing whoa 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 no homie because this is a black podcast with black males nigga males sitting up here talking about we don't date black women because this that and the other one and we won't submissive this no bitch racism race matters because it's you nigga saying we built the world we but who is we it ain't niggas. Who is we? Who is we? The economic hit men are white men. The men saying we need to keep Africa oppressed so we can keep raping Africa's resources are white men. When I looked at documentaries, I see nigga males selling penis to, to white women from Europe because they can't feed themselves. Listen to me. These niggas in the Dominican and in other motherfucking countries in Africa, these niggas can't feed themselves. So they selling penis to goddamn European women. Nigga, you built the world. Why you can't build yourself a hut? Why you can't build the business instead of selling penis? Walking the damn, walk, walking the beach, running up to white women, trying to marry them. You the one that's hypergamous, ho. Y'all the hypergamous niggas. I'm saying is that men built up the world. But but it's only black males. I don't know why crying. you're deflecting here, trying to make it like a black and white thing. <laughs> It matters, sir. This is white supremacy. This is white supremacy patriarchy. Where black males are on the bottom and they fucking slaves. So men. What men built the world because the men with the fucking plan are the architects. Who is the architect of the matrix? Who is the architect of the matrix? Not the construction workers. Who is the goddamn architect? It ain't you, nigga. And it ain't now one of these nigga that look like you. Because the listen, the world, planet Earth. Was already here and had all its resources. The matrix that we live in is constructed by an architect. Who is the architect of the matrix? It ain't a nigga. But it's a nigga running a podcast who actually played the role of a fucking slave talking about we built the world. Oh, because... <laughs> Because the thing is, is that we're not going to make this a black or white thing because that's not what the conversation is about. But it's y'all asking you're trying for to make submission. It a, you're trying to make it a racial thing, and it's not a racial thing. But it's y'all asking saying, for submission, Men Byron. built up the world. But what men? Because y'all also talk about white supremacy, too. And that what? Y'all also <laughs> think males. Yes. What you mean, what? That's the number one thing. We don't want black women because, you know, she helped the white man. Right? White supremacy oppressors. This is always spoken about in the black community and in Red Pill or MGTOW. The nigga manosphere, the nigga manosphere constantly talks about racism. 
So how did y'all, how, how are you going to align yourself with the oppressor and take credit for some shit and say we, and then play the victim when it ain't in your favor? When it ain't in your favor, now it's they oppressing us. But when you want to talk shit to women, it's we built the world. It's like y'all is y'all in solidarity now. But when you're losing, oh, you know, you you behind Prince of Pan Africanism, right? You listen to fucking Omar Johnson and fucking Fresh and Fit. You listen to Omar Johnson. With a dashiki on and fresh and fit at the same time. You wearing a dashiki and listening to Umar and fresh and fit. Make it make sense. That's all I'm saying. Make it make sense. Y'all want to duck and dodge the truth and pick and choose what you want to roll with. Not on my watch. Oh, no, the black males also talk about being oppressed by the males that y'all say built the world. That's just about that's the bottom Bro. line. Okay, <laughs> who ever said that on this Bro, podcast? We are, like, what are you it don't wait a minute. Are you talking about y'all or are you putting out information for males? Hmm? Are you putting right? You got to address the realities. Of white supremacy patriarchy because this is the nigga male's complaint. It's two nigga males sitting up here on this damn panel. Like, why are you making making this a race podcast all of a sudden? Like, no one cares about race. I'm simply. They don't care about race. Okay, I bet not hear another nigga from the manosphere complain about getting shot by the police. I bet not hear another nigga from the motherfucking manosphere complain about black women not supporting them and selling them out. Nobody cares about race. Is that right? Is that right? I bet not hear another nigga talk about the white man won't let me do this. You know, I was picking cotton. And I couldn't take care of my family <laughs> and redlining. And they was hanging us from trees and Gina Six <laughs> and James Bird. Nobody cares about race, huh? I bet not hear another nigga bring it up then. Hey, because you're trying to say here, let's go back all the way here because you're going on a tangent. No, okay. You're saying, oh, you're dependent upon men. You need to be able to be by yourself and, you know, be a queen, blah, blah, blah. All I'm saying. You don't like that, huh? I'm not telling women to be by themselves. I'm telling women to turn to the community of women and stop fucking you niggas. Yeah. For all thousand people who say, let me tell you what I'm telling. Turn to your community of women. And let these males make it. Let these niggas jack off. Let them jack off. Because what you looking for in relationships from males, you not going to get because they not capable of giving it to you. If you can't see, I got a whole workshop where I prove. And in my workshop, it take me about, it take me about eight hours, depending on. On how many people are in there and how many people ask questions. On the low end, six hours. On the high end, eight hours. It take me all that time to prove to you beyond a shadow of a doubt that males can't, can't even love you if they wanted to. They couldn't if they wanted to. Right? So I'm going to sit up here and listen to a guy who can't even address the truth and stay on point without deflecting. And I'm going to believe that this person has the ability to love when they can't even complete the first component. 
thing is, is that that strategy that you're telling women to employ is going to leave them sad, alone, and depressed because women Listen, are social creatures. Now, women are social creatures. They're social creatures with other women. Males are not even social. Hence why they say, feed me, fuck me, and leave me alone. You heard that. Feed me, fuck me, and leave me alone. Men don't even like talking to women. They think everything that you say is stupid. Right? So social creatures, she's going to have her social relationships with other women, not males. So to tell women that you are abrasive and obnoxious. And you don't give a fuck about they goddamn sexual pleasure. All of a sudden you care about if they going to be single and quote unquote alone. Stop the cap. He don't care about your feelings because the definition of abrasive, we already defined it. And 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 that means having little concern for the feelings of others. So a person that has verbally sat up here and said that he don't give a fuck about your feelings. He don't give a fuck about your sexual pleasure. All of a sudden cares about whether you're going to be single without a man. Wake your dumb ass up. He don't give a damn about you being single. He cares about how easily accessible you are to fulfill his fucking needs. That's it. How easy you are to use. You ain't going to sit up here and tell me that a person that don't give a fuck about your feelings, don't give a fuck if you come or not, don't want to don't want to ask you to be his girlfriend, don't want to pursue, don't want to give you nothing. All of a sudden, give a fuck about you being single. Wake your stupid ass up. They don't give a fuck. It's about how easy you are to use. And my question is, is how long are you going to keep letting these raggedy niggas use you for nothing? How long are you going to let these raggedy niggas use you for nothing? Why they convince you that you ain't the value. But they go through all these hoops and hurdles to get near you. When you go get some sense knocked into your goddamn head. Yeah, don't listen to the old single lonely 37 year old bitter bitch that got some sense. Turn away from the person that can actually protect you so that way we can isolate you and use you until we, we can't use you no more. I want you to, to, to ask yourself these questions. They like to be around a family, oh, children, and a man. Uh-uh. They like to be around a family, children, and a man. No, most of these women want your ass out the way because you bring them stress. Most women would just like to be happy, right? If they was being honest, they want to travel. They want to eat the best foods. They want to be able to express themselves without a person telling them that they can't. Why do you get to sit up here and say what women want and then say it based on psychological conditioning through media, propaganda, law and law enforcement and religion? How can you say that this is the organic mentality of the fucking woman and it's not? This is not an organic desire and you don't get to speak for women to tell them what the hell they want. That's right. Call me auntie bitch, but I'm going to drag your nuts across the goddamn concrete. I'm going to take your nuts and I'm going to drag it from the east coast to the west coast.
of women. The community was. You know, stop the show. Hold on. <laughs> Let's. Add, how many of y'all want to be single for the rest of your life? Raise your hands. You're asking them in an altered and delusional mentality. The entire conversation up till now has been from a bunch of delusional chicks that don't know they left ear from their right toenail. They don't know they left ear from their damn right toenail. And so now you're asking them in a delusional state where they believe that males can be monogamous. They believe that 50-50 is a thing. They believe that the sexual sacrifice is the same you asking these delusional ass chicks if they want to be single no if they knew what the fuck i knew all of them would say i want to be single if women knew what i knew all of them would have wanted to be single but because they live in a land of delusion that has been conditioned to them they have been conditioned in this matrix to please you raggedy asses their their comments or their answers are inorganic they are inorganic bring them into my world and they would all keep their goddamn hands down because the women who have followed me the majority of them have sworn off relationships with you niggas. And I know all of these girls would too. And if they don't swear off the relationships, they will tax the fuck out you. No. Thank you. Oh, okay. Point okay. proven. No, no. You're the only one that's okay no. with uh, 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 Point proven. Po Ain't no point proven, you stupid motherfucker. Because if you dug deeper and went into social engineering and you went into the effects the environment has on a person's behavior and their psychology. See, you don't want to go that deep, right? Because you want to stay on the surface because it don't fit the narrative that you're trying to push. But see, I'm not going I'm not going to stop it on my show. Right, because I'm gonna take you niggas down. I'm gonna take you niggas down one by motherfucking one, one by goddamn one. Because the shit that y'all are doing, it's gotta come to a motherfucking halt. Because you're not gonna do it on your own, you're not gonna do it on your own. No, no, here's the thing. Now, let's, you're a logical Most male. Most women don't want that. You're a logical male, though, right? You're a logical male. Yes. So, okay. So, right. we're logical. Now, you see, I didn't, I didn't did it again. Because, see, I didn't got him. I got him. I got him. I got him now in a different energy. And so, now, I didn't, I didn't boosted his ego again. I didn't boosted his ego. You're a logical male. Stand up to what you claim that you are and talk to me. Like you got some sense. I'm trying to control his thought process by bringing him, making him, making him have to follow his own conviction, right? If you think you're a logical male, then you need to act like one. And you don't want to prove yourself wrong. But because I know that you are one trick pony and you don't have the ability to adapt and adjust I know you're going to get stuck even if you want to prove that you're logical. I'm doing an all out assault and attack on your ass. We have to go back to psychological programming, right? Is that a thing or is it not? Women are social creatures. They were social amongst other women. That's right. Women are social creatures and the male wasn't nowhere around. The women were the goddamn community. So what you talking about, nigga? Women are social creatures. What you think they just hanging around a bunch of fucking predators? By nature? Hell no. They was around women. So what you what you talking about? What you talking about? 
Rem it takes a village to raise a child. Who was the village? It's always been women. Who are who are women taking? Tell Aunt Jemima to shut up. Look. He remember at the beginning of the show, he was laughing. I'm slowly bringing this nigga into his feelings. I'm slowly getting this nigga in his feelings. You see the difference in his face now from the beginning when I made the nigga laugh when I say I'm going to slut you out. He's getting irritated because he cannot come back because I'm hitting his ass. Women are social creatures. I agree with you, but they're social creatures amongst other women. The daycares are run by women. So when women need somebody to watch their kids, they take them to other women. They ain't taking them to you predator motherfuckers, right? <laughs> right? When you, when you call maid services, those maids are women. Right? When women want to get their hair done, they're going to women. They're going to get their nails done by women. Right? The community was women. The village was women. While you niggas was on the outside trying to survive. Right? You just want to incorporate yourself into heaven on earth because y'all asses are born in hell. You're born in hell. And, to for and you want women to believe that everything is the other way around. But it ain't. And I'm here to let them know the truth because you niggas got to be stopped. You niggas have to be stopped. This shit can't go on no more. Daycare services, other women. But the who are doing the male? Who are doing the maid services? Women. Women run pretty much everything. But the it, men really. The men would go hunt, come back home, and be with the family. But the men would go hunt and come back home and be with the family. First of all, excuse me. When you look at when you look at history, 50% of the hunters were women, right? About 50% of them was women. You know why? Because women were first, were here first, right? This is Mother Earth, right? And the oldest bones were women of, of a female, right? You niggas want to be needed and wanted so bad that you got to keep incorporating yourself so you can feel like you have a place on planet Earth. But I'm going to put you back in your goddamn place. I'm going to put you back in your place and let you know what it is. Right? Right? And you didn't just get to come in no community of women because nuclear family ain't real. The community was women. Right. And every dude didn't get to procreate. It was very few of y'all here. The only reason why so many of you here is because the architect of the matrix kept y'all ass around so he could use your body for war. The architect of the matrix used you as a slave for war and to build the fucking matrix as a construction worker. That's the truth. Because your life expectancy ain't even supposed to be as high as it is. Women outlive you all around the globe all the time. But the only reason that your life has been extended is because the architect of the matrix gave you women and women have extended your life. Y'all going to stop acting like you the motherfucking prize because you ain't. He, so, would go, he would go. Men are not hunting back. anymore. <laughs> no, no, but they're going to work, though. No. They're making money. The they going to work. You ain't making money for the family. You making money for yourself. You making money to boost your ego. You're making money because the because the architect put your ass to work. And since now AI taking over, a lot of you lazy motherfuckers that's sitting up here thinking about fucking and fucking all day and playing video games, you finna get wiped out of this motherfucker. You finna get wiped out of here. Cause there is no use for you. 
They don't need you for wars no more. They don't need you to drive trucks or nothing like that. So if you can't get your, if you can't build yourself up to be human with interpersonal skills, you're going to be useless because the robot is going to replace you. AI is going to replace you. They come back home. It's the same dynamic. In a, in a system that y'all complain about not allowing you to be free and to be in your nature. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, Myron, Myron, why you looking like that? Because your whole book, in your book, you wrote about the rules at work sucking ass because your ass can get written up or fired for acting in your nature, right? You can't flirt. You can't quote unquote sexually harass nobody at work. You was mad about that. You wrote it in your book that the matrix prevents you from acting in your nature. So why you got the scrunch face, nigga? Why do you have the scrunch face? As if I said something that you didn't say in your damn book. Oh no, I'm free. I'm no, not no, no, at no, all. because the book "Why <laughs> Women Deserve Less" mm -hmm. is talking about males not being able to be free in their nature. You know. See, that's why. Listen, for all of y'all who got to watch me do this live, you can now see. You now see if that nigga would have had me one on one, I would have waxed his ass up and down that goddamn studio. He was lucky. That he had all them, all them girls up there. Because I would have told his ass up. And I still tore him up with saying just a little bit. Going to work and you can't break this rule, that rule. That's all created by patriarchy. All of these rules that you say men created. Those rules were created by men. Right. So why you bitching at women when the shit that you complain about was created by the architect? You say we built the world. If you built the world, why would you create a policy that make you whine, cry and complain in a book to say that? Well, we can't do this at work. You you created the shit then. Why you complaining about a rule you created? See, I'm too, this is what happens when you are unpredictable. See, know your enemy. Know your enemy. When you go in for war, listen, I had every objective to get Myron in his feelings. And I was going to keep poking at him intellectually till he got out of his quote unquote life. I was going to put that nigga in unfamiliar territory. And I was just pushing him to start speaking sign language. This was an all out assault that I had planned. They had no idea that I was going to come in attacking like this. Because the shit that y'all are doing on this podcast needs to be exposed. Because you niggas are clowns. And every nigga running around here spitting this shit is a dummy. And I want women to see that shit. Well, what's your argument here? Hmm? Look, that... This motherfucker frustrated. He frustrated. He is visually and look at his body language. Look at his face. Look at his body language. I was literally. Baby, I was like Floyd Mayweather in the damn ring. Boy, I was hitting the nigga with body shots. Body. Bow. By asking questions. Right. 
Myron has no ability to pivot. He's only a talking point head. He don't even know what he truly believes. Because if you really knew what you, you believe, you can speak from any angle. It don't matter how you ask me no question. I'm going to always be able to answer you. Every time. But I wanted to intellectually crush him. And I wasn't going to leave until I crushed him. And I wanted the women eating out my hand. And I inspired these women to start talking back to him. Right. But it took a little time because at first they thought I was crazy. But I told them going before the cameras turned on, I say, watch what I do. Y'all ain't even got a clue what I'm going to do up here. Right. What's your argument here? I'm confused. You just went on a whole other side tangent from what we're talking about. No, I went on a tangent. I went on a tangent. I didn't go on no tangent. I went deeper into the conversation that we were talking about. See, going on a tangent, right, is kind of like what y'all did earlier, right? When we asked, when you asked about will will uh, a chick be monogamous, right? Right? What you willing to give up for monogamy from a male commitment? Y'all started talking about a bunch of other shit. And I had to bring you back. That was totally really kind of in la la land. Y'all was finna get ready to change the subject. And I had to bring you back. But what I'm talking about here is not. Adjacent or bouncing off the walls going in different directions. I'm just going a little bit deeper into the topic that we're currently talking about right my argument is this is that everything that y'all are saying is not fully true it's not fully true which part hmm? which part of it uh, about men being the ones that that don't need relationship that women need relationships and that women don't want to be single women were never single their social relationships and their social bonds have always been with other women. You see how I didn't go off topic? I'm still on topic. Right? Because what you're trying to say is that women don't want to be single. They never were single. Men don't keep women. Men don't determine the relationship status or let me let me take that. Men do not determine whether a woman is alone or with somebody because women have always operated in commune and community. The male did not make up the community. Hence why you only want one male males. You only want one man, one man in the midst of a bunch of women. Why do you want a bunch of do you want a bunch of men? Living amongst the quote unquote women that you sleeping with? No, you don't. You want one man there. Why? Because the male had very little goddamn significance. And it was the women that was doing everything. Why can't we be honest? Why, we, why must we lie to push a narrative? That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Because I'm coming to level the playing field. And he don't like that because he knows it's the damn truth. He knows the truth. You want polygamy or polygyny. And you don't want those women sleeping with other guys. You want to be the only one. Which tells you. That women had their social bonds with other women, not fucking men. Throughout history, throughout okay. history, they want dick too, though. But why they won't dick too? Why they won't dick? Why they won't dick? I bring up pair bonding, right? 
Let's go ahead and do some Googling. The uses of semen. Gallup suggested this was because semen contains oestrogen and prosta uh, prosta prostaglandins. Oestrogen and prostaglandins, which have been linked to lower levels of depression and oxytocin, which promotes social bonding. Semen from in pair partner. Hmm, let's see. Hmm. Everything you should know about fluid bonding. Fluid bonding. Now, I'm going to read this in a minute. But let me go back and make sure what's the point. Let's go back. We are here at 106.10. We're going to go to 106.105.45. It's not fully true. Which part? Hmm? Which part of it? Uh, about men being the ones oh. that that don't need relationships, that women need relationships, and that women don't want to be single. Women were never single. Their social relationships and their social bonds have always been with other women. Throughout history. Okay. Throughout history. They want dick too, though. They want dick too, though. Why? Because... Semen is a chemical that alters the female psychology. It's like dope. Right? Right? Oxytocin. Right? Promotes social bonding. It's a chemical concoction that makes women, quote unquote, bond to males. It's like a drug. Which is the reason why men want to keep nutting in you. And this is what, what makes you stupid and not be not able to realize you getting played and you keep letting a dude keep playing you and playing you because you keep fucking them. Right? So women won't dick not because your little three inch peewee is worth a goddamn because, huh, based on how. Let's see. About 75% of all women never reach orgasm from intercourse alone. About 75% of women, of all women, globally, baby, not just in the U.S., but globally, about 75% of all women never reach orgasm from intercourse alone. And that's about 75. Hmm. Hmm. So why are women still fucking you and wanting dick that they don't even climax from and from a dude who verbally says he don't give a fuck if she do or don't? Why? Simple. Because semen, semen, is a chemical concoction that alters female psychology. Producing oxytocin, which is actually like a fucking drug. That makes women keep wanting you. Not because you actually doing anything. And on top of that, women's fucked up belief about you. Her messed up beliefs about who you are and what you bring is the reason why she keep asking for it. But the ancients say mind over matter. Mind over matter. 
used to describe a situation in which someone is able to control a physical condition, problem, etc. by using the mind. If women change their mind about men and the nature of men, oxytocin and quote unquote semen alteration of the female psychology and physiology would lose its power. The only reason that it's working is because women hold a false belief about you in conjunction with oxytocin that's produced by your bullshit chemical. Oh, you wasn't ready to actually box with me intellectually, sir. No, you wasn't ready. You wasn't ready. You lucky y'all didn't let me talk like that. Because you'd kick me off that motherfucker. I bet you won't bring another 37-year-old motherfucker like me up there. I bet you won't. But why do they want dick? You know why they want dick? Because, of, because you see, y'all want pair bonding. How how do women get pair? How how do you pair bond? What are you no. saying right now? Listen, listen. They laughing and getting frustrated because they too dumb. Listen. They're frustrated because they're too dumb and don't even know what I'm talking about. I bring up pair bonding, which is based on seminal fluid producing oxytocin. And he getting, which creates social bonds which is in line with what the hell we talking about. And he gets visually frustrated because he don't know what I'm talking about, but he's supposed to be logical. Listen, he's supposed to be logical, but he's getting frustrated because he's being intellectually challenged. And the girls they too young to even know what's really happening because they been brought up in a patriarchal system. So they're conditioned to believe males and listen to males. So they don't really even have a clue what's going on. Right. But I'm attacking this nigga. I am. I am floating like a butterfly. St I'm, I'm staying in this nigga in the corner. How do you pair bond? Yo, what the fuck, bro? Listen, listen. I don't know what the fuck, bro. I don't know what the fuck, bro. I know because you retarded, nigga. That's why you got an 18-year-old here. That's why your 30-some-year-old retarded ass is sitting up here trying to debate with a goddamn 18-year-old who ain't never graduated high school because you fucking remedial. You remedial. But you wrote a whole damn book, you remedial ass nigga. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> she came here oh. with an agenda, bro. To oh. argue about some random shit that don't make sense. That listen, he say I came there with an agenda, arguing about some random shit that don't make sense, and literally everything that I just said was in line with the conversation because the because he just said women want dick, but why do they want dick? Because seminal fluid, pair bonding, produces oxytocin. And it's like a fucking drug. She over here arguing about something that don't even make no sense. That's why this remedial ad nigga got a 18-year-old and ain't graduated high school. I'm tagging his motherfucking ass. <laughs> I'm tearing his ass up. <laughs> he do. He got to listen. I E P like a motherfucker. Doesn't even who oh. talking about. Wait a minute. So, so like, women, women not wanting to be with more than one male don't have anything to do with quote unquote pair bonding. Look, man. 
I respect Auntie. However, she does realize that doesn't apply to every single man in history, right? What you talking about, baby? We talking about biology. We talking about science. What's the problem? What's the problem? I thought you was logical, man. Listen, I set him up. Listen, this is how some of his followers started to see because it's people that was following him that started that followed and believed everything he said until I showed up and then they started questioning his ass. Some people was like, man, I used to listen, but he man, he took a big L on here. Right. I set him up out the gate, y'all. I said, you're logical. And I said it twice and he agreed twice. And right now he is going against his own conviction. I made this nigga fight himself. Y'all, I made him fight himself because at this point he is going against his own convictions of being logical. He's getting annoyed. Which is good, which is good, because that's what I want. Let's let's get back to the main point here. Your strategy that you are saying for women to employ of loving themselves and being by themselves. The main, the main, the main strategy point was that women are social and they quote unquote need men, and I'm saying no, they don't. So now you now you want to say they strategy of not needing men? Okay, right? And not worrying about men and pimp out the men and they're the hoes and we're the ones that are actually the pimps <laughs> all this other stuff that will leave a lot of women single depressed without a man with cats and dogs only huh huh that'll leave a bunch of women single lonely and all of that but you don't care about nothing else you don't care about women at all you don't care about them being lonely and single you only care about your needs getting met on they back because you don't care about nothing else as you said yourself. Because they believe so, what y'all saying. That's all. That's the only reason why. Bro, it's not about them believing. Because listen, a lot of women don't watch our podcast. It's mostly men that watch our podcast. Yeah. Women since the beginning of time have wanted to walk down the aisle in a white dress. Wait a minute. Hold on. Marriage ain't even been in existence since the beginning of time. A white dress ain't been in existence. Nigga, do y'all hear this shit? Do you hear this stupid nigga? He says since the beginning of time, women have wanted to walk down the aisle in a white dress. Hold on. We have one minute and seven seconds. Let's go one, one minute and, let's see, one minute and six seconds. Yeah, one minute, six minutes, and fifty-seven seconds. Listen, because they believe so, what y'all saying. That's all. That's the only reason why. Bro, it's not about them believing. Because listen, a lot of women don't watch our podcast. It's mostly men that watch our podcast. Yeah. Women since the beginning of time have wanted to walk down the aisle in a white dress. Y'all hear that? Since the beginning of time, nigga, nigga, you mean to tell me? That the oldest bones on the planet wanted to walk down the aisle in a white fucking dress. White dresses and marriage. And when, 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 when did traditional marriage, when did the white dress become a popular thing for marriage? Let's let's look that up. I want y'all to see this nigga. I had this nigga on the goddamn ropes. I Listen, this nigga was seeing stars already. That he just spit out some bullshit. <laughs> that nigga reached in the clouds and spit out some bullshit since the beginning of time. I didn't know. I thought. I thought the land before time was closer to the beginning of time with the damn dinosaurs. I didn't even know that the dinosaurs wore white dresses. I mean, wow. Hold on. Let's see. Damn, Adam and Eve, because you know the chick, the chick in the blue, said Adam and Eve. I thought Adam and Eve recognized their ass was naked and put on some damn leaves. I didn't know that white dresses existed back then. Hmm. 
Shit, tell me something. Let me do my Google research. Let me let me put my let me put my education hat on. My education. Hold on. Um When did white wedding dresses become a thing? Since the beginning of time. Let's see. The origin of the white wedding dress. The white wedding dress, now a common tradition in the Western world, originated with Anne of, or Brit of Brittany on the occasion of her marriage to Louis XII of France in 1499. But it wasn't until 1840 when Queen Victoria married Prince Albert that the white dress was made popular. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am sadly mistaken. I thought the earth was a couple billion years old. I was wrong. The, the beginning of time was 1499. Since 1499, which was the beginning of time, women have always wanted to walk down the aisle in a white dress. We ain't that old, y'all. I'm going to have to go back to school because I must have went I must have went to Evergreen University, right? When I went to go study cell and molecular biology, I must have went to Evergreen University because them motherfuckers lied to me. I thought the earth was much older than 1499, but I, I'm, damn. Myron, you done schooled me on some shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen ninety nine. Since the beginning, I got this nigga just saying shit. He's so goddamn nervous. <laughs> With a man waiting for them. Wait a minute. Being Where married and being in a committed relationship. Women want a relationship. That was a production. That was a sold fantasy. That was produced by the it's people. It's what women want. I, it, it's what women want. It's, well, by him saying that, by him responding like that, listen. I say, he say, women want this. I say, but that's a fantasy. Well, women want it. So you're in agreement that women want some shit that ain't real, right? You know it's bullshit. As a man, let's talk man to man because I know, you know, I'm a transgender, right? I got a dick, right? Right? I got titties in a dick, right? Yeah, I got titties in a goddamn dick, right? It's a little dick because I ain't got no print. My print should be right here, but y'all can't see it, right? It ain't it ain't really, yeah. I should have a print right here, but I my, my dick is two and a half inches long, so I ain't really got no print, but I got titties, so I just, listen. I'm a transgender, right? So since I'm a transgender and I'm really a man, let me just go ahead and stop acting like I ain't no man. Let's talk man to man, nigga. Let's talk man to man, nigga. <laughs> okay? That what you want. You sat up here and said, <laughs> you confirmed that it's a fucking delusion that they want. Right? You just sat up here and confirmed the shit. What well, 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 they, well, they want it. Right? Well, I'm trying to get them out of delusion land so they don't want it. Right? Right? You know? I'm a simp. I'm a man with a two and a half inch dick. And some titties, right? Because these bought titties, right? I went under the knife, you know, so I'm confused. The public is confused because this bitch got a, got, a, got a dick and some titties. I just want to let you know that I'm a simp. I'm a simp for the ladies, okay? I'm a goddamn simp, and I'm here to help they ass, right? Because I'm transitioning to become a woman, right? I identify as a woman, but I'm a biological male with a two and a half inch dick. Okay. So until I fully transition, nigga, this is man to man. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. What women want? Why do they want That's, it? It's, it's biologically they, they, hardwired it, no, for women no, no, no. to want a mate. No, no. It's biologically hardwired for women to want a mate. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let me see what else I got to say. That's, that's that, what it is. That's false. 
because if that was something did i not just say a second ago how many of you want to be single oh look 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 look, look. he getting mad look look his eyebrows is scrunched that nigga getting mad hold on <laughs> The rest of your life no one raised their hand well you don't even raise your hand no look this nigga veins popping listen this nigga let, let me remind you let me remind you of what my agenda was please let me remind you of what my damn agenda was in case you forgot challenge myron and destabilize him expose his lack of logic publicly <laughs> get the girls at the table on my side get myron emotional have him resort to sign language <laughs> four take over the show and be an example of power for women to follow take the power from the host i'm getting this nigga visually upset <laughs> i'm getting him out the nigga listen the nigga veins popping out the nigga jugular is wrapped around his buff this this this, this, this shit in his neck the nigga neck finna he, it's finna explode look <laughs> who's mad in your book you said that women don't want men that's what you said in your book. They don't want a majority most of men. men. Right, which the most most men by nature aren't supposed to get women. The majority of males are supposed to die virgins. That's biological. I mean, you do study biology, right? Bro. Oh, bro. That's that nigga man. <laughs> that nigga man, cause I told him y'all ain't supposed to get no pussy. You do study biology, right? You do study biology, right? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga mad. I got him. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> like you're just. I mean, cause like, that's how y'all talk about. You're making sexy. no points here. No, that's he say I. Ain't, he say I'm making no points. Is it that I'm making no points, or you too intellectually retarded to catch him and understand him? Huh? Huh? You, dude, you making no points here. No, I'm making several. You just too retarded. Y'all talk about a sex, 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 sex. Your whole book is about sex, 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 and not being able to get it. Uh, no, it's about not being a simp. Uh, I don't think you read it. You just yapping. No, no I it is it. the struggle. Of Wait a minute. It's about not being a simp. Well, if it was about not being a simp, you would be talking more along the lines of Napoleon Hill. Your whole book is talking about the new contract and the old contract and what men need to do to get the pussy. From chapter one to chapter fucking nine. A man in today's society. And not yeah. being a simp and prioritizing yourself over women. Yeah. And then that actually makes you more attractive. Well, yeah. the majority of males don't have self-discipline because sex mm -hmm. is their number one objective. And that's why I'm telling guys like they need to prioritize themselves first. But they won't ever do it because sex is is y'all's ruler biologically. See, all right, bro. We're, we're, you're, you're just well, yapping, let, me, bro. let me just say one. No, more. I'm just I'm just yapping. You're just yapping. No, bitch. I got you mentally wrapped up. I got a lasso around your little peanut brain. I got a lasso around your peanut brain. Right? Because the matrix is artificial, so it takes men to get inside their mind to operate in the matrix the male has a hard time operating in the matrix because men are trapped in their lower self by nature they don't have the ability to overcome their lower nature and if they ever overcome it they're exerting extreme levels of willpower and discipline and most males are too lazy to flex that kind of willpower and discipline to operate in this matrix of a world. I got a lasso around your peanut brain. No, 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 no. We're, moving We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. I'll come back to it. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> what aunt is this? What aunt is this? I know you don't know what the fuck. Now, I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to stop it right there, and we're going to have to come back and do a part two because this shit can go on forever because, baby, that ain't but an hour and eight minutes. We still got... We still got the rest of this to go through and rumble. We not doing all this tonight, but I'm going to let y'all call in, though. Call in to the show, baby. Tell me what you think so far about what's happening here. All right. Let me let me go back to my screen. Let's go back to my screen. Right. The queen maker. I am the queen maker. Right. Right, that's right. Them them titties pretty as hell, right? They bought titties cause I'm a man for real, baby. I'm a man for real. At least that's what they all say. That what they that what they say, right? <laughs> uh, look. Let me see. Put my put my put my my call in line up there, baby. Put the call in line. Listen, if y'all want to holler at me and give me your opinions on what you thought about tonight's show, because y'all been waiting for this, holler at me at 832-627-6575. Baby Saeed. I know Baby Saeed came from over there. Thank you, baby. Right? Because I saw, I, as I was doing my review, when I was, was doing it, I saw you send them a super chat. So I was like, oh, I saw Baby Saeed over there in my um, community post. Thank you for coming over here. I'm telling you, I tore they ass up. And I'm not through tearing they ass up because I'm going to do a whole damn review of this shit. Hold on, let me make sure. Okay, BT. Okay. Hello, who am I speaking with? Hey, Francella. It's Jamila. This is actually my first time calling in. All right, Jamila. Thank you for calling in. What you got for us tonight? Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, let me say that I was there for that whole live mm -hmm. um, and the rumble. And it was great. You, you ate and you left no crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so but, much. Yeah, of course. Um, so you brought up the book Think and Grow Rich mm -hmm. and you talked about um, Myron's basically that he's abrasive and obnoxious mm -hmm. and that actually reminded me of something that I just went through mm -hmm. so uh yeah I just I I just quit my job and became self-employed because I had an abusive boss he was a white man mm -hmm. um he was micromanaging me he was bullying me and during my last month there I had th those books Think and Grow Rich mm -hmm. And 48 Laws of Power in Mind, thanks to you. Mm -hmm. And those books and the teachings of psychology of males actually helped me get out of an abusive situation at work and follow my dream of going full time with my business. So that's wonderful. Yeah thank, you. yeah, thank you so much for your teachings because they don't just apply to relationships, it actually applies everywhere you deal with a male. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, and happy 420. All right. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. Okay. So, oh, um, man, for real. I, at least that's what they all say. Hold on. That what they that what they say. <laughs> oh God. Okay. So we're gonna have a lot of callers tonight. So um, when you call, I just want to want for new people who might call. Let me tell you how this goes. Um, when you call, if I'm on the line. Don't worry about it. Just call, hang up, and that'll put you in the queue, and I will call you back, right? So if you call while I'm on the line, don't worry about it. I'm going to call you back. And so since we're going to have a lot of callers tonight, I need y'all to Unknown keep y'all's calls to no more than three minutes. Because if you go over three minutes, I'm going to I'm gonna play this sound right here, and you got to get off. All right. All right. Hello, who am I speaking with? Hey, um, I'm Rachel. <laughs> hey, Rachel, how you doing? What you got for me tonight? I just love your content. Um, I just love how you slam those dudes. I thought it was fabulous. And I think you're just like 
I'm three years old. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have. Oh, I'll put it off. Sorry. I'm sorry. I I just wish I would have um, seen a woman like you when I was a young thing. Mm -hmm. Because I would have learned so much. And I just. I just know what your podcast and um, your content has given to me as a woman. Mm -hmm. And it's given me so much confidence because, you know, I used to be in an abusive relationship like a lot of women are. Mm -hmm. But I got the confidence to get out of it. And I just want to thank you for all the work that you do, mm -hmm. because I know you don't have to do it, but you do because you care about us. And I just want to thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And good luck to you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit these up. Let's see. Please leave your message for seven seven zero two five. Okay, twenty two two. Okay, and let's see. Hello, this is Prince Ella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is L'Oreal. Like the makeup. Hey, L'Oreal, what you got for me tonight? So my mama put me on to you, and I'm I'm gay. And when I heard your concept of not needing mail, not needing mails, I was like, I I don't get it. But once I started hearing you speak, I was like, oh okay, mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. And you have like um like a preacher type of interview, and I grew up in the church, so it it just it it really resonated with me when you speak. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I just want yeah, you got me hype over here for real. I'm walking around the house. I'm just yelling, screaming. I'm like, okay, she getting busy. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. All right, bye. -bye. Okay. Please leave your message for. Hello. Hello, this is Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hey, this is Mary. Hey, Mary, what you got for us tonight? Hey, so I just want to start off by saying thank you so much. Um, my mom, she um, showed me your, well, she told me about your um, your podcast a while back. And it took me a minute, but I, I stuck to it. Like, I keep watching it, and you really help me like dissect what men say when they talk to me mm -hmm. and I never did before like I'm 28 years old mm -hmm. and I remember dating somebody I was like maybe 26 I remember dating somebody that was like 40 48 mm -hmm. and I remember him just thinking he was giving me game but at the the whole time I just knew he was just trying to tear me apart so that I can just be stuck to him you know mm -hmm. and I got out of the situation but now that I am like older I'm like dang I learned so much from that situation and and now just looking back at it I'm like dissecting everything that he was saying and men still try to do that to me and like my solution has been to just kind of be celibate until I figure out what I want and how I want it because right. that's what my life is about, how I want to do it. So um, I just, and listening to Fresh and Fit, I always was on Instagram and just seeing like, you know, little clips of his videos. And it's annoying just seeing it on my feed, but I was listening to what he was saying. And it made me realize that a lot of men are the same way as he is. Like they're, he reminded me of like, 
a Tyrone ass nigga. Mm -hmm. You know, like, but he just says a lot. So it makes it seem like he know what the fuck he talking about. Right. And he doesn't. He's kind of sick. And and it's sad that he kind of takes young girls and puts them on the podcast to, to infect them with his sickness. Mm -hmm. And I just, just watching it from a different perspective now is just enlightening and it's free and I'm keeping my legs closed. Shoot, like what the, what you say the hamsters do when they uh <laughs> when they don't want to mate oh, when yeah. they don't want to mate they, they tape they, it up uh, yeah <laughs> yeah I'm taping mine up because I don't trust I don't trust it I don't trust them and I trust myself more and I trust my judgment and I'm even learning what my judgment is because my judgment was off right so mm -hmm. I'm just just educating myself more and reading more books and I'm gonna sign up for your workshop when I can but. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. You have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello. Hello. This is Prince Sella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is Sean. Hello, Sean. What you got for me tonight? I just wanted to say um, thank you for all that you do. I really do love you. And keep fucking these niggas heads up. Yes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Bye. Okay. Hello. Hello, this is Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hey girl, this is my way. How you it's doing? It's actually Sheldon's voice. Thank you. Look, I'm just I'm gonna break your own down for you, okay? All right. I minutes. am Gen Gen X mm -hmm. and you know, I can't talk to a lot of people that's my age, okay? Mm -hmm. But what I'm finding interest in is the ones that's behind me, like my nieces. Mm -hmm. Okay. And since I started watching your show, it was kind of like I started watching men at their best. Mm -hmm. Their best ain't the best. It's the worst, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm already spiritual, mm -hmm. okay? I already started feeling this energy. But what I'm telling you is they're not after me anymore, right? They probably say, like you said, on Fresh and Fit, when the has come for me, right? Mm -hmm. But I know I still have life. So what the life I'm giving into is the is the ones that's behind me in my family. And if I can reach their friends, I will reach their friends. And the day I start having grandkids, oh, them girls are snatching up. So I just want to thank you for giving a voice to what I was already sensing, the energy that I was sensing. I just couldn't express it the way you did. Mm -hmm. But you giving me a voice to what i'm already feeling okay all right so girl you have a great night and thank you for your hard work okay all right thank you i appreciate it bye -bye. Yeah. okay right okay unknown call hello who am i speaking with yeah. okay so you know Hey, Priscilla, I'm trying to turn the TV down. Okay. Hey, sis, how are you? I'm excellent. What you got for me tonight? Who am I speaking with? Um, This is Black and Bougie. I've been um, familiar with your channel for like a week now. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because I knew nothing about you and a content creator had mentioned you. Mm -hmm. And I can compare you to some other ladies. And she was like, no. She said, this lady is at a way higher level. She said, this lady is at the pinnacle of what we always speak about. Mm -hmm. So nothing really could have prepared me with what you speak of. But it's like it came right on time because... I needed it. Like this man decided that, you know, I was too much for him. Um, I'm too mouthy, vain. I'm too into myself. Like a whole bunch of gaslighting bullshit. And it was crazy because I was just thinking like, well, well maybe I should kind of tone it down for him and 
I'm just glad I didn't do it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm glad you didn't either. Thank you, because, like, these men will have you questioning yourself. Like, I always knew that men were profoundly fucked up. But I just thought that, I don't know, like, if I approach them in a different manner, that maybe they would just, like, you know, maybe it's just that they just don't get it. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that they really don't like you, you kind of, it's like you, you show us and, and have taught people that they are biologically unable to do whatever it is that we're seeking. They just cannot do it. Mm -hmm. So this is not about us. Yeah, this is not. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's three minutes. Thank you. Oh, no, it's not. You got one more minute. That was a. Super oh, I tactic. thought that was. Oh, okay, I thought it was that noise. But yeah, so it's like listening to you, like, I learned that this is not about me. Like, this is not about, oh, my approach and all that shit. Like, because I know how to, you know, approach people in a, in a decent manner. Like, I know how to have a good dialogue with somebody. So mm -hmm. the, the fact that I'm too much for them just clearly states, you know, who I am as a woman. And, and I am superior to these beings. I feel nothing anymore mm -hmm. for them. Yep, it is what it is. That's what happened when they don't care about you, right? So they brought this on themselves, right? But they, yeah. But, but it's it's not totally their fault because they just not wired to do it, and patriarchy did it. The people at the top put them in the position they weren't naturally meant to occupy. So now women have to become conscious and put their ass back where they belong. So um, thank you so much for calling in and letting us know know the word. Thank you. And, and things will be so much better when they get beneath our feet where they belong. Everything will change. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Have a good night. You too. Bye bye. Hello. Who am I speaking with? Hi. Um, this is Tiffany. Um, I, you know, I've been, it's interesting. Like, I've been watching Fresh and Fit podcast for a while mm -hmm. and i'm like i do not like this <laughs> their content mm -hmm. and i just couldn't figure out why so i just want to thank you for uh actually being able to verbalize you know like what i'm actually feeling mm -hmm. about um men and everything because I'm, I'm like wait a minute i'm i'm starting to feel like i'm crazy because mm -hmm. i i know that i mean they have a bunch of 18 year old ladies um, not really sure themselves, and then it's like, oh, this is what you think. This is what you think. Right. Even though some of these young ladies are telling them, like, wait, um, this is what women actually feel. No, you don't. So just thank you for uh, verbalizing. Absolutely, no problem. It, excellently, clearly, concise, all that. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for calling. Okay, I think I talked to them. Hello? Hello, this is Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Oh, yeah, this is Angela. Hello, Angela. What you got for me tonight? Yeah, so I have um, been a member or subscribe to your channel for a few months now i have purchased your book um and i read the, the signs of love and um let me get it but my thing is i love the message that you bring the five components of love yeah i've read that and i was like oh my goodness so this whole while i've been thinking like something is seriously like my meter must be off or something picking with men but um i am a mom and i have like an older daughter mm -hmm. so um she's growing up in that moment of um young love she's like 16 so um i have not introduced her to your content just yet mm -hmm. but i want her to um understand what i say so i've, I've let her watch or so i sent her some links of your content of your content and stuff mm -hmm. but i wanted to really talk about when you were on fresh and fit mm -hmm. it really just 
crazy to me how people can sit there and argue with children basically who do not have the life experiences and I was just like yo they didn't even let you talk much mm -hmm. um I watched it on YouTube so I was kind of upset and I was like they tripping they like trying to discredit you of what you were saying and like you said they it's just you went deeper than what they normally talk about like they just regurgitate the norm of every red pill type spewing whatever nonsense to children basically right. and they are trying to hold a conversation with children who have not had like life experiences they're talking to uh, girls young girls that usually older men want to prey upon because you know women their age do not want them and it's, it's really sad to see that happening, but I was really happy that you got on the show and you was just able to like catch their attention because the women, it was a turnaround and you could sense that energy when it turned around that they were willing to change their mind and start to think on a different level from, oh yeah, well, I'm just a stripper and this is my homegirl. No, the girl in the blue and the other lady next to you they were speaking something totally different mm -hmm. and then they even had like the little child on the chat but i was just really happy that even in the chat you know you could see men even agreeing with you too because i was just like this is some bull whoever tunes into this um fresh and fit like i just i just think it's old men acting like children um you know yeah. all right well thank you so much right Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello? Hello. This is Prince Seller speaking. Who am I speaking with? You're speaking with Liz. Hey, Liz. What you got for me tonight? How you doing? Um, I just called to say that you did a very good job with Fresh and Fit. Um, I like the way you um counted a lot of their claims. Mm -hmm. Um, it was it was obviously that they're usually speaking to younger women. Mm -hmm. Is that time for me to go? Uh uh, no, that's somebody. somebody. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. So I like the way you counted their claims of certain things and um, just the ideology of what they think about how women should be, what women want. And it was just um, refreshing to see somebody challenge them in that way because you really see that on that show. And I just wanted to let you know you did a good job. And I'm looking forward to seeing the um, other half. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No problem. You have a good one. You Thank too. you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, hello? Yes, this is Prince Seller speaking. Who am I speaking with? Oh, uh, hi, this is, uh, well, I'm just going to go by my, my YouTube name, Miss Shells, in the, uh, for my, as my user, prop, as my YouTube user. Um, uh, I'm 19. Uh, I actually found out about you, like, maybe a week ago. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But either way, uh, wow, you are a force to be reckoned with. I, I don't know what else to say, but when I first heard of you, or like like what uh, one of the other callers said, you have the voice of a preacher, mm -hmm. for real. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, the things that you said, because I think how I got to you, like, I think every, like, everything happens for a reason. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I think this all started when I, because throughout all, all my life I was re religious, I was in a religious family, um, I went from being a Christian to being a, the Hebrew Israelite awakening, whatever. And even during that time, something about it felt off. I found out God was black, mm -hmm. but 
that was it. There was nothing more than that, and there was, you know, it, it was literally like Christianity, but way more stricter, and something about it just made me feel, it felt suffocating. Mm -hmm. And when I got, and I think it was when my mom got into, like, this woman named Cynthia G on YouTube chat, on the, yeah, in YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, she started to, uh, sh I started to hear more and more from this lady, and it started to make me realize that um, there was something off, like, and not only in the black community, but, like, with men in general, or, like, how women were portrayed in the Bible right. compared to men. It always seemed like the women were the side characters while the men were the main male characters. Mm -hmm. And something felt off because, like, weren't we, the child, weren't we also child of God? Weren't we also valued? Or right. were we just not were cared less for? And it took a while, and, you know, I kind of started, you know, getting... I started to kind of stray away from the Hebrew Israelite thinking, and then I ended up finding you. And I think this, like this whole Hebrew Israelite thing, all started all the way back in 2017 or 16, whatever. But it's like everything happens for a reason. And I'm glad I found you. I'll try to speed up <laughs> because I don't want to show my say my story because I know I'm time. But I just want to say there was a lot of things you said that make way too much sense, and it's like it just it makes way too much sense. Yes, ma'am. I'm not. The, I may not be the smartest, but it's like, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for calling in, and welcome to the channel. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, goodbye. Bye. Love you. Mm -hmm. All right. We got to six. Hello. Hello, this is Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hey, Princella, this is Shirley. How you Shirley. doing? Ms. How you doing, Miss Shirley? What you got for me tonight? Okay, I'll make it real quick. Um, I just watched uh, or listened to the first part of your uh, uh, meeting with uh, Rush, Rush and Fit or whoever they are. But now, uh, what I did, I was standing in the room there and the women that, um, besides, your, besides yourself, you know, my concern was that you know, I don't know how they vet those women, uh, and and you were a blessing to be on there because those women are really, you're right, delusional and lost. Mm -hmm. So now I can see, you know, clearly what's really going on with how they move. You know, I'm talking about these, these so-called men on Fresh and Prince or whatever they call themselves, Fresh and Fit. Mm -hmm. But anyway, my point is, is that if you, which I know you've looked at it, but if you look at those women, I mean, all of them, I mean, they were like really lost. And then some of the things that came out of their mouth didn't even make sense. But um, you stood your ground. Another one bites the dust. Thank you very much. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Shirley. All right. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, what it do? Ken, what's good, man? You watching the show? Man, of course, man. You know I had to tune in with Channing. Man, it's all good. Tell me, did mm -hmm. did, 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 did I bury him? Man, you know, yo, you know what was so scary about that is that uh, he said it's nothing but dudes watching, right? Yeah. And then, you know, I got a son, man, so I just thought about the ages of the dudes. Mm -hmm. And because I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you, that was very hard to listen to. Mm -hmm. Like the questions, the conversation, where they go, that shit is like, you got to turn your brain on for that. And the fact that when you're trying to talk science and biology, because remember, they're logical, right? Right. So when you're trying to talk some real shit, now you're the auntie. And now it's, it, what it makes it look like is knowledge is a game. Right. Right. Knowledge is a game. When he said, yo, it's, it, it been this way since the beginning of time. And remember, it's people listening to that shit. And you believe that it was a certain type of way from it since the beginning of time. Because they have a million followers. So they got to be telling the truth, right? Right. That shit is, that shit is dangerous. Mm -hmm. So I got, I'm, in, 
I'm, I'm, I'm with my son. So he gets to filter the world through me. But I'm thinking about other kids that listen to this shit. Because it's 18 to like 30 year olds listening to that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, nah, no, you, you, you did your thing considering where you was at. You know what I'm saying? They're they not showing up for now. They don't give a damn about that shit. You know what I'm saying? So for you to show up like that, I think it was a, uh, it's a good look. Because what it does is for the people watching, you know, always show up with your sword, yo. Stand on that, even if you're behind enemy lines. Even if everyone calling you names, stand on the knowledge. Absolutely. No matter what. No matter what. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No matter what. Stand on the knowledge. Stand on your gut feeling. Stand on your principles. If you know that you're right and exact, I don't care if it's a 30,000 people in the, in the chat calling you names. Be against the whole world if the whole world is wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about the people that was watching you. And I feel inspired and encouraged to stand on their shit. Don't be afraid to stand on knowledge. I don't care what the world is doing. So, you know, I have to call in and give you your flowers. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. I appreciate the Ken. Man, you already know. All right. We're going to get up. All right. For sure. All right. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, this is Prince Ella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hey, this is Mysterious Virgo. How are you? I'm um, excellent. What you got for me tonight? All right, I knew you for about a week and a half. And I already knew when you go on fresh and fit, you're going to be good. Because mm -hmm. you're calm, you're intelligent. Yeah, I knew you were going to. Uh, I don't know why, you know, some of your followers, why they were, um, I guess, scared of you to go up there. But I can tell you're really calm, you're smart, you're intelligent. And then they're not going to like that. You so go, I you're kind of going walking. in and out. Oh, okay. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because I already know. I can tell. Because you're a person you can debate. But you're calm. Mm -hmm. You see? So that's why the men, they're not going to like that. You're intelligent. You're calm. And you're, I loved it. You're smiling. You're laughing. So I was proud of you. I, was, I don't know if you saw me in the comments, but I was supporting you. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate it. No problem. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Right. Now, let's see who this is sending me a text message. Say, can I get on the show? Are you the girl from Fresh and Fit, the auntie? I say, yes. What was your points on the show? I didn't think anything you said was practical. Well, how the hell you get my number? The only way that you could have got my number is if you watching my show so i'm not gonna take you serious however i'm still gonna call you so you can display your ignorance and tell me after i didn't spit out all of this biological factual psychological information and historical information i want to see what your retarded i got to say show the world that you retarded since you didn't think I said anything logical. Hello? Oh, I knew it was a male. Who am I speaking to? This is Prince Cella. Hey, oh, this is Auntie from Fresh and Fit, the 37-year-old. Oh, hit the wall. Auntie. Yeah, I hit the this wall. Is the, this is the 37-year-old? Yeah, this, this is the 37-year-old? Yeah, this is the 37-year-old hit the wall chick. Who this? <laughs> this is D from Cali. Okay, D, tell the world why you think there was nothing logical said on my part. Well, I think what you said on the show, from correct me if I'm wrong, you said that women don't understand the biological makeup of a male. This is correct. And, and because women don't understand the biological makeup of a male, their expectations aren't matching and they're going to get disappointed because they don't understand that correct they're delusional and i and i get that and that that sounds great on a on a show it really does but i just i just don't know how that's practical like if i were to tell my sister 
it, you know, until you understand the biological makeup of a male, you won't understand men. I just, I just don't know, like, what somebody would do with that information. That's why I just feel like it's not very real world. Oh, is that just me? Oh no, because see, thoughts. Thoughts precede action, right? So if you believe, right. do you believe in the law of attraction? I do. Okay. I do believe All right. In okay. Let's attraction. start. Okay. So let's start there. Your action, okay. your, your, what you get in life is based on what your thoughts change your thoughts and your world changes, right? Okay. We're just going to start simple like that. If women believe in fairy tales about men <laughs> and they which are delusional, they're going to keep bringing in the negativity that they're getting because they believe in false stuff, right? Even though, right. okay, so if women knew the nature of a male and the bio, guess what? Their whole behavioral patterns would change in relation to how y'all operate. Y'all say women should choose better. I promise you, if women knew you, they would choose better. They would choose themselves. They wouldn't be trying to get in relationships with you. They wouldn't even be expecting y'all to love them. They wouldn't be asking you for emotions or none of that because they would know that y'all are incapable of giving them this fairy tale shit. So if they knew that, mm -hmm. they wouldn't be asking for it. Then they would keep their legs closed like you like y'all say they need to do. You chose him. You chose him. It's your fault. Right. right. So here's the thing. In order for women to choose better, they got to know better. The problem is women don't know better. And so they think that they're doing the right thing by just giving up everything and trying to get stuff out of men that they ain't capable of giving. They change that. Right. They, 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 they learn, y'all, their behavior changes because thoughts precede action. Okay, and, and you know this this doesn't make sense to me. I, I really do get it. But could you give me like an example? Like, could you say somebody, you know, like maybe like in Saudi Arabia or like like, like who like who do you think's doing that today? It's real simple. Like in your opinion? No, it's real simple because I got some, first first and foremost, I don't have as many followers as uh, Fresh and Fit has, but. Uh, out of my right. two, out of the twenty eight thousand people that follow me, and maybe the uh, maybe two thousand or so that might watch my stuff, I have over four hundred paying members to my YouTube, and I have eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty five. I have young chicks that have sworn off even getting in relationships with men, <laughs> right? Wow. Yeah, it's that goddamn so. Let my message get out. And, and here's the thing. I touch women all over the world. I got women globally calling my show. So, yeah, learning what I teach gets women to change their behaviors. They don't even pick y'all. And so guess what that does? If y'all really want to get with women, you can no longer treat women like they're expendable um, punching bags. You either going to get your act together and get a woman or you not and you're going to lose them. And they not going to feel no guilt or no shame, no matter what name you call them, nothing. They ain't going to care. Get it together or not. Because the truth of the matter is men need women, not the other way around. Men are going to be the ones dying single and lonely and women can show you better than they can tell you. So I'm trying to change the whole dynamics and put men back where they supposed to be because you got to make a man respect you. So who who do you think in society today is embodying what you believe in or what you preach? Right. Like, could you give me an example of somebody, maybe like a celebrity or maybe like a family that well, or maybe even yourself? Well, of course, it's me. You know, like, what, it, yeah. It's like, or maybe, like, what, what do you do in your personal life or private life that really embodies what you teach? Because I'm still trying to get, like, tangibles, you know what I mean? Like, I, I really, 
I, I think what you're saying sounds great. I just don't, I couldn't, I just can't really see it in application. Well, 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 I don't understand what you can't see in application because guess what? You're talking to somebody. I don't know if you saw my, um, at the beginning, but my library, right? When you decenter males, when y'all ain't the center of focus, guess what? We have more time to focus on ourselves. And so you're talking to someone, you're talking to someone who was commissioned in the army. I spent eight years in the army, top sales. And I show you, I showed my library at the beginning, just some of the books that I have. So it's personal development. Now I'm starting business. I'm starting business and linking up with professionals, right? To help build yeah to help build something tangible in the physical world where people can actually come and donate their talents to something that's real. Because now that y'all right. ain't the focus, we don't have to waste our time and energy on you. We can actually put it back into planet Earth. So personal development, something that I don't understand why you don't think is practical. Reading every day. Get into, yeah, get no, into no, no. philosophy. No, I get that. Right. No, I, I understand that. I, but like, what, what, like, say for example, a young woman came onto your show, uh -huh. and she said, "Hey, you know, I want to get married." And like, what would you tell her? Well, I would ask her why she wants to get married first, right? See, it's not right. about telling people stuff. You have to ask questions to get down to the root of what people are wanting. Because if it goes down to wanting to um, have somebody to love them and a companion and all of that, you don't need marriage for that. And you damn sure don't need it to love because now I got to see that hmm, you might have some self-esteem issues. You might be codependent. So before you talk about you right. want to be married, let's fix your codependent issues and then come back and see if you want the same thing right 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 so you're more about doing the internal work first before making any kind of outside decisions mm -hmm. because most of pe most people's decisions are programmed and they come from a place of deficiency and conditioning right because right. the fact of the matter is who you sat up there and heard myron say that he didn't like he doesn't want an obnoxious and abrasive woman. He don't want to date himself. Oh. Right. So being obnoxious and abrasive, abrasive are negative things. Right. Being harsh. Oh. Right. Not caring about somebody's feelings. So who wants to be who what woman in her right mind? wants to marry a man who believes being obnoxious and abrasive is a masculine trait. No. So, because this is, males are hell, hell bent on pretending or self-proclaiming themselves to be alpha males who are masculine and their idea of masculinity is toxic behavior. And so a woman no. wanting to chase and marry toxicity i got to put her i got to fix her mind first to ask her and make her see that you're asking for somebody to be abusive to you for the sole purpose of saying you're married there's a deeper issue there and once i correct it she might not even want to get married at this point right, right. And that, that does make a lot of sense to hear I, I do feel a lot of people don't really know why they do things, you know, and I, and I think what you're saying about doing, doing shadow work, doing internal work does make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and this is the other thing, too, I got from the podcast, and this is the last thing I'll let you go, is like, you know how you're, you're saying that, you know, men, they, they can't really see past pussy, right? Mm -hmm. They just can't, you know, and, 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 and I do... I do agree with you on that, you know, because it's, it's, it takes a special type of person to see beyond that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, you know, like, like, where do you, where do you think women, you know, if women are, are on one trajectory of, you know, being on a different frequency and then on, on another frequency, like, where do you think we, we as, men and women can create common ground. Like, look, like, you know, people, you know, I understand, like, you, you're talking about doing the personal development and 
getting to a place of self actualization. Mm-hmm. But like, what, where do you think men and women can can co-jingle or, or be on the same page? Like, well, you they, know, they can't be on the same page until men build themselves up to get to the level of a woman, because women are the ones who are created to operate at the higher level. A nation can rise no higher than this woman. So that means men have to build themselves up to get to that higher level, which means that in order for that to happen, women have to keep themselves off limits and reward males with sex. <laughs> That's sex is his reward. The ability to pass his genes along is his reward for building himself up to a humanistic level to to be where women are that means he can't be emotionally retarded because building himself up is not based on finance it's not based on slave labor it's based on personal development and moving from the lower self to the higher self being compassionate being caring about other people until a male reaches there Honestly, a woman shouldn't have anything to do with him because a male is not going to change his behavior if he's getting sex because that's his ultimate goal. And if you give it to him before he is actually earned, he's not going to develop. He's not because he feels like he's doing the right thing because he's been rewarded with sex. Women should keep their legs closed and let men sink or swim. If they sink, that's their asses. Women are not to save men. They are not to uh, encourage men. They are to let men figure it out on their own. And that's it. And so there is no common ground until a male climbs the top of the mountain and get on her level. And the only way that that can happen is if women begin to decenter men. Men's ultimate goal is sex. So if men get sex, they are not going to do anything differently. So women have to change the way they see men and how they interact with men. And then when they do that, keeping themselves completely off limits to males only then will males have an incentive to do better. Period. Right, right, and that that does make sense. And I don't, I don't know if you're you're Muslim or anything, but do you agree with like what women do in Saudi Arabia, like covering themselves up, no, you know, not having sex until marriage? Like, do you agree with all that stuff? No, I don't, because that's under patriarchal rule. And when you tell people when you tell people to do something or not to do something, you're forcing women to do these things under male control. Women were free. Women were free. Males don't like free women. So here's the thing. If women the problem is males have kept women out of the knowledge of themselves. They kept women as property. If women knew who they were as God on earth, they would automatically keep their legs closed and they would keep themselves away from men and they would be in their own spaces, dressing however the hell they want to dress where men would not have access to them. And the top male, the top male, the alpha male, which would be the one that has personally developed, he would be chosen by the group of women. To protect that area because he's now on that level, right? And being on that level, he's he can operate in male nature and go to war and control the rest of the males. That's how that's supposed to go. But everything is completely out of divine order and males are running amok on the planet. And they really think that they in the right place because they have no comprehension Because males are ego driven. This planet is so out of touch because it's driven by ego. And who is the ego driven person? The male. Right. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. And and like, like, was is there any part in human history that maybe you can identify? 
that kind of embodies everything you're saying, like like women run societies or like you know in Africa when they used to have those like uh, tribes that were just you know like ran by women and women made all the decisions, like kind of like that. Well, yeah, because that's the way it was by nature. By nature. And right. all of this stuff changed when people stopped foraging for food and agriculture became a thing, right? So what we're talking about is a change in environment, right? A change yeah. in structure, right? Because humans adapt. Living organisms respond to their environment. They respond to stimuli. So this is a whole new level of, of thing, right? But um, I got to get ready to go. I thank you so much for calling in. So I got to answer uh, another call and then we're going to have to go ahead and clear that because we've been on yeah, this no since problem. 7 o'clock. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, cool. All right, bye. Okay. All right. All right. So, you know, let me see. I think it's one, one, uh, two other people that called. Let me answer this. But I thought, I thought that was worth, I thought that was worth continuing to talk to, uh, talk about, right? Peace. Hello, this is Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? I'm speaking with Angel. Good evening, Princella. How you doing? What you got for me tonight? I'm great. First, I just want to say yes, sis. Congratulations on a total destruction on the Question Fit podcast. I did notice how um, frustrated and, and unable to articulate himself Myron became. Mm -hmm. His 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 talking points are bullshit anyway. He doesn't have a leg to stand on and he just repeats himself and says it with force so that he can intimidate those young girls into not saying anything and agreeing. Mm -hmm. um, also, I just wanted to speak to the fact that this is the age of Aquarius and this is the rise of the divine feminine. And I see all these so-called spiritual hotep makers how they like to get on you know their podcasts and in these conversations and cyphers talking about the divine feminine you see them uh putting up pictures of sexy half naked women mm -hmm. of course because their ideal is sex right. but do they not realize how they have manipulated and oppressed the spirit of woman throughout time and do they think that it's coming through to massage their egos and sleep with them and have sex with them and like delight them this is this is so interesting mm -hmm. um from a spiritual standpoint I see how even in like the African uh, traditional religions, you have all these men in places of power and positions of power over whole groups of women. And they just have their run with these women and sleep with them and manipulate and take their money. And it's like men don't belong in positions of power. It's just, I just want to say I appreciate your standpoint on the slaves, baby. I'd rather pay them than play with them any day. Thank you, and please keep doing the work. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Let me let me holler out some of these super chats that came in. Y'all did a fantastic job on the super chats. Thank y'all for showing me love. Okay. Phoenix Soul, $5. She say, mission was accomplished. Love's discipline, number one, $5. I, know, I love how you handled yourself on Fresh and Fit. You did that. Thank you. Marine DL Wife. Uh, forty nine ninety nine sticker, uh, Mrs. Truth Teller fifty dollar sticker. Thank you, Black Audacity four ninety nine. These men are in their thirties talking to teens and very young women purposely. These men are perfected unknown color examples of arrested development. Hello, this is Princella. Who am I speaking with? Hey, T. This is Nadia. Hi. You um, I'm doing fine. I really wanted to come on here and give out a little information to the women because what you say is so real and I feel like women don't understand, but I feel like I've been in their place in the past. Mm -hmm. um, I was a 16 year old um, teen mom and 
I got with this guy who was 10 years older than me, who sold, you know, things that he wasn't supposed to sell. Mm -hmm. The long story short, you know, he held me down in the beginning. That was his plot to hold me down in the beginning. But when I used to start talking about things like, hey, maybe we should start putting your money towards things to get out of this position. He took it as a threat as like, oh, this woman wants to do good so she could leave me. So he started becoming abusive. And I just want to let women know, like, be careful with these men. Because at the end of the day, I just feel like women need to understand the true nature of men. And when they do, as in, like, when they keep listening to you, they'll start to see the truth, like, they really can't love. They really don't know how to do anything else but be aggressive, be, um, just be harmful to you. It doesn't matter if you try to pick him up. It doesn't matter if you try to do right by his side. These men don't care. And I just feel like because I installed that in me, I became, I used to be so, like, I used to just want to be a wifey so bad, but I'm in a position now where, I treat these niggas like my dogs. Like, men became my dog now. They pay my bills. They take care of me. They do so much for me. And I just don't respect them. And that's all I, That's all women need to do. Lose all your respect for these men and watch them start respecting you. That's just all I wanted to say. And I really appreciate your podcast. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Bye. All right. Okay. Um black audacity these men are in their 30s talking to teens and very young women purposely these men are perfect examples of arrested development ph ugly duckling ten dollars peace and blessings queen maker shouting from the boogie down new york city nmn 299 sticker thank you key himself two dollars rebecca was the finest over the blue dress in my opinion trey 499 Moist Myron was in his feelings, made him stutter and couldn't think. You made me change my perspective. Salute. Salute to you too, Trey. Quit Award, $10. Fresh and Fitz Funeral and Wake, 7 p.m. until. <laughs> Sage Diary, $10. Keep preaching, Pastor P. Yes, loyalty makes you family, $20. Thank you for saving me from a human Chucky doll. Thank you. Debbie Shark, $15. Princella has us ladies bossing up. We now know the game. That's right. Along with a known caller from Minnesota. Hello, who am I speaking with? Hello, who am I speaking with? You're speaking uh, Hassan. Hassan, how you doing? What you got for me tonight? I got something with the last lady you talked to him. Like she says, like, man, is like my dog. What the fuck is mean is that? Serious? Oh, you, you mad? You don't like she her? She say that. You, you, you don't like her to treat y'all like dogs? No, 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 no. That was fucking terrible. I don't know what's wrong with her. But that's, that's, that's the way men treat women like dogs. <laughs> no, no, no. No, oh, so it's just a figment of our imagination, huh? She's imagination, like oh. I don't know what. That. Yeah, we just, we just, we just living in la la land. Ain't no man doing women wrong. We just, it's just peaches and cream over here. I get, it, I understand. Yeah, thanks for understanding. But fresh and fit, they're doing well, I guess. But some ladies are dumb, you know. Mm. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Well, I, I, I thank you for calling. All right, take care. All right. Hello, Hello, this is Prince Ellis speaking. Who am I speaking with? Lesson fifth number one, you suck, you monkey. (laughs) They mad. They mad. (laughs) 
<laughs> That's right. They little toddlers throwing temper tantrums. You suck it, you monkey. <laughs> That's right. You ain't getting none of this monkey either. That's right. You ain't getting none of this monkey either. Shit. That's right. Throw your goddamn temper tantrums. Sapphire Grace, $50. Support. Time is money, and Priscilla is putting in the time to change this world through education support. Obey Kid, $9.99, set it off. That's right, Nelly, $0.99, cents. sticker, red herring, $5. I was at work listening to the Truth About Men episode today. If you are new here, y'all need to listen to that episode immediately. CAC Records, $4.99, thank you. Figuring this out, $15. I'm a man. I don't agree with most of your final assessment of all men, but I respect your thoughtfulness and, del and deliberate delivery on your arguments. Hey, man, you got to respect the game, right? Unknown caller. Is this, is, this another, is this another one calling? Throw a temper tantrum. Hello, this is Prince Ella no, no. speaking. <laughs> hey, what's up, Prince Ella? Hey, who's this speaking? Yeah, no, I'm just a new follower. I'm just watching your show. Okay. I actually got, yeah, I actually learned a lot about your show. I'm not going to lie. Okay. What you what you got for me? Yeah, like, you know, when you was talking about, like, you know, like, you was going in depth about the true natures of, like, you know, male and female dynamics. Mm -hmm. It kind of opened my eyes to, like, you know, a lot of things. I'm not going to lie. What, what did it open your but, eyes to? Like, you know, it just kind of, like, because, you know, I'm not going to lie, because I felt, in a way, I kind of felt a little off of how, like, you know, like how you said, like, you know, the the system now, like, how it was paid, like, you know, it's, just cons like it's controlled by the white male patriarchy right now. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, how, you know, e everything that we're going through right now is not natural. Right. Like, you know, how, how female, the female dynamics, how, like, most men are not supposed to, like, you know, most men are really not supposed to be here because, you know, the, is we let weak men breathe. Right. So, yeah. So I understand that. So it was kind of opening my eyes to it, and you know, I was kind of learning. I was taking in because I, I take in game for everybody. I don't. It don't really mean. It don't really mean you don't really have to be a male to get game from. You could be a female. So you know. Mhm. Mm yeah. Well, that's the smart thing. But, to do. Yeah. Mhm. Mm but another thing though. But another thing though, I could say though, you gotta kind of be a little bit careful. You know, spinning out that rhetoric because you know. Why, like cause, you said, because men gonna shoot up the place and start. Dancing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know, the last caller, you know, she was saying treat men like dogs. I don't really think that's really safe, but yeah, you know. Well, you I appreciate mean, it. I appreciate it too. Thank you for calling, man. You spin that game. <laughs> All, All right. right. All right. All right. Hello. Hello, this is Prince Ella speaking. Who am I speaking with? This is Reezy. Hey, how you doing? What you got for me tonight? Um, I saw you on Fresh and Fit. Mm hmm And I thought you did a really good job on there. Like you had Mariam Ma pissed off. <laughs> like he even threatened to cut your mic at one point. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had him in his feelings, and that 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 was exactly what I aimed to do. So it was successful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I never seen him threaten to cut somebody mic off before. Like that was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm glad. So, um, go ahead. Yeah, another thing is the post is on Reddit too. Like a few people shared that. I, I was one of the people that shared it, and it got like over a thousand likes. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah yeah like people was loving you <laughs> that's good that's good because uh we we going to the top baby they ain't heard the last of me i promise you that <laughs> yeah yeah you had you had them tight like that that shit was funny oh they was listen they was even more tight when the show ended and i got up and i smiled and i shook everybody's hand i say fresh i told you it was gonna be a show man I appreciate you. <laughs> and then I told Myron, I shook Myron's hand. I say, 
thank you for inviting me on the show. Thank you for having me on the show. And he was like, yeah, you, you, you difficult. I say, I know, man. And I say, but you all right. And I tapped him. I tapped him on his chest. I said, man, you all right, though. Well, now I'm too short because he, he tall. So when I tapped him, I was on his stomach. I said, well, hey, you, you cool, man. And then I told Chris, I say, I appreciate you talking shit because I was just wondering how long it was going to take you to start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just started insulting you out of nowhere. Like you had them all in these feelings like. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for calling in and watching the show. No problem. All right, thanks. All right, Australia. Australia, you want to hit me? You want to call my line back? Australia. Phoenix Soul. Nope. Let me so nope, I'm figuring it out. Okay. Spark Unleashed $5. I love that you make people think, open up their minds and think outside the box. Black audacity, 499. White men won't even let them join their manosphere because they don't see them as the same as them. White men don't see black men as men, builders or <laughs> leaders. Phoenix Soul, 199 sticker. My way, 499. Uh, love Shauna. Love Shauna. Twenty dollars. I I miss lady. I am very glad that I found you. I cannot stress it enough. Keep doing what you are doing. Each one teach one. Quit award. Gotcha, bitch. Two dollars. <laughs> My way. Nine ninety nine. Preach. I'm so tired of these delusional bitches. <laughs> Baby Saeed. Twenty Australian dollars. Thank you. Ilkhan Ali. Nineteen ninety nine. Babies exist because women put. Creating babies over hanging and owe herself a man in a relationship. Stop the cap. Women have sex to create life and families. It's y'all's nature. Most of y'all gonna have sex tonight. Ilkhan, stop following me, nigga. <laughs> nigga, stop following me around. <laughs> Five dollars. Turn the page. Priscilla exposed Myron. <laughs> Listen, it's game time, baby. It's game time. They ain't ready for me. It was one question I forgot to ask. Are you still in contact with the girl who was sitting next to you? No, I'm not. I ain't. I wasn't in contact with none of them. Right? I wasn't in contact with none of them. Let's see. And I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, read these uh, cash apps. And then I'm going to let y'all go for tonight. I'm going to let y'all go for tonight. All right. Okay. All right. SWG $5. Hold on. Where we at? Damn. Okay. SWG $5. Harris $1.01. Kyra Spates $5. Tina T $5. Dirt Dabbler $100. Zondra Howard $5. Nevada Stuck in $20. CGM $5. I sure thank y'all for showing up tonight, boy. I had a, I had a blast. I told y'all it was gonna be off the chain, but this is not over. Oh, we're not done. I got to come back for part three and four because we still got to dissect Rumble. Because for y'all who didn't see Rumble, I really tore into their ass on Rumble. They ain't really let me talk too much on the YouTube part. But when I hit Rumble, that's when they ass really got. I think it was Rumble where it was Rumble where Myron started hollering about this his show. And he the yeah, I got that nigga all the way in his feelings. Yeah. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was a beautiful sight to see. Anyway. Time D sent ten dollars. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good night. It's oh wait a minute. I gotta hold on. Let me answer this, and then we gonna go. Hello, who am I speaking with? Hello, hello. Is this Priscilla? This is she. Who am I speaking with? Hey Priscilla, I know you ending up the show. Uh huh. And I just wanted to give you your your flowers. I'm going to let you know you have been killing it. You're doing the damn thing and everything. And I just wanted to call because 
I know the males were calling in, but I just wanted to know like some women energy. Um, I don't know if you caught that, but I know you did. The last caller or so talking about rhetoric mm -hmm. and, you know, saying like, oh, women need to be careful with the rhetoric and the message that, you know, is being spread or what have you. And that's another tactic in a way to humble and to scare women. And women are no longer being in their silos of silence. We're no longer being our, in our silos of silence. And it's, it's done. Like, we're, 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 we're mass communicating. We're mass, like, outreach. And what you're doing and what a lot of other women are doing, we are awakening. That penal gland is open. And it's awakening. And so I just want to thank you for all the things that you're doing, your courage, your bravery, and just, you know, just putting your message out there. Because a lot of women have been feeling this way for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Young, in the middle, older, what have you, um, across the board. And we have never been able to express it in a way so eloquently and elegantly as you have. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to kind of end that on that note, um, you know, and I'm a little nervous here because I've never really called. But aside from that, um, but just like, you know, what you're putting down is straight fire, straight truth. And there's no, I hate this word, and I wish it would die off, but cap. Yeah. <laughs> there's no cap in that. Like, yeah, let's get rid of cap in 2023, like, because it's so passe. Yeah. But I just wanted to say that and just kind of, like, give you your flowers, you're blowing up, and, you know, just that whole, that rhetoric, you know, with the, last young lady said about dog walking mm -hmm. hey you know women if you want to dog walk these men regardless if you want to be with these males or not hell dog walk them dog walk the hell out of them hell you know um and if they get mad about that oh well because it has been eons of years since the crow magnum man that they've been dog walking women absolutely and it's, and it's not a tit for tat but at the same time we are awake. And if women do not want to become awake, that is their loss. But the women who are on this arc and who are awake, we know. We know. And the light is on. All right. So with that being said, thank you so much. And you have a wonderful evening. All right. You thank too. you. Thank you. All right. Um, it's been good, y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all in a couple days. We coming back for part two. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish they ass. I promise you. Because this shit just beginning. It ain't even got to the meat and potatoes. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace out.